Amen, Amen, to a vine. Anan, Anan, the green ones have just sprouted. The snail is carrying that. Kanaha, sunset. A young figure walked on the streets of Kanaha's civilian area, with a happy smile on his face and humming a cheerful song that was incomprehensible. He walked step by step towards the dilapidated hut in the distance with a backpack on his back. White hair, red eyes, handsome features, skin as white as jade, and an intoxicating smile. A perfect cure for the white-haired young lady. White-haired Lolita is a favorite of many people. That white-haired Shota is also the meat of some people's palms. For example, these strange aunts and sisters are greeting little Shota. Trade wind, I have fish stew at my house. Come to my house for dinner. Trade wind, come to my house, my sister bought some candies. Trade wind, come to auntie's house, Zhu Tai is waiting for you to come and play. Come and let me give you a kiss. Go, go, kiss your son, don't block the trade wind from coming to my house for dinner. Trade wind didn't say it was going to your house, so don't be so sentimental. Tiptoe around because he started arguing with his aunt and uncle. Trade wind continued to move forward, came to a dilapidated door, pushed the door open and entered. I'm back. Trade wind shouted softly as he entered putting down the backpack on his back. In the empty house, no one responded. Zinfan didn't care about this. If someone really responded, he should be careful. It has been several years since he came to this world, and his parents in this life also passed away within the past few years. In the end he was the only one left. Tradewind's parents were ordinary civilians in Kanaha and did not leave him any inheritance. Don't even think about ninjutsu scrolls or anything like that. Quickly taking out a few fish from the basket on his back, Shifeng squatted by the well in the yard and began to skillfully kill and scale the fish. After hanging the fish on the wall to dry in the shade, Trade Wind picked up the last one and walked into the kitchen, stood on the stool and started working on the stove. In the evening, Trade Wind finally finished his meal and lay in the yard looking at the big moon in the sky. It's not his fault. The moon in the ninja world is really big. I just don't know how big Kagaya is on the moon. To be honest, Trade Wind really wanted to go up there and find out. Of course, this is impossible, and the Trade Winds can only think about it. After all, this is a dangerous ninja world that is famous for its theory of blood and fatalism. He doesn't have an outstanding bloodline and is not the child of destiny. Let alone explore Kagaya's mind he can't even explore Tsunade's. The only one who can find out is probably the kind and weak Hinata. Of course, with his good looks, it would be a good choice to marry into the Yamanaka family. Well, rich woman Tian Tian seems to be a good choice. As long as he can eat soft rice, Xian Feng doesn't really have a choice. If he has a choice, he just hopes to have more soft rice. Fighting, killing, and so on there is no way to enjoy the sweetness of eating beautiful women. As for Sakura, he prefers her as a married woman. The husband never comes home all year round and loves his brothers more than himself. His daughter is prejudiced against him and has inherited the Uchiha family's mental illness. As a medical expert, he carries a huge mortgage loan. It was as miserable as it could be, which was just right for an invasion by a descendant of Mengda like him. Drop. Student card. Um. A cold and familiar voice appeared in Zing Feng's ears, making him think that he had traveled back in time again. Looking around, Trade Wind was extremely disappointed. What? It's not on the bus. Am I hallucinating? Trade Wind shook his head and lay down again. Hey, senior citizen card. Um. Zing Feng who had just laid down, immediately stood up. He was very sure that he was not hallucinating. Bit, death card. What's the meaning? Xing Feng was confused, and in the next second, a transparent panel quickly appeared in front of his eyes. A large piece of information quickly surfaced above. Congratulations to the host, you got three random cards. The card system is now open. 
Get 3 blank character cards. Get 3 blank skill cards. Get 3 blank psychic beast cards. After surviving for 1 year, you can start the next round of card lottery, and the prizes will be random. Complete special events, unlock special achievements, and get random card rewards. Special achievement clues cannot be viewed, please explore by yourself. Trade Wind Is this the legendary time travel benefit? After studying it several times, Trade Wind finally figured out what the system was about. A blank Psychic Beast card can copy a Psychic Beast for you to drive for 10 minutes each time, with no limit on the number of times. The copied Psychic Beast has exactly the same abilities and characteristics as the copied object, but it is a completely new individual and has no relationship with the copied object. After merging with itself, it is immediately bound to the corresponding Psychic Beast, allowing it to fight psychically, and others cannot snatch it away. The prerequisite for copying is to defeat the Psychic Beast head-on, and your own damage proportion is greater than 80%. Blank skill cards can copy skills, and the same skills can be used after use. The premise is that you have seen others use it and know the name of the skill. Each time you use it, you can copy the next skill. You can also fuse the card with yourself and quickly learn the ninjutsu on the card. Blank character cards can copy character information, and after use, the same character can be summoned to assist in the battle three times, each time not exceeding ten minutes. You can also fuse with yourself to gain all the character's talents, bloodline and ninjutsu knowledge. All talents, bloodlines and ninjutsu. Then I can destroy Otsutsuki and steal Kagaya. Are you going to explore Kagaya's mind? Seeing Feng looked at the system information in front of him and felt happy. Concentrate your thoughts. Tradewind continued to look at the premise of copying character cards. Follow system regulations. If you want to copy a character with 100% success, you must have a close and negative relationship with the character, or reach the point where the other person is willing to die for you. Or after killing the character, place the card on the corpse to copy it. The ability obtained by copying is determined by the system based on the percentage of damage caused by the host to the target. The higher the damage ratio, the more abilities the card will gain after copying, and the greater the bonus after fusion. In other words, it is impossible to pick up the corpse, and it must be killed by Zinfan himself in order to completely copy it. In addition, negative distance contact. Seeing this system message, Xin Feng was a little dumbfounded. Is your contact a serious contact? Do you want to enable random cards? Student card, after using it, you will get a random card from the student department. Elderly card, after using it, you will get a random elderly card. Death card, after using it, you will get a random death card. The student department, the elderly department, the death department, these are all things. Confused, Tradewind randomly selected a Senior Citizen card. Senior Citizen card open. Ding, get an old Big Clam Psychic card. A card with a golden border emerged from the void and slowly landed in the hands of Tradewind. In the middle of the card was a picture of a giant clam that was covered with coral and looked very hard. Old Giant Clam, a super giant clam with a short lifespan, the perfect choice for hitting people. Trade wind. Old giant clam, what the hell is this? Resisting the idea of channeling it now, Xin Feng aimed at the student card. Student card open. Ding, get a Tsunade character card from her student days. Tsunade is a student. Without thinking, Trade Wind took the newly emerged card in his hand, ran back to the house, and looked at it carefully under the light. Wow, this is so cute. You can make a lot of money just by looking at this picture. Twelve or thirteen years old, with a single golden ponytail and green clothes with purple edges. The picture on the card should be a picture of Tsunade shortly after graduating from the ninja school. The card introduces all the ninjutsu information that Tsunade possessed during this period, as well as a name. Little Tsunade. Um. This is a great name. The Tsunade in the picture is indeed Little Tsunade. 
small in every sense of the word. Should I use this card or merge it with myself? After looking at Tsunade Chan's cards carefully several times, Shi Feng felt a little confused. If fused, he would be able to acquire various abilities that Tsunade had when she was a student. You can also obtain the bloodline of the Senjua family. But ah! Uh, however, he really wanted to summon little Tsunade to come out and take a look. Um. Tradewind suddenly thought of something and asked the system. System, can a card that has been used once still be integrated with myself? The character card can be used to assist three times. You can use it twice first and then merge it with yourself. If you can, it's a win-win. Win twice by yourself. Theoretically it's possible. Before the system finished speaking, Tradewind directly used the cards in his hand. Bang! With a bang sound, a cloud of smoke exploded in front of Zinfan. After the smoke dispersed, a figure of a girl who was much taller than him appeared in front of him. It was the girl Tsunade with the high golden ponytail. Well, this is similar to a shadow clone. I don't know if I have any thoughts. Looking at the girl in front of him, Zinfan was thoughtful and spoke directly. Asked. Tsunade ne, can you teach me ninjutsu? Okay, what do you want to learn? The girl Tsunade smiled, squatted in front of Shi Feng, and pinched the other person's face. Mom, I'm in love. Looking at the gentle girl Tsunade with a smiling face, Shi Feng fell instantly. Sister, please teach me the art of chakra refining. Um. Ten minutes later, looking at little Tsunade disappearing without a trace, she smacked her lips in the trade wind feeling a little unfinished. The little Tsunade created by the system is like the shadow clone of Tsunade herself. Not only does it have thoughts, but it also has excellent touch. Just when he was about to use it again, the system information immediately appeared in front of him. Ding! Welcome to the character card system version 2.0. The current system version has been updated. The used character card will not be able to be fused with the host. The host's character card Little Tsunade has been used again. Version update benefits will be released next. Ding! The quality of the host's death card is improved, and the probability of precious items appearing increases. Trade wind. What the hell? Is this system so smart? After he discovered the loophole, he immediately closed it. Although I was given a benefit to keep my mouth shut. But it doesn't seem to be completely given. A mysterious and mysterious probability up. This meow is worse than a mosquito's legs. After all, if your system doesn't tell you about the increase in probability, who knows if you have done something about it. This system shouldn't be from the penguin field, right? So treacherous. Tradewind cursed and was very unhappy that he could no longer see little Tsunade. He simply didn't believe in the up probability of precious items given by the system. But people under the eaves have to bow their heads. There is nothing he can do about the system now. Death card opens. Ding, get the dead character card, the fourth Hokage Nami Kaze Minato. Fourth Hokage Nami Kaze Minato, the fourth Hokage who died after sealing the nine tails possesses ninjutsu, flying thunder god, raise nan, ghoul seal. Trade wind. Trade wind. Mr. System, it was my lard that deceived you just now. You don't remember the faults of villains. The slap in the face came too quickly. The trade wind is honest and repentant. System, tisk, 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 it smells so good. The timeline is based on Naruto being 17 years old at the end of the fourth ninja war in Kanaha 68. The fourth Hokage here is the fourth Hokage when he just died, not the fourth Hokage of the Dirty Land in the later four battles. Each character card has a different period, childhood, youth, youth, old age, provided that the character is in the original work lived to that time, or appeared. Whether to choose to fuse the silver card, Tsunade Chan. Yes. As the trade winds choose to merge. Little Tsunade's card directly shattered into particles of light, 
forming a golden vortex around his body and quickly falling into his body. Countless information about little Tsunade's ninjutsu appeared in his mind, and the system prompts in front of Shi Feng's eyes kept flashing. Congratulations to the host for obtaining Thousand Hands bloodline. Congratulations to the host. Congratulations to the host for obtaining the shadow clone technique. At the same time, Trade Wind's body also trembled, and the strength of his muscles and bones continued to increase. He knew that this was Tsunade's Senjua bloodline transforming his body. It's done. When the light unique to medical skills lit up on his left hand, Sim Feng couldn't help but grin. Although I am somewhat reluctant to part with the card Little Tsunade, in order to obtain the power of Thousand Hands, there is nothing I can do about it. Although the system's character cards will gain bloodline, talent, and ninjutsu knowledge after fusion, they will not gain chakra. If Trade Wind wants to reach the strength of the fourth Hokage, a sufficient supply of chakra is very necessary. Fusion of Little Tsunade's cards and obtaining the blood power of the Thousand Hands clan is his only choice now. Feeling the constant sense of power in his body, Trade Wind turned his attention to another card. The fourth Hokage Nami Kaze Minato's character card. Tisk tisk tisk, I really can't wait. Whether to choose the Fusion Platinum card, the fourth Hokage Nami Kaze Minato. Yes. A golden vortex spun around Shi Feng's body again, and countless ninjutsu messages about the fourth Hokage quickly appeared in his mind. Congratulations to the host for learning Flying Thunder God. Congratulations to the host for learning Raise Nan. Congratulations to the host. Congratulations to the host. As the memories continued to resurface in his mind, even the determined Sing Feng couldn't help but start to click his tongue. Because the fourth Hokage's ninjutsu is simply an order of magnitude greater than that of Little Tsunade. Flying Thunder God, Raise Nan, Ghoul Seal, Four Elephant Seal, Four Elephant Seal, Bagwa Seal, Shadow Clone, Vajra Seal, Curse Seal, Chakra Sensing Technique. Not only that, even the prerequisite knowledge required for these ninjutsus emerged in his mind one by one. While he was learning these ninjutsu, his understanding of ninjutsu was also rapidly improving. For example, the Corpse Seal. This ninjutsu is a sealing technique brought to Kanaha by the Uzumaki clan. It was passed on to Kushina by Uzumaki Mito, and then from Kushina to the fourth generation Hokage Nagatame. It is the sealing technique used by the fourth Hokage to seal the Yin Nine Tails. It is also the sealing technique used by the third Hokage to seal a pair of hands. A pair of hands, thank you so much. This sealing technique not only requires learning complex and difficult sealing techniques, but also requires learning huge basic sealing techniques. Just like if you want to learn to read, you must first learn to pronounce. After integrating the character card of the fourth Hokage, Shi Feng not only mastered all the ninjutsu of the fourth Hokage instantly, but also understood these huge basic knowledge instantly. It directly saves at least 10 years of hard work for the trade wind. This is not a character card, this is simply a direct ticket to movie level. It's a pity that there is only relevant knowledge about necromancy. You need to sign a contract with Miyamu Mountain to summon a toad. Tradewind finished browsing the information in his mind and shook his head. Buzz. A blue spiral pill the size of a pigeon egg emerged from Tradewind's hand. Looking at the familiar yet unfamiliar Ray's Nan in his hand. The Tradewind felt relieved. Due to the amount of chakra and chakra control, his Ray's Nan is very small. But this is only temporary. According to the setting of the Book of Lin, Chakra is a mixture of human physical energy and spiritual energy. There are more than 130 trillion cells in the average person's body, and the physical energy and spiritual energy produced in them can be converted into chakra after being mixed. Chakra is the key to ninja seals and the use of ninjutsu. For ordinary civilians, there is not much physical and mental energy in the body. Even if they practice ninjutsu, there is not enough chakra to release. So most civilian genin and chuyunin fight with bayonets first, and then find the right opportunity to release ninjutsu and kill the enemy with one blow. 
originally I would have been one of them. But after integrating the power of little Tsunade's thousand hands, everything is different. Tradewind clenched his fists, feeling that the power in his body was rising rapidly. The transformation of his body by the power of thousand hands was far from over. Although Tsunade is often teased for using her grandfather's passive as her ultimate move. But that also depends on who you are comparing with. Don't look at Senju Hashirama being naive, like a fool. However, against a natural god like him, even Uchihamadara, who is the son of six paths, needs the power of the nine tails to defeat him. Hashirama Roku, Uchihamadara's kind. Don't even think about others. Although the amount of chakra is not as good as that of her grandfather, Tsunade's chakra amount is not inferior either. At least it is much more than Kakashi who became a unit of measurement and the fourth Hokage who was born as a civilian. In other words, the future of Trade Wind will be film level at worst. This card system is really cool. Moreover, after surviving for one year, a new round of card drawing will begin. And now there are nearly 14 years until World War IV. In other words, I still have 14 chances to draw cards before the fourth battle, as well as three blank character cards. In this case, there are enough opportunities to make yourself stronger. At that time, we can really go to the moon and find Kagaya Kirara to make things happen. Tradewind raised his head and looked at the bright moon in the sky, feeling a little expectant in his heart. I will ask you to wait for me for a while. Having made up his mind, Tradewind turned around and returned to the house. Time flies, and half a year has passed in the blink of an eye. In the past six months, Zinfan began to work hard to exercise and practice chakra extraction and control. In half a year, as Tradewind's body developed, his chakra amount tripled. This amount of chakra is enough for him to use the ultra-long shadow clone once a day and the flying thunder god more than a dozen times a day. According to this growth rate, by the time he graduates from the Tradewind Ninja School, his chakra content may not be much worse than Naruto's. Of course, this is without counting the Nine Tails power bank. Tisk tisk tisk, it's big and hard. I have to say, the big clam provided by this system is really good for hitting people. In the snow-covered Kanaha forest. Seeing the giant clam in front of me, which was bigger than a football field and more than 200 meters in diameter, Zinfan was shocked. Such a body type. It's several times bigger than the three bastards of Mayabokoyama in the comics. Smashed it down in mid-air, task tisk tisk. A football field can be leveled directly. More importantly, because of the system, the trade wind does not require much chakra to summon this big clam. He only needs to throw the big clam's card into the air above the target and summon it, hitting it accurately. Make him feel like playing Yu-Gi-Oh! Um. Tradewind let out a startled sound, and quickly took back the old clam in his hand, and a flying thunder god disappeared from the spot. Look, look, her eyes are white. Haha, <laughs> it's so ugly. White-eyed monster, white-eyed monster. In the snow-covered forest, three naughty children were laughing loudly at a little girl with white eyes, and hitting each other with snowballs from time to time. Looking at the scene in front of him, Sing Feng breathed a sigh of relief. If you want to eat Hinata's soft rice, you have to seize this opportunity. Tradewind, who had obtained a blank character card, would naturally not give up such an opportunity in order to copy Hinata's Byakugan bloodline. The Byakugan of the Hyaga clan can be promoted to the reincarnated eye. It is something that Tradewind is determined to obtain. For this reason, Tradewind will create a shadow clone every day to patrol this area with the Flying Thunder God. Once he encounters this scene, the shadow clone will be released, and he will fly directly to the God of Thunder. Now, he finally met him. Hit, beat them. Hinata, hit them quickly. Hinata's face shone with tears, and she kept encouraging herself in her heart. As Hinata, who has been trained in ninjutsu since she was a child, it is very simple to teach three common people a lesson. However, 
her shy personality and kind nature caused her to be so panicked now that she couldn't do anything at all and could only let the other party bully her. Boom, boom, boom. Don't bully others. Tradewind grabbed a handful of snow, squeezed it tightly, and threw it at the three naughty children like a shuriken. The snow block, as hard as a rock, hit the naughty children's foreheads with precision, and each of the three naughty children had a big bump on their foreheads. Wow, it's a ninjutsu. Run quickly. Covering their heads, the three naughty children ran away very sensibly and without saying any harsh words. Hinata, who saw this scene completely in her eyes, was slightly stunned. Bravo! How about it? Tradewind came to Hinata, looked into the other person's eyes, and asked. He's talking to me. Thinking of this, Hinata's fair face quickly turned red, and even her ears were stained with red. She lowered her head and said very quietly, Thank you, thank you. Well, since you're okay, I'll leave first. Although he was surprised by Hinata's physique when she blushed for a second, Shifeng had no intention of staying. To avoid being misunderstood by the Hyaga clan who are waiting to arrive later. The good impression has been restored and the next step is to let nature take its course. May I have your name? Watching the trade wind drifting away, Hinata mustered up the courage for a long time, but still couldn't ask this question out loud. She could only keep the other person's beautiful face firmly in mind. Name, Hinata Hinata. Current copy success rate, 0%. Do you want to copy? After taking a look at the success rate, Zinfan shook his head. In order to obtain the reincarnation I, Hinata is his only choice now. But now it seems that it is obviously impossible for him to successfully replicate it before establishing enough bonds. After choosing not to copy, the Hinata character card in Shifeng's hand returned to a blank card, and then disappeared. This is taken into the system space by the trade wind. Um. Blonde hair, blue eyes, fox beard. Isn't that Naruto? Seeing Uzumaki Naruto appearing in front, Shifeng felt happy. Naruto, your wife is gone. As compensation, I will help you chase Suzuki from now on. Anyway, as the reincarnation of Azura, it is only a matter of time before you fall in love with Suzuki, the reincarnation of Indra. Tradewind thought happily in his heart. Because of the existence of Anbu, he did not contact Naruto, but just passed him by. Tradewind didn't forget that there was a third-generation grandfather behind Naruto who was always observing him with a telescope. Snort! Seeing the look from Shifeng, Naruto turned his head and snorted. At this time, Naruto was looked down upon by the villagers because of the Nine Tails Rebellion. So I chose to hide my fragile heart and actively disguised myself as a hedgehog who didn't care about other people's eyes. Any glance directed at him was met with a small counterattack. Tradewind was actually quite understandable about Naruto's behavior. After all, before the third generation handed Naruto over to Irika, Naruto was really not doing well. Just wait another two years. Wait two more years, and after you enter the ninja school, you will meet your Irika sensei Thinking of these, Tradewind slowly walked towards the civilian area. Time is like running water, it comes in a hurry and goes in a hurry. Another half a year passed, and in the blink of an eye it was Kanaha's 56th year. In the new year, Tradewinds has drawn another round of cards. Obtained a skill learning card and a blank character card. The skill learning card is the telescope technique of the third Hokage. This is the famous ninjutsu of the third Hokage, and it is also the main reason for his rapid aging. Seeing too many beauties in the bathroom will always make you very tired. Without the Byakugan, this is a very useful jutsu for trade wind. The only prerequisite is that you need a crystal ball. Kanaha 56 years During this year, the atmosphere in Kanaha village was very solemn because of Uchiha's upcoming coup. Whether it is the top management of Kanaha or other ninja clans, they are all watching Uchiha's movements. As a major clan in Kanaha, Uchiha was moved to the edge of Kanaha after the Nine Tails Rebellion, 
and was already very close to the boundary of Kanaha. This made Uchiha very dissatisfied with Kanaha. At the same time, most of the Uchiha clan have extreme temperaments due to their open eyes. Because of the high-level targeting of Kanaha, many radicals have already made requests to the clan leader Fugaku to rebel against Kanaha. Looking at the hesitant Fugaku clan leader, as a double agent, Uchiha Shisui was under great pressure. He knew very well that Uchiha's power alone was not enough to contend with Kanaha. Once the Uchiha rebel, not only will the Uchiha be exterminated, but Kanaha may also be weakened by this coup, leading to attacks by other ninja villages. By then, the fourth ninja war will likely begin in advance. This is something Uchiha Shisui definitely doesn't want to see. Under this tremendous pressure, an idea emerged in Shisui's mind. Afterwards, as the gap between Uchiha and Kanaha grew larger, the friction between the two parties became more and more intense. Seeing the coming rebellion, Shisui proposed his plan for another god to Kanaha's top brass. A plan to use other gods to control the entire Uchiha clan. At the same time, Shisui also told the top management of Kanaha about the kaleidoscope ability he had obtained Betami. Finally, after Kanaha's top brass learned that Shisui's other gods could permanently change other people's wills, the naive Uchiha Shisui faced only the fear of Kanaha's higher UPS and Danzo's greed. With the connivance of the third Hokage, Danzo successfully used Izanaga to sneak attack Shisui and gouge out Shisui's right eye. In desperation, Uchiha Shisui opened Suzanu with one eye and killed some root ninjas instantly. Arriving at the cliff edge of the Nanga River that I had agreed with Uchiha Ataki. Night. On the edge of the cliff of Nanhi River. Uchiha Ataka looked at Shisui, who had his back turned to him, with a worried look in his eyes. Itaki, it seems I failed. That guy Danzo doesn't believe me. Uchiha Shisui stood on the edge of the cliff and spoke calmly. However, I finally thought of a way to temporarily stop the Uchiha Rebellion. In order to delay the Uchiha rebellion, Shisui had made the decision to die. He reached out and took off his left eye. Uchiha Shisui, whose eyes were bleeding, turned around and handed the Sharingan in his hand to Uchiha Ataki. As long as I, the strongest Uchiha, die, the strength of the clan will be affected. When the time comes, they will definitely postpone the rebellion. After that, I can only rely on you my best friend. Protect Kanaha and protect the name of Uchiha. After Shisui finished speaking, he jumped back and continued to fall towards the bottom of the bottomless cliff. Shisui. The grief-stricken Uchiha attack and knelt on the spot, with blood and tears streaming from his eyes, and the three Megatamas Sharingan in his eyes rotated crazily. Finally connected. This year, at the age of eleven, he finally opened the Mangekyo Sharingan at the moment of Shisui's death. Officially entered the ranks of cage level, and became the terrifying existence that could kill the three ninja Orochimaru in one glance. The bottom of the Nanhi River Cliff Tradewind witnessed Uchiha Shisui's cliff jumping scene through the telescope technique. At this time, he was right below Zishui jumping off the cliff. Because the cliff was extremely high and it was still at night, Tradewind didn't worry about being discovered by Uchiha Ataki. Looking at the falling figure above, the Tradewind keeps calculating. Calculate the speed of the opponent's fall. Finally, when Uchiha Shisui entered the appropriate range, Tradewind threw the stone with the mark of the Flying Thunder God in his hand towards Shisui's fall route. At the moment when the stone and Shisui intertwined, Tradewind instantly activated the Flying Thunder God and came to Shisui's side. With a wave of the kunao in his hand, he instantly cut the throat of Shisui, who was seeking death. A second later, he grabbed Shisui's clothes, and another flying thunder god disappeared from the place. Since you want to die, let me make up for it. It's not too much. In exchange, I will help Uchiha leave the seeds. Tradewind looked at the dead Zisui, took out a blank character card from the void, and placed it on Zisui. Name, Uchiha Shisui. Dead. Host damage proportion, 59.9%. After copying, 
you can randomly obtain 59.9% of its abilities. Do you want to copy? 59.9% System, are you a university tutor? Do you want to care about it like this? Would you directly say that 60% will lead to death? Unable to complain, Zinfan chose to copy. Because Shisui had been injured by Danzo's men before and lost his eyes, his last hit damage accounted for 59%, which was actually pretty good in Trade Wind's eyes. As long as he can get another god, even one, it will be a big profit for him. Press the select key. The blank character card on Uchiha Shisui gradually merged into Shisui's body. After the cards were completely integrated, Shisui's bodies were all reduced to a pile of white ashes. Among the white ashes, a golden card slowly rose. Ding, the character was copied successfully. Uchiha Shisui, Mangekyo Sharingan by attention, left, Uchiha Bloodline, top Sharingan illusion talent. Big Profit The trade wind was overjoyed when he saw the other gods written on the gold-edged card. Card copying looks at the damage ratio, not the completeness of the body, so even though Shisui doesn't have eyes, trade wind still gotta beat Yanjin. Then, trade wind looked at the card introduction again. Well, there is only one Mangekyo Sharingan and Uchiha swordsmanship. The rest are all blood and various talents. I don't even have the phantom teleportation technique. After discovering that ninjutsu and skills were limited to one god and one swordsman, Shifeng muttered to himself with some dissatisfaction. However, in Trade Wind's view, talents are more useful than skills. Whether to choose to fuse the incomplete platinum card, Uchiha Shisui. Yes. As Trade Wind pressed the select button, a golden vortex enveloped him. After a few seconds, Trade Wind opened his eyes his eyes unchanged. After Trade Wind merged with Shisui's card, he did not awaken the Manjiki or the Sharingan, and other gods could not use them. Other gods need to open the Sharingan and awaken the Manjiki before they can be unlocked and used. Although the result is not perfect. But the Trade Winds didn't mind either. After all, the introduction of the card clearly states that fusion cards will only gain bloodline talents and ninjutsu knowledge but will not directly gain all the abilities of the character. And since he has obtained Shisui's Uchiha bloodline, it should be very simple to open the Sharingan. At the same time, Trade Wind also gained Shisui's talents in illusion and swordsmanship. As long as he continues to work hard to learn illusions in the future. The list of those who glared for seconds would also have the name of Shifeng. This was why Shifeng was so happy just now and had acquired talent instead of ninjutsu. Just rest in peace. I will do what I say, and I will definitely leave seeds for Uchiha. After burying Shisui's ashes, Shifeng clasped his hands in front of Shisui's simple grave. After doing this, Trade Wind looked around, cast Flying Thunder God, and disappeared in place. The next day, the news of Uchiha Shisui's suicide and death spread throughout the Leaf Village. The name Shun Shen Shisui is very loud in Kanaha. After hearing about Shisui's death, many ninjas sighed. They really couldn't imagine that Shisui, the strongest Uchiha, would die like this. But since Shisui left a suicide note, they could only choose to believe it. It is different from the Kanaha ninja's understanding of Shisui's suicide. The radical faction of the Uchiha clan did not believe that Shisui committed suicide, but believed that Shisui was killed by someone else. After many searches, they finally set their sights on Uchiha Itaki, who also did not attend the clan meeting that night. Itaki, where were you on the night Shisui died? Uchiha Inari and three others stopped Uchiha Itaki who was returning to the Uchiha station and asked with unkind expressions. And in the village. Scheduled tasks. Uchiha Itaki glanced at the other person and walked past him. I have checked the village's attendance record for that day and there is no attendance information for you on it. How do you explain this? Uchiha Yashiro, who has rare white hair among the Uchiha clan, took out a few notes, looked at Ataki and asked seriously. I was performing a confidential mission, and the records are not on it. 
Uchiha Ataka continued to walk around Uchiha Yashiro and moved on calmly. Humph, it seems you won't talk until I capture you. Seeing that Uchiha Ataka was not getting enough, Uchiha Inari burst into anger, and the three Megatama Sharingan appeared in his eyes, and he was ready to take action. Uchiha Ataka looked calm, and the shuriken in his sleeve fell into his palm. Boom! 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 Not long after, the sound of three heavy objects hitting the ground was heard, and Uchiha Inari and three others fell to the ground one after another. The Sharingan disappeared from Ataka's eyes, he picked up the short sword stuck on the ground and walked towards his home. Uchiha Ataka had just returned home and was changing his shoes when he heard a rush of running behind him. Then, a small body lay on his back. Uniai chan you said you would practice with me today. The young Uchiha Suzuki lay on Uchiha Ataka's back, acting unhappily. Today, his brother Uchiha Ataka let his pigeon fly again. Sorry, Suzuki, I've been too busy recently. Uchiha Ataka changed his shoes, turned around and touched Sasuke's face. Looking at Suzuki in front of him, most of the shadow on Uchiha Ataka's face caused by Shisui's death dissipated. Suzuki pouted while enjoying Ataka's touch. Humph, you always say you are busy. I don't care, you must practice with me today. Forgive me, Suzuki. I'll accompany you next time, okay? Uchiha Ataka looked at Suzuki, stretched out two fingers, and tapped Sasuke's forehead. Suzuki was tapped on the forehead by Ataki, feeling secretly happy and ready to continue to pester Ataki. Suzuki, as an ANBU of Kanaha, my brother is very busy. Don't pester him. Uchiha Mikato walked out of the room next to her, holding wound medicine in her hand, looked at Suzuki and said. Come, mommy will help you apply the medicine. After Mikato finished speaking, she picked up the wound medicine and began to apply it on the wounds left by Sasuke's practice. Seeing Mikato coming out to stop Suzuki, Itaka didn't say much, took the opportunity to escape, and walked towards Uchiha Fugaku's room. As a double agent between Kanaha and Uchiha, he still needs to report today's situation to Fugaku. Snort. Seeing his brother leave, Suzuki pouted slightly unhappily. Mikato didn't know whether to laugh or cry about this. Time passed and it soon came to March of Kanaha 57. After fusing Uchiha Shisui's card, Trade Wind's Chakra amount increased rapidly again. Chakra is the product of the fusion of physical energy and spiritual energy. Little Tsunade's Senjua bloodline provides the Trade Wind with powerful physical energy. Uchiha Shisui's Uchiha bloodline provides the Trade Wind with powerful spiritual energy. The two added together directly caused a huge change in the amount of Chakra in the Trade Wind which increased several times from the original level. Nowadays, Tradewind can already use some large-scale and wide-range ninjutsu. Having combined the three cards of Tsunade-chan, Namikaze Minato and Uchiha Shisui at the same time, his comprehension and memory have reached an extremely high level. Many things can be remembered quickly just by reading them once. Moreover, he also gained the two chakra properties changes of wind and fire. At the same time, the level of chakra refining and chakra control is improving by leaps and bounds every day. The current trade wind is not only able to use the raise nan completely, but also has complete mastery of primary medical ninjutsu that requires higher chakra control. The Gate of Kanaha Ninja School Trade wind was among the ranks of civilians and came alone to register for the entrance test to the ninja school. Today is the enrollment day for Kanaha Ninja School and many civilians have sent their children to register. In the ninja world, although ninja work is a high-risk job, it is compared to other jobs. Not only are ninjas well paid, but they can also gain great strength. They are the most desirable profession among civilians. Therefore, many families hope to have a ninja in their family, which will make a qualitative change in their lives and make them no longer easily bullied. Although during the Great Ninja War, most civilian students were just cannon fodder to Kanaha. However, even Kanaha's ninja cannon fodder is not that easy to become. 
If civilian students want to enroll, they must pass the test organized by the Kanaha Ninja School. After showing certain talents and abilities, they will be admitted to the Ninja School for the next step of training. If you can't pass the test, you can only find another way to find a job to make a living when you grow up. Next to the civilian team, there is a queue of ninja children. The people queuing up there are all children of the ninja clan. They have learned the art of chakra refining since childhood and can enter the ninja school without passing the test. And Tradewind also saw a few familiar faces among these people. Ino Yamanaka, Hinata Hinata, Shikamaru Nara, Koji Akimichi, Kaiba Inuzuka, Shino Abarame. These people were accompanied by their respective fathers, who were all heads of various ninja clans. At this time, these patriarchs were standing together and chatting. Many civilian parents would appear a little embarrassed when passing by them, and they would not even dare to look at them. Because these civilians know that they are only one step away from these powerful patriarchs. But this step is Tianyuan. It's an existence they can never overcome. Only one person has ever crossed this step with his own talent, and that is the fourth Hokage no Mikaze Minato. Among the crowd, Hayaka Hinata's face was red, and she kept looking back at the trade wind in the civilian queue. It would be great if I could be assigned to the same class as him. Little Hinata thought so. Wow! So handsome! Ino, who was behind Hinata, saw that Hinata had been looking back secretly, and followed her curiously. After seeing Zing Feng's face, he suddenly burst into surprise. Behind Ino, Shikamaru rolled his eyes speechlessly. Because the three Inakacho clans are very close, he and Ino Koji have known each other since they were children. It's just that Ino started to be a nymphomaniac at such a young age, which made him very helpless. I also find it very troublesome. Because there were no people in the line of ninja children, Hinata and Ino quickly completed the enrollment procedures and left with their parents. Tradewind was only halfway through the queue, and there were dozens of students queuing in front of him. Not long after, Uchiha Suzuki arrived here accompanied by Uchiha Mikato. Because the relationship between Uchiha and Kanaha is now very tense, the two of them waited until the other ninjas left before appearing, and left quickly after completing the formalities. However, Sakura, who was in the civilian queue, kept looking at Suzuki as he left. Sakura couldn't stop looking at Suzuki, and Shifeng couldn't stop looking at Mikato. He had never been able to resist such a beautiful woman. Half an hour later. After going through a series of tests such as long distance running and problem solving, Sing Feng finally received the admission notice from the ninja school. Wow, so handsome. When the trade wind passed by Harano Sakura, the trade wind heard Harano Sakura's exclamation. Turning to look at the other party, Shi Feng smiled at Harano Sakura. When Harano Sakura saw Trade Wind turning her head to look at herself, her pretty face turned red and her heart pounded wildly. Seeing Harano Sakura's expression, Shi Feng smiled again and then left. Although Harano Sakura behaves a bit bitch in the original work, this is from Naruto's perspective. From Sasuke's perspective, Harano Sakura is definitely the perfect wife candidate. As far as Naruto has been trying to pry corners for so many years, Harano Sakura has always been devoted to Suzuki. Harano Sakura's dedication to Suzuki is no less than Hinata's dedication to Naruto. What's more, since Hinata has already grabbed it, Trade Wind doesn't mind grabbing Harano Sakura. One man and two men are stepping on his feet, and one woman, two women, three women, and four women are in his arms. Isn't this the standard configuration of a time-traveling novel? Of course, the most important thing is that Harano Sakura's pink hair is so eye-catching that Shifeng can't help but want to dress her up as a singer. Tradewind's face was a bit more handsome than Sasuke's, and he believed that under his deliberate offensive, Harano Sakura would soon fall. Harano Sakura's performance in front of him just now was proof. Thinking of this, Shi Feng looked back at Harano Sakura and found that the other party was also secretly looking at him, with a red face. Seeing Trade Wind looking back at her, 
Harano Sakura immediately became shy and hid behind her parents, then quietly looked at Trade Wind. Seeing Harano Sakura's reaction, Shifeng's lips curled up. Suzuki, your wife is gone too. Kanaha 57 years. May 22, early morning. In a dilapidated cabin in the trade winds. It has been a month or two since the start of school. Today is the day the trade winds draw again. Because he started the card system on May 22. Therefore, the annual card drawing time is also on this day. Whether to start a new round of card drawing. Yes. Ding. Congratulations to the host for obtaining the ability card, transformation. Ding. Congratulations to the host for getting a blank character card. After the system prompts, a golden card and a white card appear in the void in front of Zinfin. Tradewind reached out and put the blank ability card into the system, then picked up the golden card and looked at it carefully. Transformation Ability Card, a physical transformation technique that can transform into one's own imagination and the target's appearance. After obtaining the target's chakra, even the chakra can be changed together. It cannot be noticed by others. The transformation can be cancelled after detaching the transformation card. The damage received after transformation will be synchronized to the main body. During the transformation period, chakra is not consumed and ninjutsu can be used. After transformation, the appearance and age can be adjusted. Cooling time, 30 minutes. Chakra is not consumed during the transformation period and ninjutsu can be used. Trade Wind felt happy when he saw this introduction. Although the transformation technique among the three body techniques can also change the body, it requires constant use of chakra to maintain the transformation. Therefore, when using the transformation technique, you cannot actually use other complex ninjutsu. This is also why Orochimaru peels off other people's faces and sticks them on his own instead of using transformation techniques. With this, I no longer have to be limited to this young body. Perhaps those ideas I have can be implemented now. Trade Wind held the card and muttered happily to himself. Running out of bed, Trade Wind began to experiment with the effect of the transformation card. Bang! The Trade Wind took on the form of little Tsunade. Bang! The Trade Winds took on the appearance of an outliner. Bang! The Trade Winds took on the form of Tifa. Bang! The trade wind turned into the look of the stupid king. Boom! The weak trade wind fell on the bed. On July 15, ninja school officially went on summer vacation. Transformed into an adult and wearing a mask, trade wind emerged from a gold exchange in the land of fire. In his hand, he held a copy of the ninja bounty list provided by the gold exchange. This roster records the list of all ninjas or samurai who can exchange bounties at the gold exchange. Most of the ninjas on the bounty list are very powerful, and the lowest level is special jonin level. The bounty offered by the money exchange is basically around 3 million. Only a few famous ninjas or samurai can reach more than 10 million. For example, Saratobi Asuma, the elite jonin of Kanaha and the son of the third Hokage, has a whopping 35 million Ryo. There are not many people taller than him in the entire roster. Seeing Feng flip through it casually, feeling a little bitter in his heart. It's not that he's afraid of the people on the reward book, but that he can't find any trace of these people. The money exchange can not only exchange bounty ninja corpses for bounties, but can also provide intelligence information of different values according to the needs of customers but you need to buy it with money. The higher the value of the information, the more expensive it will be. And if Tradewind had money, he wouldn't come here to be a bounty ninja. As an orphan who does not belong to the orphanage, how could he have such a thing as money? Even the money to register for the ninja school was earned by catching fish in the forest and selling it. The mask and hood on his face were carved from wood by himself. It's said to be a mask but it's just a faceless man with two holes dug into a wooden board and then tied with a rag. It's true that he died before he left the army, and a penny stumped the traveler. Trade wind sighed, feeling increasingly depressed. 
After walking two kilometers, Tradewind noticed someone coming from the opposite side of him. Wearing a mask and green eyes. Isn't this Kakuzu? Hasn't he joined the Akatsuki organization yet? Is he here in exchange for the bounty? Looking at the body held in Kakuzu's hand, Shifeng felt happy. Court death. Seeing Shifeng staring at the corpse in his hand with no mercy, Kakuzu snorted and took action directly. A mask emerged from Kakuzu's clothes and was pointed at the trade wind. Fire escape had hard work. A ball of flame fell in front of Kakuzu, and instantly turned into a sea of fire that swept towards the trade wind. Trade wind kicked a few times on the tree trunk next to him, jumped up high, and avoided the impact of Kakuzu's flames. At the same time, he waved his right hand and the hidden weapon in his hand flew towards Kakuzu. Humph, you actually dare to jump into the air. Don't you know that this will make you a living target? Kakuzu saw Shifeng's response and spoke contemptuously. He casually grabbed the hidden weapon thrown by the trade wind, held it in front of his eyes, and realized that it was a few small stones. Pebbles. How dare you tease me? The corner of Jiaodu's mouth twitched, and he was furious. He dropped the corpse and stones in his hands, and once again revealed a mask to the trade wind. Wind escape press. He wanted the ignorant boy in front of him to pay the price with blood. The high-pressure wind ball released by the Feng Dun mask instantly hit the trade wind that was still in the air. Not only that, the sea of fire on the ground also burned violently with the blessing of Feng Dun. Do you think I want to throw stones? It's not that I don't have enough money to buy a shuriken. Tradewind heard Kakuzu's words and complained in his mind. The next second, Tradewind's figure disappeared in midair and appeared behind Kakuzu, while reaching out to grab the body at Kakuzu's feet. When Kakuzu felt the Tradewind appear behind him instantly, his eyes widened in disbelief. He suddenly jumped to the side and distanced himself from the trade wind, with a solemn expression on his face. Flying Thunder God The well-informed Kakuzu immediately recognized the ninjutsu used by Shifeng. When facing the user of Flying Thunder God, there is no room for him to be careless. Shikikaze, who originally just wanted to steal the body, suddenly found it a bit interesting when he saw Kakuzu's appearance, and said with a smile. Thank you, I'll treat you to dinner next time. After Tradewind finished speaking, he disappeared again. What he took away was the body of the bounty ninja that Kakuzu had just held in his hand. Kakuzu did not relax his vigilance because of the departure of the Tradewind. He still stood where he was, secretly on guard. Facing the elusive Flying Thunder God user, you can never be too careful. Boom. After confirming that the trade wind had really left, Kakuzu punched the big tree next to him, breaking the trunk directly. The body was robbed, Kakuzu looked gloomy. Don't let me know who you are. The other side. The trade wind carried the body and happily ran to the money exchange. Walking into the money exchange, Seeing Feng came directly to the staff and dropped the body in his hands. Change money. The person in charge of this money exchange was an old man. He was secretly shocked when he saw that Tradewind had brought back a corpse not long after he left. This efficiency is a bit too fast. After taking a closer look at the corpse at the feet of Tradewind, the old man slowly said. The wandering samurai of the Iron Country, San Wan Zhan Yufuan. Twelve million tales. Twelve million tales. No wonder he is being targeted by Kakuzu. Tradewind didn't know who the corpse belonged to. At this moment, he saw the old man looking at him and nodded slightly, indicating that he recognized the other party's statement. Seeing Feng didn't care who the body belonged to, as long as he could get 12 million tails. The old man took the body back to a room inside, and then presented a box of money. Here, 12 million tails. Here. 12 million tails. After hearing the words of the person in charge of the money exchange, Tradewind reached out and took it. He opened the box and checked it, but he didn't bother to take inventory. The money exchange is here. 
if the other party dares to deceive him, he doesn't mind increasing his income. After thinking for a while, Xing Feng asked. Do you have any stolen goods for sale here? I want to buy a set of shurikens and a katana. The shuriken was prepared for the Flying Thunder God, and the katana was due to the swordsmanship talent and Uchiha swordsmanship obtained after fusing the Shisui card. The old man at the gold exchange office nodded when he heard this, returned to the back room, took out a few more things, looked at the trade wind and said. Ten shurikens, ten kunao, and a top-notch katana from the Iron Country. A total of 100,000 tails. Later, Tradewind purchased the location information of some ninjas with bounties on them, spending 200,000 tails. Shifeng opened the box, took out 300,000 tails and handed it to the other party, picked up the things and turned to leave. Not long after Tradewind left, Kakuzu rushed here, looked at the old man behind the counter and asked. Who was here just now? Hearing Kakuzu's words, the old man at the money exchange was stunned and quickly said with a flattering smile. Uncle Kakuzu, what's the matter? Kakuzu is a frequent visitor to the money exchange. He is very powerful and kills without blinking an eye. The old man dare not provoke him at all. Boom! Kakuzu slapped his hands on the table and said angrily, who was here just now? A new person has just arrived, carrying the body of Sandu and Zhan Wuchuan to collect the bounty. The old man became angry at the sight of him and said quickly. Which way did he go? When he heard the name of Take Foon, the veins on Kakuzu's forehead jumped. That was the target of his hunting. East, east. The old man pointed tremblingly. Kakuzu turned and left. Looking at Kakuzu's reaction, could it be that the prey in his hands has been robbed? The old man said to himself when he saw Kakuzu leaving the counter. Hey! Suddenly, Kakuzu suddenly turned around, his murderous intent erupted, and he stared at the old man from the money exchange. I'm sorry, the old man apologized quickly as his feet were shaking. Humph! Kakuzu snorted coldly and left the money exchange. Hey! It seems that Kakuzu's prey was really robbed by that newcomer. I wonder why he came back so quickly. He actually dares to snatch the prey from Kakuzu's hands. This young man is incredible. After Kakuzu left, the old man at the money exchange thought with some shock, and then quickly informed the headquarters of the news. Anyone who dares to steal even a corner must be alerted by the headquarters and must not offend the other party. After leaving the money exchange, Tradewind used the teleportation technique and headed towards the Flame City next to Kanaha Village. After a few hours of trekking, Tradewind finally applied for an anonymous bank card at the bank in Flame City. After taking out 100,000 yuan from the box and putting it on him, Xing Feng deposited all the other money into his bank card. After finishing these things, Tradewind left the Flame City and started heading towards the Kingdom of Wind. He wants to leave his Flying Thunder God mark all over the ninja world, so that he can quickly travel to various places in the ninja world in the future. And the Kingdom of Wind is his first target. Well, mainly because of the information provided by the Gold Exchange, there is a notorious wandering ninja in the Kingdom of Wind, and he needs to hurry up and go there. The main purpose of Trade Wind's trip to the Kingdom of Wind this time was to deal with this wandering and rebellious ninja, and then exchange for the bounty. After several days of traveling, Trade Wind finally arrived at a remote oasis in the Kingdom of Wind. According to the information provided by the Gold Exchange Center, the wandering rebel ninja was named Sunasuk, and he teamed up with some desert ma, horse, bandits to rob homes and houses nearby killing many business travelers and local people. Arriving at the oasis, Xing Feng put on a poor quality handmade mask, took out the samurai sword he carried with him, and walked towards the Ma Bandit camp in the distance. Who are you? At the entrance of the camp, a bandit looked at the approaching trade wind and shouted sharply. What answered him was the light of the sharp knife in trade wind's hand. Uh-huh. The bandit's head flew up and bright red blood spurted out from his torso. 
Xinfen will never be merciful to these evil bandits who commit all kinds of evil. Enemy attack! Enemy attack! A bandit in the distance shouted a warning when he saw his dead companion. The next moment, he fell under the knife of the trade wind. As trade wind moved forward, he recalled the swordsmanship information about Uchiha swordsmanship in his mind. As the death toll of the bandits continued to rise, his movements became more and more skillful. From the rough chop at the beginning to the gorgeous smoothness later. With his strong swordsmanship talent, Trade Wind's mastery of Uchiha swordsmanship is rapidly increasing. Dang, dang, dang. He casually slashed away the incoming shuriken, Xian. Fang turned his head and looked at the tall man with a height of 1.8 meters and a beard in front of him. Surrounding the big man were the remaining dozen or so bandits. Who are you? The big man looked at Trade Wind with a wary look on his face. Tradewind shook off the blood on his katana and looked at the big man. Are you the bandit leader? Yes, who are you? Do you know a man named Zhang Meizi? What are you talking about? He has a few pockmarks on his face. Do you know him? Neuropathy. Then you can die. After Tradewind finished speaking, he held a samurai sword in his hand and rushed towards the leader of the bandits. No. He was rushing towards the wandering rebel ninja, Sunasuk. Seeing Trade Wind rushing towards him with a samurai sword, the corners of Sunasuk's mouth raised slightly and he quickly formed seals with his hands. Another one who doesn't know how to live or die. Earth Escape Shen Kai Cut After the seal was completed, a layer of rock armor appeared on Sasuke's body, and a sharp stone knife grew out of his right hand. The heavy rock armor is used to defend against slashing, and the knife is used to cut people, commonly known as heavy armor cutting. Oh, Shen Kaikaru of IWA Ninja Village. This kind of armor has no meaning in front of me. Buzz. The moment the two came into contact, a buzzer sounded from Trade Wind's left hand, and a blue light appeared between the two. The katana in his right hand held the stone knife struck by Sunasuk and Trade Wind sent the raised nan held in his left hand to the opponent's chest. Boom! The rock armor on Sasuke's chest was shattered to pieces, and a blood hole as big as a bowl was exposed on his chest. You! Sunasuk looked at Shifeng in disbelief. He did not expect that the other party could use such a powerful Muji ninjutsu in an instant. I'm so unwilling, I obviously still have a lot of ninjutsu that I haven't used yet. As Suzuki thought about this, his eyes fell into darkness. Ah! The boss has been killed, run away. Seeing that the powerful leader was killed instantly by trade wind, the other bandits fled in horror. Uh-huh. 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 Trade wind caught up with the fleeing bandits and waved the samurai sword in his hand repeatedly. After killing the three leaders, trade wind looked at the others and shouted. Anyone who dares to run away again will die. The bandits, who had already been frightened out of fear, dropped their weapons and raised their hands in surrender. Shaking off the blood on the knife, Sing Feng tied up all the bandits and searched carefully in the bandit camp. Arriving at a place that looked like a prison, Sing Feng saw many young girls with dull eyes inside. The purple scratches and tattered clothes on their bodies all tell the story of the tragic experiences they have suffered. Two more women were stabbed in the legs, with pus oozing from the wounds and maggots growing out. They were lying in jail waiting to die. Seeing such a tragic scene in front of him, silent anger brewed in Xing Feng's heart. The red pupils in his eyes became scarleter, and a megatama quickly appeared. Turning back and rushing towards the surrendered bandits, Trade Wind, who was filled with murderous intentions, raised his knife and dropped it, blood splattering everywhere. Every time Trade Wind kills a person, the power of the Sharingan eye will increase by one point, and a Megatama will appear in the eyes. After killing the last person, all the Megatama in his eyes finally appeared, turning into a pair of three Megatama Sharingan. Call. Trade Wind stood in the camp full of corpses holding a bloody katana, closed his eyes, took a deep breath, and exhaled heavily. This Sharingan is like an emotional amplifier. 
no wonder the Uchiha family easily becomes insane. Feeling the murderous intention emerging in his heart, Zinfen murmured to himself. As his mood calmed down, the three Megatama Sharingan in Zinfen's eyes gradually disappeared and disappeared. Ah! The trade wind opened the prison, causing the woman imprisoned inside to scream. Arriving in front of two dying women, the trade wind casually knocked them unconscious, began to clean their wounds with strong liquor found in the camp, and then stretched out his hand to press the injured areas of the two to perform palm magic. The other women in the prison opened their mouths in surprise when they saw Zing Feng's behavior. A brave girl sneaked out and saw the bandit camp full of corpses. She returned to the prison excitedly and shouted to the people inside. They're all dead. Those horse bandits are all dead. After half an hour of busy work, Tradewind finally finished treating the two women. But Tradewind's mood became increasingly heavy. Because there were all crying women around him. After learning that all the bandits were dead, the victimized women all started crying and kept crying for half an hour. This made him a little upset and helpless. For those enemies, he can kill them with one blow. But for these victims, he didn't know what to do with them. After an hour of soothing, Tradewind finally found out the villages where these people lived. He took out the horses from the bandit camp, set up a carriage in the Tradewind, and headed towards the Huangsha village that the woman mentioned with these victims and the money looted from the bandit camp. After walking for several hours, Tradewind finally saw a remote village living in an oasis. Thanks, thanks. Seeing the woman sent back, the village elder of Huangsha village held Xing Feng's hand and thanked her repeatedly, with tears streaming down his face. Old man, don't scratch me with your dirty hands that wipe your nose. Believe it or not, I will kill you. Seeing the village elder burst into tears and clutching his left hand, the veins on Shi Feng's forehead jumped. After being left by the villagers for a sumptuous dinner with desert characteristics, Trade Wind left the village amidst the farewell of the villagers. Sir, these things. Several women rescued by the Trade Wind ran out of the village, leading a few horses beside them. On the backs of the horses were the money and valuables that the Trade Wind had plundered from the bandit camp. Give it to you. Zinfen waved his hand without looking back. All I need is you. That's right, Sunasuk. Looking at Sasuke's head in his hand, Shi Feng chuckled and disappeared into the desert. The country of wind, a place for gold exchange. Trade wind walked out of the gold exchange in the kingdom of wind, feeling happy. Another five million tails has arrived. I didn't expect Sunasuk to be the Jonin of IWA Ninja Village. This is too dishonest. After stretching, Trade Wind left the money exchange and continued to leave the Flying Thunder God's Mark in various cities within the Kingdom of Wind. A few days later, is the Sand Ninja Village ahead. The Trade Wind left the Flying Thunder God's Mark on the rocks beside him, and he looked at the Sand Ninja Village in the distance with some curiosity. After several days of running around, he had left his mark of the Flying Thunder God everywhere in the Kingdom of Wind. Sand Ninja Village is his last stop. Thanks to the long journey in the past few days, Shi Feng has become quite familiar with the fourth Hokage's teleportation technique. Although he is not yet the fastest in the ninja world, he is still much faster than other ninjas. He believed that it wouldn't be long before he could become a Shinyo like the fourth Hokage. Well, Shunnan here refers to the speed of movement. Not something weird. Someone ran out. Wow, what a beautiful woman. Seeing a figure running out of the Sand Ninja village, Trade Wind quickly hid and watched secretly. Tisk tisk tisk, such a beautiful back. It turns out to be you. Ye Kang. Looking at Ye Kang's back, Zinfen murmured to himself and followed him quietly. Who? After running for more than ten minutes, Ye Kang suddenly turned around and stopped, staring at the Trade Wind with a wary expression. Ms. Yeking is indeed an elite Jounin. You discovered her so quickly. Trade Wind appeared, looked at Yeking and smiled. Who are you? This is under the jurisdiction of Sand Ninja Village. Yeking shouted looking at the inferior mask on Shi Feng's face. Then, 
Ye Keng continued to speak, forget it, I'll capture you first. After saying that, five unusually bright fireballs appeared behind Ye Keng. With a wave of her right hand, the five fireballs quickly flew towards Trade Wind. Burning escape five rounds of fire. Xian Feng formed a seal with one hand and used the instant body technique to avoid Ye Kang's burning escape attack. He circled around Ye Kang and kept spinning in circles. While surrounding Ye Kang, he also threw two small stones to attack from time to time. Other side. Pretend to be a ghost. Ye Kang shouted, and more than twenty fireballs appeared around him again, spreading rapidly to the surroundings. Burning escape twenty companies. Why does it look a bit like Flame Nova? Looking at the fireball spreading rapidly around Ye Kang, Xinfen thought to himself. The next second, Trade Wind appeared behind Ye Kang, stretched out his finger and touched the exposed spine on his smooth back. She was suddenly attacked, and the cold touch on Ye Kang's spine made her shiver. This strange feeling made Ye Kang feel ashamed and angry. Ye Kang's anger surged, blood rushed to his forehead, he grabbed the trade wind with his back hand, and formed a seal with one hand, which was spreading out just now. The scorching escape fireball accelerated and flew back, blasting towards the two of them. Apparently he wants to drag the trade winds with him to death. Boom! The fireball exploded, flames shot into the sky, and there was a loud noise. You crazy bitch! Trade wind appeared in the distance holding Ye Kang, looking at the explosion scene in the distance, secretly smacking his lips. It really deserves to be called burning release. The power and range of this explosion are indeed much stronger than ordinary fire release. Damn it! Ye Kang was hugged by trade wind, his face turned red, he broke free from the other party's embrace, took out a kunao, and wiped it on trade wind's neck. But the kunao stopped five centimeters away from Trade Wind's neck. What? This is a curse seal. Ye Kang was horrified to find that a black curse mark appeared on the surface of her body, binding her body so that she could not move at all. Cursed seal. By casting a sealing technique on the opponent, the opponent's actions are sealed. This is one of the many sealing techniques of the Uzumaki clan. It is the same type of immobilization technique as the seal of self-karma used by Danzo and Suzuki in their battle. However, the one used by Shifeng was from the Uzumaki clan, and it was much more powerful than the one used by Danzo. Trade Wind stretched out his hand, raised Ye Kang's beautiful face, touched her lips, looked at her and smiled. Miss Ye Kang, you are really tempting. After saying that, Trade Wind removed his mask and kissed her. Ye Kang's pupils trembled, and red clouds suddenly appeared on his face, and quickly spread to his ears. I'm going to kill you. After the two separated, Ye Kang looked at the mask on Shi Feng's face, his chest rose and fell violently, and he said viciously. She entered the decision-making level of Sand Ninja Village at a young age. She was usually either performing tasks or practicing hard, and had never been exposed to such things. At this time, her first kiss was taken away by the trade wind, which made her feel ashamed and angry, angry and ashamed. Do you want to follow me? Shi Feng looked at Ye Kang's expression as if he were looking at a cat with fried fur. You're dreaming. Before Ye Kang finished speaking, he was blocked by the trade wind again. The two separated again, and trade wind continued to ask, Do you want to follow me? Ye Kang shook his head again. The trade wind kisses again. Do you want to follow me? Ye Kang continued to shake his head. The trade wind continued to kiss. The trade wind left at the first touch this time. Ye Kang's face turned red, and he continued to stare at the mask on the trade wind's face, and then unconsciously pursed his lips, feeling a little unfinished. Seeing Ye Kang's actions, Xing Feng chuckled and said in the other party's ear. Be careful of Kirito Ninja people. Be careful of the fourth Kazakage. After finishing speaking, Trade Wind disappeared in place. After the Trade Wind left, Ye Kang was freed from the cursed seal and whispered with a flushed face. Don't let me know who you are. It's so shameless to run away after kissing. 
Ye Qing died in World War III, but the author liked her better, so a small change was made here. Wu. In the dead of night, with the bright moon hanging high in the sky, the breeze blew through the mountains and forests on the border of the Kingdom of Water, making a whining sound. Tell me, why don't you listen to me? After the ninjas from Mist Ninja Village left, Trade Wind walked out of the shadows, came to the dying Ye Kang, and shook his head. With such a beautiful back, you guys from Mist Ninja Village are really capable of killing it. While pulling out the densely packed kunao on Ye Kang's back, Shi Feng used the healing technique while chanting incessantly. Returning Ye Kang's beautiful back to its original state, the trade wind turned the opponent over. At this time, Ye Kang bit his lips tightly and stared straight at the trade wind, with tears constantly falling from his eyes. Physical pain and death have long been accustomed to Ye Kang, who often goes through life and death. However, the betrayal by Sand Ninja Village was the most fatal to Ye Kang. The hero who made great achievements for the village was betrayed and killed because of the fear of Feng Ying. This is really an ironic thing. All right. The senior officials of Sand Ninja Village don't want you because they have cerebral palsy. Look how much I care about you. I've been following you secretly for a few days. Please stop crying, please. Regardless of the blood stains on the ground, Xing Feng sat on the ground and held Ye Kang in his arms, gently patting the other person's back as if coaxing a child. You 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 you. However, upon hearing Xing Feng's words, Ye Kang's unwillingness and grievance suddenly broke out, and he cried even more fiercely, like a little girl who had been abandoned. The trade wind still patted Ye Kang's back gently, and finally hummed softly. The dark sky hangs low, accompanied by bright stars. Insects fly, insects fly. After crying for a long time, Ye Kang wiped away his tears, looked at the trade wind and asked. What are you singing about? Why don't I understand you at all? Xin Feng heard the words and chuckled. This is Chinese, so of course you can't understand it. After thinking for a while, Xin Feng said. This is a song from another world. You are the first person in this world to hear it. Ye Qing got up from Xing Feng's arms, curled his lips, and clearly didn't believe it, you are a liar. After her initial breakdown, she had recovered and became the elite Jounin she once was. After Ye Qing finished speaking, he walked towards the nearby river, took off his coat, and began to wipe and clean the blood on his body. Shining like white jade, bright as a jade girl. Looking at Ye Kang's smooth back that seemed to be glowing in the moonlight, Xin Feng took a few deep breaths and was filled with admiration. Turn around. Ye Kang glanced back at Xin Feng. Now that his first kiss had been taken away by the person in front of him, and his own life had been saved by the other person, Ye Kang also began to try to trust the other person. Good. Trade Wind smiled and turned around immediately. Hearing the sound of water coming from behind, Xing Feng felt itchy and wanted to turn around and take a peek several times, but he still suppressed this idea and waited quietly. A man must keep his word. While Ye Kang was washing his body in the river, he stared at the back of the trade wind, wondering what he was thinking. Do you really trust me that much? Ye Kang sighed slightly when he saw that Shi Feng really kept his word and kept his back facing him. Ninjas cannot turn their backs to others. Wash the clothes, dry them with a burner, and put them on. Sliding a horizontal line on the sand ninja's forehead, Ye Qing came behind Shi Feng. All right. Where shall we go next? Xin Feng was delighted when he heard this, and immediately turned around and looked at Ye Qing. Well, your injury is recovering now. I'll take you to a place to recuperate for a few days. I'll come back to you then. Seeing Ye Kang nod, Xin Feng reached out and grabbed the other person's arm and disappeared. Kanaha, civilian area. Uh-huh. Trade Wind's figure instantly appeared in his cabin. Beside the trade winds. Nothing. Just kidding, of course he couldn't bring Ye Kang back to Kanaha, but settled in a hotel in Flame City. Goo. 
As soon as the transformation was released and he returned to his true form, Shi Feng's stomach growled. It's just early in the morning, I don't know if Ichiraku Ramen is closed. Picking up a few banknotes, Shi Feng walked out of the door and ran towards Ichiraku Ramen. Because he had been extremely poor before, he had never tasted the taste of Ichiraku Ramen. Atsutsuki Ichiraku, I will let you taste my power today. A few minutes later, Shi Feng looked at the Ichiraku Ramen in front of him and complained. After patting the roller blind that hung in the air, Trade Wind walked in with his hands behind his back. Welcome. Seeing the trade wind coming in, I waved my hands to give a warm welcome. Boom. Trade wind slapped his little hands on the table and shouted to his hand, Atsutsuki Ichiraku, here's a bowl of tonkatsu noodles. The eleven or twelve year old Akaris was putting away the tableware. Hearing this, he put the tableware in his hands on the table next to him, came to Zinfin, and said angrily. Daddy calls it hand fighting, not Atsutsuki Ichiraku. You little brat, if you dare to scream again, I will deal with you. Trade Wind turned his head and glanced at Calamus, and found that the other person was actually quite good looking. This made his anger instantly dissipate. Beautiful women always have some privileges, right? Calamus, it's too late. You go back and rest quickly. I'll do the rest. Tate took his head out from behind the counter, looked at Iris and said, then he looked at the trade wind, wait a moment, little brother, the tonkatsu ramen will be ready soon. Snort. Seeing trade wind covering his forehead, Calamus raised his hand to threaten trade wind, then picked up the tableware and left. It's a joke, this is a joke, do you understand it or not? Trade wind looked at Calamus leaving and couldn't help curling his lips. Having been a child for a long time, he has picked up many children's habits. Moreover, the little Calamus is so cute, so of course he needs to be teased a few times. When Acarus saw Zing Feng's displeased expression, he immediately put his hands on his hips and raised his eyebrows angrily, looking like a little adult. Seeing Calamus preparing to rush over again, Zing Feng jumped off his stool and tried to run away. Humph seeing Trade Wind's appearance, Acarus chuckled and walked into the inner room. This kid looks pretty good. Brother, luxurious tonkatsu ramen. Tate put a bowl of ramen covered with barbecued pork in front of the trade wind. I just ordered the regular one. Shi Feng smelled the aroma of ramen and looked at the ramen that was seriously inconsistent with the picture and said. The main reason was that the bowl of ramen given to him by hand had too much meat. Well. This is my apology for Calamus's rashness. He waved his hand carelessly and continued busy at the counter. It's really generous. Hearing this makes me want to tease Acarus again next time. Trade Wind picked up the chopsticks, opened them, picked up a chopstick of ramen and put it into his mouth. Uh-huh. This tastes so delicious. The soup is rich and mellow, the noodles are chewy and elastic and the barbecued pork is even more delicious. Hey! The trade wind blew the noodles into my mouth, one chopstick after another, and I couldn't stop. In the end, he even drank the soup. If he wasn't too small to eat that much, trade wind would have really wanted to have another bowl. Welcome! As soon as Shi Feng put down his dishes, he saw a ninja wearing a cat face mask walking in. When the other party took off the cat face mask, Shi Feng discovered that the other party was Kakashi Hotaki, who was wearing a mask and his left eye was covered with a forehead protector. At this time, Kakashi Hotaki was still working in the Anbu and was a loner in everything he did. Well, except when being entangled by Metkai. However, Kakashi's aura is too powerful. Sitting in his seat, Shi Feng looked at Kakashi in front of him and marveled. The aura of decadence and depression in Kakashi's body was almost like a king. From now on, I'll just call you King of Mourning or King of Decadence. But that's right, Kakashi, who has experienced the death of his father, Master, Master, Nohara Rin and Uchiha Obito's death, did not commit suicide. Thank God. Trade Wind didn't leave even after finishing his ramen, 
watching Kakashi's random thoughts. Well, he mainly wanted to see how Kakashi eats noodles while wearing a mask. This can be said to be an unknown mystery in the ninja world. Tradewind also estimated the total amount of his chakra at this time. Well, probably around 10 calories. Card A commonly used unit of measurement in the ninja world, used to calculate the amount of personal chakra. Here, your seafood ramen. Tate handed a bag to Kakashi. Hey, it turns out to be packing. Unable to see Kakashi's true face, Shifeng curled his lips and walked outside the ramen shop. When passing by Kakashi, he wiped his left hand stained with soup on Kakashi's clothes, ran out of the ramen shop, and made faces at Kakashi. Kakashi glanced at the mischievous trade wind, and without saying anything else, he used the teleportation technique and disappeared. Father, I'm here to see you. In front of the memorial monument, Kakashi said hello to the tombstones of the Yandame couple, Nohara Rin, Uchiha Obito, and others, and then came to the tombstone of Hitaki White Fang. Opening the box, Kakashi took off his mask and started eating ramen. In the shadow of the woods next to the memorial monument, the transformed trade wind wore a mask and kept moving, trying to see clearly the true face of Kakashi who was eating noodles with his head down. Lift a little more, lift a little more. Shifeng murmured to himself and kept staring at Kakashi, like an idiot. Uh-huh. Kakashi suddenly waved his right hand, and the two chopsticks attached to the thunder escape, struck the trade wind with lightning speed. I rub. The trade wind trembled and quickly moved to the side. He did not expect that Kakashi would suddenly take action. Do. Do. Looking at the two chopsticks nailed to the big tree, Seeing Feng was speechless. When he turned to look at Kakashi, he found that the other person had put on his mask again. Still haven't seen it. The trade winds sighed. Who are you? Why are you following me? Seeing that the other party had actually escaped his surprise attack, Kakashi stood up and stared at the trade wind with a wary expression. Who I am? I am the one who helps you treat your kidney deficiency. Tradewind chuckled and swung several shurikens at Kakashi with his backhand. Dang, dang, dang. Kakashi, who didn't understand what the Tradewind was saying, took out a kunau and shot down the flying shuriken. The next second, the figure of Tradewind appeared behind Kakashi, and the kunau in his hand directly pierced Kakashi's neck. Blood flew, Kakashi's figure disappeared, and then turned into a powerful lightning strike wrapping around the trade wind. Haha, <laughs> as expected of you. Kakashi. Feeling the numbness in his body, Zinfan chuckled. Using the Thunder Escape clone to lure the enemy into testing is really Kakashi's common trick. The other side. Kakashi, who was lying in ambush, was slightly startled when he saw Shifeng suddenly appearing behind his clone. The move used by the opponent made him feel extremely familiar. But before he had time to think, Kakashi's body rushed out, the lightning in his hand flashed, and formed a straight line, rushing towards Trade Wind, whose body was paralyzed by lightning. Thunder Escape Raish I hope my suspicion just now is not true. The indomitable Kakashi thought so in his heart. The next second, a figure flashed on the path of Kakashi's rakery, blocking Kakashi's rakery with his body. You're not the only one who can use clones. Seeing that the shadow clone used his body to block Kakashi's lightning strike, Shifeng, who recovered from the paralysis of the lightning strike, chuckled and kicked Kakashi away. Kakashi slipped through the air and hit the trunk of a big tree hard. Blood spurted out of his mouth and he was in severe pain all over his body. You should have recognized the moves I used just now. Yet even so, you still rushed forward recklessly. Kakashi, do you really want to die that much? The moment Kakashi landed, Trade Wind came to Kakashi and put his hand on the opponent's neck. Cursed Seal. Who are you? Why do you know Kanaha's flying thunder god? Kakashi, who was unable to move, did not answer Shifeng's words. Instead, he stared at the other person and asked solemnly. 
It seems that you, who keep losing me, are really self-destructive. You want to borrow. Help me to commit suicide? I won't let you succeed. Tradewind said to himself, casually knocked Kakashi unconscious, and then reached out and pulled off Kakashi's mask. He wanted to do this on the first day he traveled across time. As expected of His Highness Kakashi, he is very handsome. He can almost catch up with me, no wonder he can fascinate no Harin so much. Putting Kakashi's mask back on him, Tradewind stretched out his hand and pressed it on Kakashi's left eye, and took off Kakashi's Manjiki Sharingan. The Mangekyo Sharingan is too much of a burden for you who are not an Uchiha, so just let me keep it for you. Although the Mangekyo Sharingan can enhance Kakashi's fighting skills and strength, it is too much of a burden for him and directly locks Kakashi's outstanding talent in the Sharingan. Once Kakashi loses his Sharingan, his strength will plummet and he will become the weakest Hokage. It's simply more gain than loss. Of course, the most important thing is that the power contained in this Sharingan is divine, and Nobu Feng has been coveting it for a long time. In Tradewind's future script, Kakashi, Naruto, and others can just get married and have children happily. It was up to him, Shifeng, to save the ninja world. Who makes him want to destroy Atsutsuki, steal Kagaya, and then discuss the mysteries of life with Kagaya? After storing the Kamui Sharingan, Shifeng reached out to treat Kakashi's bleeding left eye. I keep my word, and I will never break my promise to help you treat kidney deficiency. Looking at Kakashi waking up from the pain, Shifeng looked at him and smiled. Is your purpose just for my eyes? Kakashi looked at the Sharingan in Shifeng's hand and said coldly. No, I'm here to tell you the truth. This Sharingan is just the reward I receive for treating your kidney deficiency. Besides, it's too much of a burden for you. Hearing Kakashi's words, Shifeng shook his head. The truth. Kakashi was stunned. Some people died, but he was still alive. Some Kakashi is still alive, but he's dead. Kakashi, if you want to know who is the culprit of the Nine Tails Rebellion, and if you want to protect the orphan of the fourth Hokage, then you'd better work hard to become stronger. When the day comes when you have shadow level strength, I will tell you all the truth. Come on, your highness Kakashi, you can't let the fans down. After finishing speaking, Tradewind glanced at Kakashi and disappeared. When the Tradewind left, the cursed seal on Kakashi was released. Kakashi covered his left eye with an ugly expression. Kakashi! Now you can't even save the eye that Obito left behind. You trash! After despising himself for a while, Kakashi clenched his fists hard. No, I will not give up, I want to become stronger. I want to know the truth about the Nine Tails Rebellion, and I want to protect the bloodline left by my teacher. Kakashi stood up, his aura of decadence swept away, and looked firmly at the fourth Hokage on the Hokage Rock. Teacher, to protect Naruto. I will work hard to become stronger. After Kakashi finished speaking, he rushed directly to where Metkai lived. Kanaha Forest the trade wines came to the place where he used to catch kind-hearted animals. Taking out the Manjiki Sharingan he had just taken off Kakashi, he carefully looked at it under the moonlight. Picking other people's eyes is easy. If you pick your own eyes, you still feel a little guilty. After hesitating for a long time, Seeing Feng took off his left eye, and then installed the divine left eye in his hand. The Mangekyo Sharingan is indeed more useful than the three Megatama Sharingan. Seeing Feng thought as he kept comparing the difference between his left and right eyes. Do. 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 The sound of several shurikens hitting the trees resounded in the forest, carried by the wind and reached the ears of the trade wind. Who is still practicing hard in the forest at this late hour? The trade wind listened carefully then figured out the direction and followed the sound. Arriving at the place where the sound came from, Tradewind saw a beautiful girl practicing shuriken hard. Who? The shuriken in the girl's hand was suddenly thrown towards the Tradewind. Clang! Taking out the kunao, 
Tradewind casually shot down the flying shuriken, looking at the three Megatama Sharingan in the girl's eyes with some surprise. Uchihas. You have activated the three Megatama Sharingan at such a young age. You are quite capable. Tradewind tossed the eyeball in his hand and praised. Tossing and tossing, Tradewind was stunned. Only then did he realize that the three Megatama Sharingan in his hand was his own. Uchiha Spring Seeing a strange adult man wearing a mask walking out, he frowned. Then, she saw the three Megatama Sharingan thrown in the opponent's hand, which made her breath suffocate. Enemy Thinking that the other party was staring at his eyes, Izumi Uchiha formed a seal with his hands. Art Fire Escape Ho Fireball Seeing the other party taking action directly, Seeing Feng raised his eyebrows. Are all Uchihas insane? Kill someone at the slightest disagreement? Trade Wind, who didn't understand the cause at all, swung his shuriken, bypassed the approaching Go Fireball Jutsu, and flew towards Uchiha Spring. Clang! As soon as Izumi Uchiha knocked down Trade Wind's shuriken, he found that the opponent flashed beside him and pinched his neck with one hand. Uchiha Izumi was horrified because she didn't see clearly how the other party bypassed the fireball and appeared in front of her. If such a situation occurs, it means that the opponent's strength is several levels beyond hers, and she is not able to deal with it at all. Why are you attacking me? Seeing Fang frowned and looked at the girl in his hand, somewhat puzzled. If the other party couldn't give any reasonable reason, Shi Feng felt that he had to contribute to the peace and stability of Kanaha. Although the other party is quite good-looking, no matter how good-looking the female madman is, she is still a female madman. Hearing Trade Wind's doubtful words, Uchiha Izumi was startled. Didn't he stare into my eyes? Whose Sharingan is the one in your hand? Izumi Uchiha pursed his lips and said, looking at the mask on Shi Feng's face. It turns out that's the reason. Trade Wind casually let go of the girl's neck, stretched out his hand to cover his left eye, and said nonchalantly, of course it's mine. Uchiha Izumi frowned and looked at the Trade Wind, obviously not believing it. What? I can't just take off my eyeballs and play with them myself. Zinfan curled his lips, and then explained, well, they are really my eyes. After saying that, Shi Feng continued to cover his left eye, brought the three Megatama Sharingan in his right eye in front of the girl, and then opened and closed it. Hey! Uchiha Izumi breathed a sigh of relief when he saw that Tradewind could open and close his Sharingan freely. Only those with Uchiha bloodline can open and close the Sharingan freely. Senior, just now I thought you were coveting my Sharingan. Why are you licking your own eyes? Uchiha Izumi glared at Shi Feng angrily, his little daughter's attitude on full display. Practice healing techniques, that's not possible. Shi Feng stared back at Uchiha Izumi, threw away the eyeballs in his hands, and left. Senior, I did something wrong just now, please forgive me. Uchiha Izumi followed Shi Feng and spoke in a low voice. Okay, I forgive you. Trade Wind shrugged and said indifferently. Really? Izumi Uchiha was quite surprised. He didn't expect this senior to be so easy to talk to. Thinking of this, she rolled her eyes, looked at Seeing Feng with a smile and said, Senior, what was that move that you just suddenly appeared in front of me? Hearing this, Zinfen glanced at Uchiha Izumi. Girl, your abacus beads are playing too loudly. You can't learn. Seeing Feng refused directly. Why can't I learn? Izumi Uchiha frowned. Because you can't live more than a year, so you won't be able to learn. What did you say? Hearing this, Izumi Uchiha stared at Tradewind with a shocked expression. Oh, what a mouthful! Tradewind left the other party behind and ran away quickly. At Metkai's house. Kakashi, you said your Sharingan was robbed. Metkai who had just been woken up by Kakashi, was shocked when he heard Kakashi's words. Kakashi is already a jonin of Kanaha, who can snatch his eyes from him. Thinking of this, 
Metkai continued and asked, Where was your eye robbed? In Kanaha, just now. Kakashi said calmly. He had calmed down now and began to think about his opponent. The opponent possesses the Flying Thunder God, and also knows the sealing technique of the Uzumaki clan. It is almost like the fourth Hokage is still alive. What? It actually happened just now, and it was in Kanaha. When Metkai heard this, he was stunned. While I was sleeping, my best friend had his eyes gouged out. Damn it! Metkai felt regretful in his heart. Then, Metkai looked at Kakashi and said, Could it be someone from the Uchiha clan who did it? Because Kakashi's Sharingan belongs to Obito, the people from the Uchiha security department have been looking for trouble with Kakashi and want to take back Kakashi's Sharingan. Not quite. Besides, I'm not sure whether the other party is from Kanaha. Because he can fly thunder. It's extremely easy to get in and out of Kanaha. Kakashi recalled carefully that he did not find any characteristics of the Uchiha clan in Trade Wind. Flying Thunder God, Kai was not surprised when Kakashi said that the other party could fly Thunder God. He even felt that this was the only reasonable way. In that case, Kakashi, how are you going to explain it to the third Hokage? Metkai looked at Kakashi worriedly. Losing a Sharingan was a major event. In a few days, if you don't meet that person again, just tell the truth. Kakashi glanced at Metkai, and then continued. Kai, I would like to ask you for advice on how to practice the Eight Gate Dungia. If he wants to defeat someone who possesses the Flying Thunder God, Kai's Eight Gate Dungeon is Kakashi's only choice. The other one is, of course, the Flying Thunder God. Metkai gave Kakashi a thumbs up. No problem. Youth will never abandon anyone. Is the news accurate? In a hotel in Flame City, Sing Feng looked at the reward information handed over by Ye Keng and asked. Well, I have confirmed it in the black market information room. The information provided by Gold Exchange is indeed accurate. This man killed many civilians in the Kingdom of Rain. Because he was Hanzo's right-hand man, he was not punished. After that, he got worse and became more aggressive, often killing people for fun. Opposite Shi Feng, Ye Qing looked at the mask on Shi Feng's face from time to time and spoke slowly. At the suggestion of the trade wind, Ye Qing also joined the ranks of bounty ninjas, and followed the trade wind to hunt down those ninjas and samurai who did evil. In that case, let's set off. Trade Wind walked up to Ye Keng and stretched out his right hand. Ye Keng put on a mask, looked at Shi Feng's right hand, pursed his lips, and stretched out his left hand to touch it. The next second, the two people appeared at the border of the Country of Fire. Although this was not the first time for Flying Thunder God to experience the Trade Wind, Ye Keng was still surprised. This way. Identify the direction, Ye Keng pointed in one direction. Two hours later, Shi Feng and Ye Qing rushed to the Kingdom of Rain and contacted the Black Market Information House in the Kingdom of Rain. The two of them successfully found the target figure who was killing people for fun in the countryside of the Land of Rain the Poisonous Knife Azo. Run quickly, ha 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 ha. Run for me quickly. I will kill whoever runs the slowest, ha 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 ha. You are the remnants of the Akatsuki organization, ha 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 ha. Izo, who wore a forehead protector from the Rain Ninja village with four vertical lines on his head, had thin cheeks and black hair, and was holding a purple-black poison knife and a whip, was laughing as he chased several boys and girls who were running away in front of him. If he saw someone running slower, he would take a whip and hit the other person hard. These boys and girls are naturally not the remnants of the Akatsuki organization, but that was before. Now that Izo says they are. Then they are. Ha 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 ha, you are running too slow. Izo laughed maniacally, raised the poisonous knife in his hand, and struck hard at the little girl running at the end. That's too much. Shi Feng shook his head, and a teleportation technique appeared in front of Izo. The samurai sword in his right hand blocked the poisonous knife that Izo had chopped down, and he pulled the little girl into his arms with his left hand. Who are you? 
when Izo saw the sudden appearance of the trade wind in front of him, he was horrified and stepped back. He didn't see clearly when the other party appeared in front of him. Izo had just put some distance between himself and the trade wind when he suddenly discovered that more than twenty blazing fireballs had landed at his foothold. It's over. Cold sweat instantly broke out on Poison Blade Izzo's forehead. Boom! The fireball exploded, setting off monstrous flames, and the fiercely burning fire spread far away. I was almost affected by you just now. Trade Wind appeared next to Yekeng with a black line on his face, carrying the little girl in his arms. The power of Yekeng's twenty burning fireballs exploding at the same time can reach a range of dozens of meters. Although Izo quickly retreated and distanced himself after seeing him just now, the trade wind was still within the range of the explosion. Aren't you safe and sound now? Ye Keng looked at the burning sea of fire in front of him and said without looking back. When she fought the trade winds last time, she found that twenty scorching fireballs exploding together could greatly increase the power and range, and she fell in love with this attack method. Moreover, at the suggestion of trade wind, she named this move, Big Bang. The corner of Xing Feng's mouth twitched, and then he said depressingly, If you burn people like this and you can't even recognize them, how will we get the reward then? Ye Qing opened her mouth, a little frustrated, and then she looked at the girl in Xing Feng's arms. How long are you going to hold her? Um? Only then did Xian Feng realize that he had forgotten that there was another person in his arms and he quickly let go of the other person. You should leave quickly. If someone sees you standing with us later, I'm afraid it will affect you. Um. The seven or eight year old girl with short purple hair nodded heavily and ran away quickly. As she ran, she looked back at the two trade winds. After the sea of fire dissipated, trade wind looked at Azo's charred body and gave Ye Keng a hard look. Ahem. Ye Keng coughed and looked to the side with a guilty conscience. Taking out the body bag from his backpack, Shi Feng put on his gloves and put Izo's charred corpse into it together with the poisonous knife in his hand. He was going to try his luck with it. At any rate, it's several million tails. Let's go. Trade Wind picked up the body bag and walked towards the capital of the Kingdom of Rain. He is planning to leave his own flying thunder mark in the capital of the Kingdom of Rain. After remembering, cast Flying Thunder God to leave. After Trade Wind and Ye Keng left, Xionan walked out of the shadows and kept looking at Shi Feng and Ye Keng as they left. The other side. Who are you? How dare you kill my subordinates without permission? San Chao Iuhanzo led a dozen Rain Ninja Village ninjas to stop Shi Feng and Ye Keng, and asked sternly. He originally came to deal with the remnants of the Akatsuki organization but before he arrived, he saw Ye Kang's fire escape from a distance, and then received a report from his subordinates that someone had cremated Izzo. Tisk, 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 there's trouble. Trade Wind looked at Hanzo in front of him and had a headache. The demigod of the ninja world, who gave the titles of Tsunade, Jiraiya, and Orochimaru to the three ninjas during the second ninja war, and who possesses a powerful poison. Thinking of this, Shi Feng forced a smile, looked at Hanzo and said. My name is San Tang. I came from the Tang dynasty in the east and went to the west to obtain Buddhist scriptures. Well, let's send Izo back to the west by the way. After Xiang Feng finished speaking, he raised the body bag in his hand. Puff. Ye Keng next to him laughed out loud. Although she didn't know where Dong to Tang was, she still understood the word Gaixi. After all, there is such a thing as Buddhism in the ninja world. Court death. The veins on San Shao Iuhanzo's forehead jumped sharply, and he suddenly rushed towards Trade Wind and Ye Kang. I'll deal with him, you deal with the others. Trade Wind dropped the body bag in his hand, drew his katana and rushed towards Hanzo. Ye Kang next to him nodded, holding a fireball in each hand, and rushed towards Hanzo's men. Clang. Sharing gun. The moment Hanzo clashed with Trade Wind's weapons, he discovered Trade Wind's Sharing gun hidden under the mask. He quickly withdrew his gaze, 
not giving the opponent a chance to cast illusions, and then withdrew and returned. You're just a Sharingan, but you dare to come to our Rain Ninja village to kill people. You are simply looking for death. As the person who defeated the third Hokage and won the title of demigod at the pinnacle of the ninja world, Henzo has already mastered the skill of fighting without ignoring his opponents, so naturally he does not keep the three Megatama Sharingan in his hands. During the Second Ninja War, an unknown number of Sharingan masters died in Kanaha at his hands. Hanzo pressed his hands on the ground and cast his psychic spell. Psychic Technique Sancho Fish Ibushi There is no accurate information on the time of Sancho Hanzo's death. However, when Naruto took the Chunin exam, the forehead protectors of the ninjas in the Rain Ninja village still had four vertical lines. After Nagato took control of the Rain Ninja village, there was an additional mark of rebellion. Horizontal Line The author infers from this that Sancho Hanzo died when Naruto was 12 to 16 years old. Therefore, the Akatsuki organization in Kanaha in 1957 was also in the grassroots stage and had just started. At Hanzo's feet, as soon as the giant Sancho fish appeared, it sprayed poisonous gas into the trade wind. Trade wind frowned and retreated quickly, got out of the poison gas range, grabbed five shurikens, and threw them at Hanzo who was standing on Sanchao Ayu. Let me tell you, the so-called overwhelming gap. After knocking down the flying shuriken, Hanzo took the chain scythe and quickly rushed towards the trade wind. Clang clang clang. Facing the attacking Hanzo, trade wind, with the help of Sharingan, could barely withstand the opponent's rapid attack. Five minutes later, Sanchao Ayu Ibushi sprayed poisonous gas in the direction of the trade wind again. Facing the roaring poisonous gas, Xing Feng narrowed his eyes. Wow! The chain in Hanzo's hand entangled the katana in Shi Feng's hand, and the other end of the chain slashed at Shi Feng's body with a poisonous sickle. Swordsmanship Chain Scythe Two Stage Strike Um! The moment Hanzo's scythe slashed in front of Shi Feng, Shi Feng, who let go of his samurai sword, disappeared directly and appeared above Sanchao Ayu's head. Trade Wind separated two layers of clothes and put his hand on the top of Sanjia Yujing Bushi's head, and he was gone at the touch. Contract Seal After the contractual relationship between Sanchao Ayu and Hanzo was terminated, Sanchao Ayu disappeared at the foot of the Trade Wind with a bang. Hanzo, who had missed the target with one strike, looked at the disappearing Sanchao fish, his eyes looking solemnly at the trade wind. Three Megatama Sharingan, Flying Thunder God, Sealing Technique, when did such a strong person appear in Kanaha? But, do you think that to disable Sanchao Ayu's psychic ability, I can't do anything with your Flying Thunder God? Hanzo formed a seal with his hands and pressed them to the ground. Earth Escape Poisonous Spring Swamp the land around Hanzo softened rapidly, and violent yellow-green venom emerged, and the area was still spreading rapidly. After bypassing Izo's body, it soon spread to the foot of the trade wind. Trade wind leapt into the air. Run quickly, the leader has used poison springs. The other people in the Rain Ninja village who were fighting Yekeng turned around and ran away when they saw the poisonous spring marsh that was quickly spreading over. Ye King looked back and saw an excited spirit running away after everyone in the Yu Ninja village. It's so perverted. It's like a poisonous field. There's no place to set foot. In midair, Trade Wind praised him and threw two shurikens into the air. Then, he disappeared and appeared in the low air behind Hanzo. His right hand lit up with blue light, and the rays Nan took shape instantly and pressed towards Hanzo who was performing Earth Escape. Did you leave the mark of the Flying Thunder God on the katana? In an instant, Hanzo glanced at the katana that Trade Wind had just left behind, and realized something in his heart. The Art of Water Teleportation Hanzo's figure suddenly turned into a puddle of water, dodged the Trade Wind's rays Nan, and appeared in the distance. Seeing that the blow was in the air, Trade Wind grabbed the katana and appeared next to the shuriken in midair again. Grabbing the shuriken, he threw it high into the air again. After repeating this twice, the trade wind reached an altitude of nearly 200 meters above the ground. 
putting the katana behind him, trade wind threw out the shuriken in his hand and quickly formed seals with his hands. Multi multiple shadow clone shuriken starry breath. 1.2, 2 2.4, 4 4.8. Soon, a dense and overwhelming number of shadow shurikens gathered in front of Shi Feng. Looking at the overwhelming number of shadow shurikens, Han Zhou's eyes lit up. Trade Wind's ability to use the Shuriken Shadow Clone technique on such a scale is enough to step into the ranks of Shadow Level powerhouses. This made Hanzo's sold heart ignite a long lost passion. The next moment, Trade Wind waved his right hand, and the overwhelming Shadow Clone Shurikens, boosted by gravity acceleration, instantly attacked Hanzo standing on the poisonous swamp. Hanzo formed a seal with his hands and pressed them to the ground. Earth escaped to Lao Tang Wu. Boom! The soil under Hanzo's feet rolled and formed a hemispherical earth shield, guarding Hanzo inside. Boo hoo hoo! Bang bang bang! It was like heavy rain hitting iron sheets. At the moment when Hanzo's to Lao Domo was formed, countless shadow shurikens were nailed to the rock and earth shield of the to Lao Domo with sharp sound of breaking through the air. The power of the Shadow Clone's shuriken is already strong, but it becomes even more powerful under the acceleration of gravity. Under the wash of countless shurikens, Darao Domo could not hold on any longer. However, Hanzo pressed his hands on the ground and provided chakra to Darao Domo at all times, repairing the damaged Darao Domo in time. Outside the Huangchuan Swamp, many Rain Ninja Village ninjas looked at the situation on the battlefield, their mouths wide open and they were horrified. If they hadn't run away just now, they might have been affected by the two people fighting at this time. Facing the poisonous spring swamp and the overwhelming shadow shuriken, they had no power to resist. This guy is quite powerful. Ye Kang, who was not far away from the ninjas of Rain Ninja Village, looked at the trade wind in mid-air, his eyes were full of energy and the corners of his mouth were slightly raised. In the shadow in the distance, Zionan looked at the trade wind in midair, her lips slightly opened with a look of surprise. She didn't expect that someone could fight Hanzo to such an extent. He is truly the pinnacle demigod of the ninja world. I can actually think of such a use of Toluo Tang Gu. No chance at all. Midair, the trade winds praised again. The Toluo Hall can not only defend against the overwhelming shurikens, but also make the flying thunder god of the trade wind have no chance to take advantage. If Hanzo had used other means to defend, the moment the shadow clone shuriken engraved with the flying thunder god technique fell next to Hanzo, the trade wind would have launched a second attack. Santang, the move you just made gave me some inspiration. If you can survive later, then I, Hanzo, will recognize your strength and regard you as an existence alongside me. The heavy rain of shadow shurikens stopped, and Hanzo walked out of the dungeon, looked at the trade wind in the air, and shouted. This battle with the trade wind made him find the passion he had lost for a long time. This allowed him, who was old and frail, to regain the confidence and strength he once had. After saying that, Hanzo formed a seal with his hands. A large number of detonating symbols appeared at his feet, and then turned into shurikens. Fire Escape, Explosive Flame Formation, and Flying Explosive Sword. After the seal was completed, the shurikens formed by numerous explosive symbols around Hanzo shot towards the trade wind in mid-air. Why does this look so much like Konan's ninjutsu, and there are so many of them? Seeing the overwhelming attack of explosive talisman shurikens, Zinfen's mouth twitched. Hanzo's reputation as the pinnacle of the ninja world is really not just a boast. I actually understood it on the spot, tried it on the spot, and succeeded on the spot. Is there any justice left? The trade wind in midair was thinking about all this, reached out and pulled out the katana from behind, adjusted his posture, and dived towards Hanzo. Since Hanzo has already talked to this extent, he naturally has no reason to escape. If after mastering the flying thunder god, he doesn't even have the determination to fight the old Hanzo, then what qualifications does he have to say destroy Otsutsuki and steal Kagaya? Hanzo, if you die, don't blame me. 
The trade wind roared, and the samurai sword burst into flames. He held the sword in both hands and was submerged in the overwhelming exploding shurikens. Boom! Looking at the trade wind submerged in the smoke of exploding shurikens, Ye King frowned, Konan looked calm, and the ninjas of Rain Ninja Village were overjoyed. The next second, two huge flame phoenixes burned blazingly in the explosion, hovering around the trade wind, facing countless detonating symbols and swooped towards Hanzo the Sancho fish above the swamp with an indomitable momentum. Wind escape fire escape double phoenix. Boom! When the twin phoenixes of the trade wind collided with the detonating flame array around Hanzo, a violent burst of light suddenly erupted. Then, huge explosions and shock waves struck all around instantly. Seeing the terrifying shock wave coming, a team leader under Hanzo hurriedly shouted, Defense! Earth Escape Earth Formation Wall Earth Escape Earth Formation Wall As soon as two Earth Escape defenses were raised in front of everyone in Yurin Village, they were instantly submerged by the shock wave, causing everyone to flip over. Ye Keng was well prepared and broke a big tree before the explosion shock wave hit, and hid behind the remaining half of the trunk of the big tree. Even Zionin, who was farthest from the center of the explosion, was hit by the shock wave and was stunned and embarrassed. The next moment, Trade Wind, carrying Izo's body bag, appeared next to Yekeng who was hiding behind a tree trunk. Ahem! With half of his body burnt and the lower half of his mask broken, Trade Wind suddenly coughed up a stream of blood and almost lost his balance before being held in Yekeng's arms. Is it okay? Yekeng looked at Zinfen with some concern. Shifeng didn't answer. He stood up with Ye Kang's support and stared at the center of the explosion that blasted the ground to a depth of more than 10 meters. As soon as he exploded, he used the Flying Thunder God to dodge. Unexpectedly, one of his hands was burned by the flames of the explosion. This made Xin Feng feel a little regretful. He felt that his act of hedging against Hanzo just now was a bit reckless because he had the Flying Thunder God. He should be more cautious next time. He should have just hit Hanzo with a big clam just now. So the trade wind thought. Ha ha ha. When he saw Hanzo slowly rising from the ground with a broken leg in the large crater at the center of the explosion, trade wind smiled sincerely. Because Hanzo is much worse off than him. Hoo ho. Sanzo, tell me, tell me why you came here. Hanzo gasped violently, staring at the trade wind in the distance and yelled. He has gone through hundreds of battles, and even though he has become afraid of death and treacherous due to old age and frailty over the years, after this battle with the trade wind, he has regained the confidence and belief he had at his peak. Although Hanzo still had many moves that he had not used, but, he was indeed defeated this time. The moment trade wind got Azo's body, he was already defeated. I'm just a bounty ninja. A bounty ninja who specializes in killing villains. Trade Wind coughed, looked at Hanzo and said loudly. Bounty ninja. Hanzo murmured, and then he looked at the Trade Wind and shouted. Sanzo. From today on, I, Hanzo the Sanchao Ayu, will call you Shuang Feng Sanzo and regard you as my lifelong enemy. Your name of Shuang Feng Sanzo will be spread in the ninja world from now on. The moment you and I meet again, it will be the time when you and I will decide whether to live or die. Did you hear that? Shuang Feng Santang. But my name is not Santang. Trade Wind waved his hand to indicate that he understood. He then took Izo with him, cast Flying Thunder God, and left before reappearing and taking Izo's body. Sanso, we will meet again. San Shao Hanzo looked at the disappearing Trade Wind and said to himself, after saying that, Hanzo used water teleportation and disappeared into the poisonous swamp. The other side. Zionin, who had witnessed the whole process in the shadow, looked at the direction where the trade wind disappeared and remained silent. Shuang Feng Santang. Then, she disappeared and came to the Akatsuki Organization's secret base hidden on the border between the land of fire and the land of rain. She looked at a figure and said. Pen. I want to recruit someone into the Akatsuki organization. Who? 
Shuang Feng Santang. Reason. He just defeated Hanzo and blew off one of his legs. When Tian Dao Pain heard this, he opened his eyes and asked, Details. Just now. The land of fire, a place for gold exchange. Change money. Wearing masks, Shi Feng and Ye Qing entered the money exchange and threw the body of Du Dao Izo on the ground. It's him. The one who dared to steal Kakuzu's prey. The old man at the money exchange shrank when he saw the mask on Xing Feng's face. He didn't expect that the other party would come again so soon. After opening the body bag, the old man took a look at the unrecognizable face of Poison Blade Izo, looked at Tradewind with some embarrassment, and said, You, can't identify him at all. Hearing this, Ye Qing turned his head to one side guiltily. Then, she took out a poisonous knife from the body bag and handed it to the old man. This is the poisonous sword of Azo. With this, I should be able to confirm it. This is against the rules. The old man carefully. After glancing at Trade Wind, he didn't dare to say these words. Faced with this ruthless man who dares to take away his corner, the headquarters has already issued a message, telling him not to provoke him as much as possible. After thinking about it, the old man still felt that life was more important, so he reluctantly nodded and agreed with Ye Kang's statement. Even if you complete the reward this time, you won't be happy next time. The old man from the money exchange put away the body bag, took out a box from the inner room and handed it to Trade Wind. After opening it and taking a look, Xing Feng left with satisfaction. He didn't expect that the money exchange would be so easy to talk to. Fortunately, I brought the poisonous knife as O's poisonous knife, otherwise I might have been in trouble this time. Trade Wind walked out of the money changer in a happy mood. Because he has another few million tails in his account. Tisk, tisk, you are so seriously injured now that you came here immediately to exchange for the bounty. Don't you plan on taking your life? Ye Kang next to him glanced at Xinfen, as if he was looking at a monster. This was the first time she had seen someone so desperate for money. Of course, it was also the first time for her to meet someone who could fight to that level with Hanzo. Here, look. Tradewind raised his right hand and pressed it on his burned left hand. Then, the faint light of medical ninjutsu lit up and treatment began. Then, he discovered that he had some minor scars on his body. There are scars. What's wrong? Why not continue treatment? Seeing Trade Wind stop his medical skills, Ye Kang quickly asked. Why are there scars? Shi Feng was stunned when he looked at the slight scar on his left hand. The last time he treated Ye Kang, there was no scar. Because the transformation technique is given by the system, the injuries he suffered after performing the transformation will also appear on his body. He has scars now and he will also have scars on his body. This shows that your medical skills are only primary applications. They can make cuts and injuries remain intact, but burns, which require delicate operations, are unable to do anything. Ye Qing glanced at Xinfen and immediately knew what the problem was. That's right, my medical knowledge was all given by Sunade Chan, not Sunade Chan, so it's not much better at all. Although my chakra control level is high, my medical foundation is not enough, so it is naturally impossible for me to perform precise operations. Then what should we do now? I don't want to leave scars. Xin Feng looked at Ye Qing and asked. After hearing what Trade Wind said, Ye Qing shrugged and walked away. Let's go, I know a place where I can heal your injuries without leaving any scars. Hearing this, Xinfen quickly followed Ye Kang, where are you? Do you want me to use Flying Thunder God? Kusa Ninja Village, did you leave a mark? Grass Ninja Village? Have you been there? No, I just heard that there is a person there who is very good at treatment. As long as you spend money, he can treat you. Really? Xin Feng nodded and began to think in his mind whether there were any famous ninjas in Kusanagi Village. I rub. The person in Kusanagi village who is very good at healing must be Siang Phosphorus. 
trade wind thought for a long time and finally remembered the existence of fragrant phosphorus. These people are too perverted, Xiang Phosphorus is only six or seven years old now. They could actually bear it and let her be a blood bag. Let's go quickly. Grabbing Ye Kang, Trade Wind used Flying Thunder God to come to Flame City and deposit the money. Trade Wind once again led Ye Kang to use Flying Thunder God, and came to the border between the Land of Fire and the Land of Grass, taking the lead in running towards the Grass Ninja Village. Why are you running so fast? Wait for me. Seeing that the trade wind had left him behind, Ye Kang sped up to catch up. How come this person's teleportation technique is so fast? Looking at the trade wind getting further and further away, Ye Kang frowned his beautiful eyebrows and felt a little angry. Half an hour later, trade wind was the first to arrive near the grass ninja village, and then he used flying thunder god to return to Ye Kang and bring him back. I'll die if you wait. Ye Kang glanced at Xi and Fang angrily, looking like an angry kitten. Do you know where the person in the Grass Ninja Village who is good at healing is? Xinfen came to a big tree outside the Grass Ninja Village and looked into the Grass Ninja Village and said. Grass Ninja Village is just a small village, and it doesn't even have a village protecting barrier. How do I know? It's my first time here too. Ye Kang rolled his eyes at Xi and Feng. In that case, then go and injure them and let them take me to find them. Trade Wind pointed at a patrol team outside Kusanagi village. Actually, we can get in as long as we spend money. Ye Kang suggested. You are now a rebel ninja in Sand Ninja village. I don't want my identity to be exposed. Do you think we can go in? Xinfen looked at Ye Kang as if he was looking at a fool. Ye Kang's face instantly turned red when she heard what Trade Wind said. She forgot about her identity as a rebel ninja of Sand Ninja Village. A bit. After the bell, Ye Kang, who shyly took action, seriously injured all the three members of the Grass Ninja Village team. After Ye Kang left, the seriously injured three people from Kusa Kunin Village ran as fast as they could to a cabin in Kusa Kunin Village. Shifeng and Ye Kang, who followed the three of them, finally saw Xiao Xian Glan playing alone in front of the wooden house. The captain of the Grass Ninja Village team headed by him shouted to Xiao Xian Glan. Quick, let me take a bite. Quick, let me take a bite. Hearing the words of the captain of the Grass Ninja Village, Xiao Xian Glan was so frightened that he froze in place. Sir, bite me. In the wooden house. A pale red-haired beautiful woman came out, rolled up her sleeves, exposed her arms full of tooth marks, and stood in front of Xiao Xian Glan. The beautiful woman has an exquisite appearance. Even if she is dressed in shabby clothes, her beauty cannot be concealed. However, her face is extremely pale and her complexion looks very weak. The three people from Kyusaku Ninja Village ran a little faster when they saw the beautiful woman coming out. The next second, the three people from the Grass Ninja Village quickly braked and stopped. Because the masked woman who had just injured them was already standing next to the beautiful woman, and there was a figure standing next to her. Seeing Feng frowned and glanced at the tooth mark on the hand of the beautiful red-haired woman, and then glanced at Xiao Xian Glan who was hiding behind the beautiful woman and shivering. Um. After seeing the bite marks on Xiao Xianglan's hand, Xinfen became angry and ordered. Kill them. Ye Kang saw the teeth marks on the hand of the beautiful red-haired woman, pursed his lips, and pointed his hand at the three people from the Grass Ninja Village. Burning escaped the Big Bang. Boom. The fireball exploded, setting off monstrous flames. The violent sound and fierce burning fire spread far away, directly alarming everyone in the Grass Ninja Village. The three Kusanagi village ninjas were also transformed into charred corpses smoothly. What do you want to do? The beautiful red-haired woman turned pale when she saw the two people in front of her killing each other at the slightest disagreement. On the contrary, Xiao Xian Glan behind her opened her eyes wide and stared at Ye Kang's back with a look of admiration. From today on, you are mine. Trade Wind looked back at the beautiful red-haired woman. After Trade Wind finished speaking, 
he directly knocked the red-haired beauty unconscious with a knife without giving her a chance to resist. No, don't hit me. Xiao Xian Glan raised his hands in a gesture of surrender. Seeing Xiao Xianglan's cute appearance, Ye King reached out and pinched her face, and said with a smile, We are here to help you. At this time, several Kusanagi village ninjas appeared in front of Shi Feng and others. Looking at the large crater with a radius of tens of meters that was bombed by Ye Kang, they asked in horror. You, who are you? Ha! Huh. Ye Kang sneered, stretched out his hand and pointed at the people in Kusanagi village, preparing to use the Big Bang again. However, when the ninjas from Kusanagi village saw Ye Kang's actions, they were so frightened that they quickly used the teleportation technique to escape, without giving her a chance to use it. Okay, the matter is done, let's go. Xing Feng picked up the woman in his arms and looked at Ye Kang and said. After saying that, he formed a trade seal, separated into two clones, and disappeared with Ye Kang and the others. Flying Thunder God In the distance, the head of Kusa Kunin village, who had just arrived, was inexplicably shocked when he saw Shi Feng and others disappearing. Land of Fire, City of Fire in the hotel room where Ye Kang lives. What are you going to do with them? Looking at the Xiang Phosphorus mother and daughter eating a lot of food in the courtyard, Ye Kang asked the trade wind next to him. The hotel suite where Ye Kang lives is huge. It not only has several bedrooms, but also has a hot spring courtyard. What else can I do? I'll naturally buy a house in Flame City and raise it. They are members of the Uzumaki clan and have special healing methods. With them here, we won't have to worry about injuries when we go hunting in the future. After looking at Ye Kang, Xing Feng said matter-of-factly. At this time, his injuries had been cured by Xiang Ling's mother on the way back to Flame City, and the treatment process was quite exciting. Of course, he would not tell Ye Kang this. After Xiang Feng finished speaking, he was ready to go out and buy a house to use as his future base in Flame City. As one of the few Uzumaki clan members, the mother and daughter have great value, and he will not let them go. Moreover, it is not a problem for Ye Kang to stay in a hotel every day. Sister, sister, don't you want to eat it? Xiao Xian Glan ran to Ye Kang, holding up a small cake. This is something she has never eaten before and it is also the most delicious thing she thinks. Yes, sister eats it too. Ye Kang liked Xiao Xian Glan very much. He took off his mask and followed Xiang Lian to the courtyard and started eating. After buying the house and settling in Ye Kang and Xiang Phosphorus mother and daughter, Trade Wind returned to Kanaha. After earning several million tails, Xing Feng was ready to relax for a few days. The next day, Trade Wind carried a basket on his back to the forest where he often went, preparing to catch a few fish. He used to enroll in the ninja school to save money, and after a while he would go back to catch fish in exchange for money. Now, having developed a habit, he also likes the relaxing way of fishing. Kanaha, Hokage's office. Kakashi. Kai, what's the matter with you guys looking for me? The third Hokage Saratobi Hiruzen looked at Kakashi and Metkai in front of him, took a puff of dry cigarette, and asked. Kakashi and Guy looked at each other, then took off the forehead protector covering his left eye, looked at the third Hokage and said. The third Hokage, I'm sorry, my Sharingan was taken away. After Kakashi finished speaking, he stared at his feet with a guilty look on his face. When did this happen? The third generation heard this, frowned, looked at Kakashi and asked. The third generation didn't pay much attention to the three Magadama Sharingan, but the person who could steal the Sharingan from Kakashi's hands made him pay more attention. Kakashi was able to become a jonin at a young age, and his strength was one of the best in Kanaha. The night before yesterday, in front of Kanaha's memorial monument, that person has Minato Sensei's flying thunder god in his possession. Kakashi thought for a while and said these two sentences. What did you say? When the third Hokage heard this, he stood up and looked at Kakashi in astonishment. 
The fourth Hokage's flying thunder god is Kanaha's top secret ninjutsu. It is not something that anyone who wants to learn can learn, nor can anyone who wants to learn it can learn it. That man did master Minato Sensei's flying thunder god. Kakashi repeated what he had said before and then began to talk about his experiences that night. The night before yesterday, the man was wearing a simple mask. The mask was so simple that it looked like a piece of wood with two holes dug randomly. However, he concealed what the man said to him last about the truth about the Nine Tails Rebellion. It wasn't that he couldn't trust Sande and Kai, but that he wanted to find out the truth thoroughly before telling them. After listening to Kakashi's description, the third Hokage created a shadow clone and went to his home to check whether the sealed book had been stolen. After the clone was released and the message that the sealed book was intact came through, the third Hokage frowned and thought hard, checking the suspicious candidates in his mind over and over again. After hearing that Kakashi's Sharingan was robbed, the third generation's first reaction was to speculate whether it was the Uchiha clan. And when Kakashi said that the person who steals the eyes can fly the Thunder God, the third generation gave up this speculation. If someone in Uchiha really knew how to fly the Thunder God, it would have been publicized long ago given the arrogant and domineering nature of those Uchiha people. This group of Uchiha, who even rebelled blatantly, have no concept of keeping secrets. Boom, boom, boom. There was a rapid knock on the door, and a member of the Kanaha intelligence team hurriedly ran into the office and handed the third Hokage a letter. The third Hokage. This is the information that just came from the Rain Ninja Village. Yesterday, the leader of the Rain Ninja Village, Sanchao Iu Hanzo, had a fight with someone in the Rain Ninja Village. One of Hanzo's legs was blown off. You said that one of Hanzo's legs was blown off. The third Hokage asked in disbelief when he heard what the intelligence team said. Sancho Hanzo is a powerful being who overpowered his third-generation Hokage Saratobi Hiruzen and took the title of demigod in the ninja world. For a long time, Sancho Fish Hanzo has been synonymous with power. As a result, you are now telling me that he had one of his legs blown off yesterday? The third Hokage wondered if his ears had heard wrongly. Kakashi and Metkai on the side also looked at each other in disbelief. They have heard of the name Sanchao Iu Hanzo. The titles of the legendary sonin of Tsunade, Jiraiya, and Orochimaru were given by each other. The third Hokage, this is a message sent by Hanzo Sanchao Iu himself. He calls that person Chuang Feng Sanzo. The purpose of sending the message is to make this person famous in the ninja world. You will understand after you read it yourself. I don't know the specific situation. The intelligence team member pointed to the letter in the third generation's hand and explained. After dismissing the people from the intelligence class at will, the third Hokage opened the letter and looked at it carefully. However, the third generation became more and more surprised at the content of the letter. Finally, he shook his head and smiled bitterly, looked at Kakashi and Kai and said. Kakashi, the person who stole your eyes should be this person named Chuang Feng Sanzo. With his strength, you are no match for him, and that's as it should be. The third Hokage handed the letter in his hand to Kakashi, turned around and walked to the window, looking at the fourth Hokage on the Hokage rock outside the window in a daze. In the letter, Hanzo listed all the ninjutsu Shuang Feng Sanzo had used to the third Hokage, and even said that the other party had the Sharingan. Possessing the Flying Thunder God, mastering the Rays Nan, the Contract Seal, and the shadow clone Shuriken, if the third generation had not personally buried the bones of the fourth generation. He almost wondered if the fourth Hokage had been resurrected. Kakashi's Sharingan was taken away by a man who could fly thunder gods. Yesterday Hanzo encountered Chuang Feng Sanzo who had three Megatama Sharingan eyes and could fly thunder gods. Kakashi's eyes were most likely taken away by this person. But who is this person? There should be no one with such strength in Kanaha village. Hanzo said he was a bounty ninja, could he be from another ninja village? The third Hokage once again filtered the possible candidates in his mind, feeling a headache. Is this person actually so strong? Kakashi looked at the information in the letter and was shocked. 
The moment he saw Shuang Feng Santang possessing the Flying Thunder God, he was sure that this person was the one who stole his eyes. It's just that he didn't expect that this man actually had so many ninjutsus in common with the fourth Hokage, and he was also able to blow off the legs of Sancho Hanzo in a ninjutsu counterattack. Kakashi, it seems that your eyes were really taken away by this person. Metkai frowned and said next to Kakashi. Metkai didn't think that there were two people in the world who used the Flying Thunder God so skillfully, and Kanaha didn't know about it. Kakashi nodded and agreed with Metkai's statement. Kai, go and ask Uchiha Fugaku from the Uchiha Security Department to come see me. The third Hokage looked at Metkai and ordered, and then ordered Kakashi. Kakashi, please step aside first. It's not your fault for losing the Sharingan. Don't be discouraged because of losing the Sharingan. I'll let you take some time off. During this time, you can get familiar with your current situation. Body. Also, I will send someone to send a letter to Hanzo Sanchao later. I hope he can provide a picture to facilitate your identification. Yes, the third Hokage. Kakashi heard this, glanced at the third Hokage gratefully, and left with Metkai. Sir, the third Hokage, do you have anything to do with me? Not long after, Uchiha Fugaku, the head of the Uchiha security department, came to the third Hokage's office. Kakashi lost his Sharingan. Left into the hands of a man named Shuang Feng Santang. Regarding this matter, I hope you can restrain the Uchiha people and prevent them from causing trouble with Kakashi. The third Hokage looked at Uchiha Fugaku and said seriously. Some people in the Uchiha clan have always wanted to recover Kakashi's Sharingan, but they were stopped by the third generation. At this time, Kakashi's Sharingan is lost. When the Uchiha people know about it, they will definitely go to Kakashi to cause trouble. As a disciple of the fourth Hokage, Kakashi is the direct confidant of the third Hokage, so it is naturally impossible for the third Hokage to ignore this. Kakashi lost his Sharingan. Uchiha Fugaku was shocked when he heard this. He still understood Kakashi's skills. Even if he did it himself, he might not be able to grab the Sharingan from the opponent's hand. This man named Chuang Feng Santang. What's the origin? Look at this, this is a letter from Hanzo the Sanchaoyu of Yu Ninja Village. The letter on Sandame's desk was pushed to Fugaku, motioning for him to check it in person. Sancho Hanzo, the being known as the pinnacle of the ninja world, what does he have to do with this matter? Uchiha Fugaku picked up the letter with confusion and began to read the content. Flying Thunder God, Contract Seal, Raise Nan. When Uchiha Fugaku saw what Sancho Hanzo mentioned in his letter about the ninjutsu used by Shuang Feng Hanzo, Uchiha Fugaku became more and more frightened. He almost thought that the fourth Hokage was still alive. After seeing one of Sancho Hanzo's legs blown off by this man, Uchiha Fugaku fell into a daze. He was actually able to blow off one of Sancho Hanzo's legs. What level of strength did this man named Chuang Feng Sanzo achieve? After a long time, Uchiha Fugaku recovered from the shock, looked at the third generation and asked. Sandame sama are you saying that Chuang Feng Sanzo's Sharingan belongs to Kakashi? The third Hokage nodded and said, Kakashi's eyes were snatched by a person who could fly the Thunder God the night before yesterday. Santang Shuang Feng fought with Sanzo Hanzo yesterday. He can also fly the Thunder God and revealed the Sharingan. I the inference follows from this. Of course, we don't rule out the possibility that his Sharingan is his own. At the end of the sentence, the third Hokage Ruao Wauhu nodded. Uchiha Fugaku was shocked when he heard this. Is the third Hokage suspecting that Chuang Feng Santang is an Uchiha? This pot must not be carried. Otherwise it will only deepen Kanaha's defense and surveillance of Uchiha. Uchiha Fugaku thought so and immediately explained, Hokage-sama, no Uchiha people left the village yesterday. Haha. <laughs> Chief Fugaku misunderstood me. I just said it casually, casually. 
The third Hokage smiled when he heard this and explained that he naturally would not think that Zhuang Feng Santang was an Uchiha, he was just using this to knock Uchiha Fugaku. The third generation's meaning is very obvious, that is, if you, the Uchiha clan, take Kakashi's case as an issue, then I will investigate whether Shuang Feng Sanzo is a member of the Uchiha clan. Don't worry, Hokage-sama, I will definitely restrain the clan members and investigate within the clan whether another Sharingan is lost. Uchiha Fugaku heard what the third Hokage said and immediately promised that he would never cause trouble to Kakashi in the future. If that's the case, then we'll trouble the Fugaku clan leader. After getting the result he wanted, the third Hokage returned to his smiling appearance, and then said seriously. In addition, please ask Chief Fugaku to check as soon as possible whether there is another Sharingan lost in the Uchiha clan. Because Hanzo did not explain in the letter how many Sharingan Zhuang Feng Sanzo had, the third Hokage wanted to see if there were other Sharingan lost. The third generation would not think that Zhuang Feng Santang was an Uchiha. If it were true, with the temperament of those Uchihas, it would have been publicized long ago, and there was no way they could wait until now. I see. Uchiha Fugaku agreed and stood up to leave. Not long after Fugaku left, another member of the intelligence team ran into the Hokage's office. Lord Hokage, there is news from Kusanagi village that they were attacked by a mysterious flying thunder god user. The third Hokage Saratobi Hiruzen took the letter and frowned silently. Is it you again? Shuang Feng Santang. After thinking about it, the third Hokage gave up the idea of sending someone to investigate Shuang Feng Santang. Now that Uchiha is ready to move, rebellion may happen at any time, and Kanaha should not have any more powerful enemies. The Country of Wind, Sand Ninja Village. Grand Macho. This is a letter from Hanzo Sancho, the leader of the Rain Ninja Village. In an indoor garden, a ninja from Sand Ninja Village came to Grand Macho and handed her a letter. Oh, why did that bad old man with the snorkel remember to write me a letter? Chiyo's mother-in-law slowly stood up from the recliner and reached out her hand to take the letter. Hey! After opening the letter, Granny Chiyo's eyes suddenly burst into light. After quickly reading the letter, she froze on the spot and muttered to herself in shock. He was actually able to injure that old man Hanzo in a ninjutsu duel. It seems like there is a remarkable figure in the ninja world now. Flying Thunder God, Ray's Nan, are these really not from Kanaha? It felt like that yellow flash came to life. Thinking of this, Granny Cho handed the letter to the Suna Ninja village in front of her, and ordered, Go and give it to Luo Sa. Yes. The ninja of Sand Ninja Village took the letter and used the teleportation technique to leave. Kazekage Office The fourth Kazekage Raza He was frowning as he looked at Tsuna Ninja Village's expense account book for this month. The funds of the Sand Ninja Village were cut again and again by the Lord of the Wind Country, and they were already stretched to the point of being stretched. This gave the fourth Kazekage Raza a headache and had to find ways to save some unnecessary expenses. Kazekage-sama, this is a letter that Granny Cho gave you. The ninja from Suna Ninja Village who delivered the letter knocked on the door and entered the office and presented the letter. I understand. Luo Shat, the fourth Kazekage, casually took the letter, placed it on the table nonchalantly, and then waved the other party away. Two hours later. After reading the account book, Luo Shat, who was dizzy, picked up the letter on the table and wanted to see what Cho, the dead old woman, had written to him. Um. Letter from Sancho Hanzo. Seeing the signature on the letter, Luo Sha immediately became energetic and looked at the letter carefully. There is actually another person in the ninja world who can skillfully use the Flying Thunder God. This is not good news for Suna Ninja Village. After reading the letter, the fourth Kazekage Luasha's face turned gloomy. Come here. After thinking for a while, Luo Sha ordered towards the door. Lord Kazekage. Three Sand Ninja Village Anbu entered the room and half knelt in front of Luo Sha. Pay close attention to the news in Kanaha, and then ask the intelligence team to go to the black market to investigate a person named Zhuang Feng Santang. 
Luo Sha ordered the three people in front of him. Flying Thunder God and Ray's Nan are both ninjutsu of Kanaha village, so Kanaha has become Raza's focus. Yes. The three people from Sand Ninja village accepted the order and disappeared. It's a pity that Yeking has already been taken care of by himself. Otherwise, it would be perfect to send her to investigate. However, since she has threatened his position as Kazakage, he naturally cannot keep her. With this in mind, the fourth Kazakage Raza continued to lower his head and start handling government affairs. The Country of Thunder, Cloud Ninja Village. Rakage's Office. Mabai, this is the letter just sent from Hanzo in the Rain Ninja Village. Isn't Rakage Sama here? Samui, who has fair skin, blonde hair, and a hot body, walked into the Rakage's office and handed a letter to Mabai, who was working on documents with his head down at the desk. Yesterday, Mabai, who had dark skin and white hair, just looked up and saw Samui's two pet bears. She twitched the corner of her mouth and explained. Yesterday Kirabi-sama was planning to run away to meet a basketball fan who sang rap, so today Rakage-sama went to teach him a lesson. Then, she took the letter from Samui's hand and opened it casually. As the fourth generation Rakage AI's advisor, she has the right to view all confidential documents in Kumo Ninja Village. What? As soon as she opened the letter, Mabai was shocked. The demigod Hanzo from Rain Ninja Village actually had his leg broken? Or was it broken by a bounty ninja named Sanzo? I read that right. What's wrong? Seeing Mabai like this, Samai also moved closer to Mabai and read the contents of the letter. After seeing the content of the letter clearly, her eyes opened and her heart was shocked. Samai, you go and call back the fourth Rakage Sama first. I'll inform the others. Mabai glanced at Samai and said hurriedly. After saying that, she stood up, adjusted her suit skirt, and then walked out of the office. Samui also followed Mabai and got up to inform the fourth Rakage. Next. When the fourth generation Rei received the news, the third generation Tsuchika Jonoki of the IWA Ninja Village also received a letter from Sancho Hanzo. The third Tsuchika Jonoki and the fourth Reikage AI were both shocked by the result that Sanzo Hanzo, the demigod of the ninja world, had his leg broken by Shuangho Sanzo. The fourth Reikage AI, who had fought against the fourth Hokage Nami Kaze Minato, almost thought that the fourth Hokage Nami Kaze Minato was resurrected. Subsequently, the third Tsuchikage and the fourth Reikage asked their ninjas to pay close attention to the news about Kanaha. The ninjutsu used by Shuang Feng Sanzo was all related to Kanaha, and there was definitely some relationship between the two parties. At the same time, the third generation Reikage and the fourth generation Reikage also asked people to investigate all the information about Chuang Feng Santang in the black market. Moreover, Yunren Village, at Mabai's suggestion, offered extremely high rewards in an attempt to win over Chuang Feng Santang. There is a person in the ninja world who can skillfully use the Flying Thunder God. Even the five major ninja villages have to treat him with caution. Afternoon, approaching dusk. Uchiha clan land. After completing his mission, Uchiha Ataka quickly rushed towards the clan meeting. Because of Kakashi's loss of Sharingan, Uchiha Fugaku held a temporary clan meeting tonight. As for Kakashi's loss of Sharingan, Uchiha Ataki, who was in the ANBU with Kakashi, had already heard about it. An Ataka came to the clan meeting this time on the orders of the third Hokage to observe how the Uchiha clan reacted to Kakashi losing his eye. I hope this incident will not cause an overreaction from the tribe. Uchiha Ataka prayed secretly while running wildly. A huge rift has appeared between the Uchiha clan and Kanaha. Any small incident may completely intensify the conflict between the two parties. When Uchiha Ataki arrived, he found that the clan meeting was just about to begin. Because this was an impromptu clan meeting, those present were basically representatives of each household and Uchiha clan members who had activated the three Megatama Sharingan. The children basically didn't see it. Those with the three Megatama Sharingan activated basically sit at the front of the venue, 
while the Uchiha civilians without activated Sharingan sit at the back. Glancing at the crowd of Uchiha, Uchiha Itake walked to a corner and stood up. Uchiha Inari and others who had fought against Uchiha Itake had unkind expressions when they saw him coming. Uchiha Izumi glanced at Itake secretly, secretly feeling sad. Since brother Shisui's death, Itake Uchiha has never spoken to her again. Not long after, the leader of the Uchiha clan, Uchiha Fugaku, walked to a high platform in front of the venue and saluted the Uchiha clan members below. The Uchiha clan members also stood up and saluted Fugaku. Kakashi lost his Sharingan the night before yesterday. As soon as Uchiha Fugaku opened his mouth, the Uchiha venue instantly exploded. What? Kakashi lost his Sharingan. I have long said that I would recycle it as soon as possible, but you just don't believe it. It's okay now. Kakashi is such a loser, he can even lose the Sharingan. Could it be that Sande and the others hid it deliberately? I think it's possible. Some were shocked, some were mocking, and some were suspicious. For a moment, because of Kakashi losing his Sharingan, everyone in Uchiha began to get excited, and even started conspiracy theories about the third generation. Have these tribesmen's suspicion of Kanaha reached this level? Seeing the appearance of the scene, Uchiha Itake frowned. Izumi Uchiha was stunned. When she heard that Kakashi's eyes were robbed, she suddenly remembered the senior who she met the night before who was playing with his eyes. In the past two days, she has been secretly investigating who the senior is, but there has been no result. Quiet. Seeing that the situation was beginning to develop in another direction, Uchiha Fugaku shouted. The clan leader spoke, and the Uchiha clan members began to calm down. Yesterday, the leader of Yuninja village, Sancho Hanzo, had one of his legs blown off by a man named Chuang Feng Sanzo. And this person named Chuang Feng Sanzo is the culprit who stole Kakashi's Sharingan. Seeing that the scene was quiet again, Uchiha Fugaku released a bomb again, causing thousands of waves to rise. Master Patriarch, I'm afraid this is a lie. That's Hanzo the Sancho fish. Clan Chief Fugaku, is the news about this matter confirmed? Chief, are you trying to fool us? Hearing this, Uchiha Fugaku frowned and scolded. Sancho Ayu Hanzo personally wrote a letter to inform the third Hokage about this matter. I also read his handwritten letter. He even teamed up with the third Hokage to deceive us. Hearing this, everyone in the Uchiha fell silent. No way, that Sancho Hanzo actually had one of his legs blown off, an Uchiha Jounin who had experienced the Second Ninja War frowned. During the Second Ninja War, many of Uchiha's Sharingan masters died at the hands of Sancho Hanzo. If the Rain Ninja Village had not sent back the bodies of these people under pressure from Kanaha, Uchiha would have the clan couldn't even take back the Sharingan from these people. Of course, even if it was taken back, it would be useless, because those Sharingan eyes were all contaminated by the poison of Sanchao Hanzo, and could not be used at all, and had to be destroyed in the end. Later, Uchiha Fugaku disclosed the details in the letter to everyone. After everyone in the Uchiha heard that Zhuang Feng Santang could fly the Thunder God, raise Nan, and sealing techniques, they suddenly fell silent. Because they all remembered the yellow flash that shone in the ninja world a few years ago. After hearing that Zhuang Feng Santang had the Sharingan in his eyes, the Uchiha clan. People finally believed that Kakashi's Sharingan was indeed snatched away by this man. Clan leader, but Kakashi only lost one Sharingan. Uchiha Inari looked at Uchiha Fugaku and asked. I have investigated the clan and found that no one's Sharingan is missing, but there are still several clan members out on missions at this time. Fugaku said. Uchiha Yashiro asked, did Sanzo Hanzo mention in his letter how many Sharingan Zhuang Feng Sanzo has? If there is only one, it means that the other party has only snatched one of Kakashi's Sharingan. If there are two, then the Uchiha clan members who are performing missions outside are in danger. Hanzo's letter did not mention the specific number of them, but in order to investigate the truth of the matter, 
we must find this person named Chuang Feng Sanzo. The other party is a bounty ninja, we can use this as a clue. Uchiha Fugako looked at the other Uchiha clan members and said seriously. Then, Uchiha Fugako looked at the others and spoke solemnly. In addition, the other party may also contain Uchiha blood, so we must find him. Fugaku's idea was awakened by the third generation. He carefully studied the information Hanzo gave in the letter and found that when Chuang Feng Sanzo was using the Sharingan, he could actually perform Flying Thunder God more than a dozen times and two large scale high power ninjutsu, without any trace at all. Signs of Chakra being consumed by the Sharingan. In short, after Shuang Feng Sanzo and Kakashi installed the Sharingan, one was in two completely different states, one was alive and the other was dead, which made Fugaku suspicious. Moreover, some of the Uchiha clan's bloodline is also outside, so it is normal for someone to accidentally open the Sharingan. Chief, what do you mean? The eyes of Uchiha Inari, Uchiha Yashiro, and others lit up instantly and they obviously understood what Fugaku meant. If he really has the blood of Uchiha, then he is a member of our Uchiha clan, and the next generation of Hokage will be from our Uchiha clan. Uchiha Fugaku looked around at everyone and said, Yes, Patriarch. Hearing this, Uchiha Inari and others looked excited. No way, no way. Could it be that the senior I met the night before yesterday was Shuang Feng Santang? Hearing the name of Flying Thunder God, Izumi Uchiha suddenly remembered the move of that senior who appeared in front of her instantly, and her heart was beating wildly for a while. However, if he was Shuang Feng Sanzo and he really wanted the Sharingan, why did he take Kakashi's eye instead of mine? This was simply a piece of cake for him. Or is he really like what the clan leader said, he really has the blood of the Uchiha clan, and he is grabbing Kakashi's eyes just for fun? Uchiha Izumi thought about this, and suddenly felt as if he knew the truth. Looking at the somewhat fanatical Uchiha Inari and others, Uchiha Takafu frowned deeply. For a moment, he hesitated whether to tell the third Hokage about this situation. If the attention of Uchiha Inari and others is attracted by Shuang Feng Sanzo, the rebellion will be postponed, which is what Takafu wants to see. If Inari and others really find this Shuang Feng Sanzo and convince him to join Uchiha to participate in the rebellion, given the strength of Shuang Feng Sanzo, it will be a disaster for Kanaha. It seems that I have to find Shuang Feng Santang before Dao Huo and others and find out his details. After thinking about it, Uchiha Ataka decided not to tell the third generation for the time being, but planned to make plans after finding Shuang Feng Santang. After another glance at Fugaku, Inari, and others, Uchiha Ataka disappeared from the spot. Uchiha Izumi glanced at Uchiha Ataka, a little confused whether to tell the other person what she met the night before. However, before she could speak, Uchiha Ataka disappeared from the spot without even saying hello to her. This made Uchiha Izumi extremely disappointed and left in a depressed mood. Unknowingly, I arrived at the place where I met the senior the day before yesterday. Izumi Uchiha turned around several times but didn't see the figure he expected to see. On the contrary, I found a child sitting by the river nearby, fishing in the sunset, very leisurely. Trade wind sat by the river and looked at the sparkling lake, feeling comfortable. Since he has no shortage of money, he catches fish in a very simple way. He lays rocks in the shallow water sets a hook in the deep water, and waits for the fish to come to him. If there are not enough by then, he can just go down to the river and use ninjutsu to catch a few more. Little brother, have you seen a man wearing a mask around here? Uchiha Chuan walked to Trade Wind, squatted down and looked at Trade Wind and said. Isn't this the crazy female from the Uchiha family? Little brother? You are the little brother. Trade Wind glared at Uchiha Izumi angrily, pointed at the river and said, You scared my fish away. Ah, I'm sorry. Let me catch a few for you. After Izumi Uchiha finished speaking, he jumped onto the water, opened his Sharingan, and quickly used Kunao to fish up a few fish. The Trade Wind kept rolling his eyes when he saw it, 
and said in his heart, I want to use ninjutsu to catch them, and I'm still waiting for you. Come? Hey, little brother, here you go. Izumi Uchiha carried a few fish and handed them to the trade wind. Looking at the rotten fish in Uchiha Izumi's hand, Shifeng was speechless. Those stores simply won't accept fish like this. However, this was the other party's good intention, and Trade Wind had no choice but to accept it. Reaching out to take the fish from Uchiha Izumi, Trade Wind looked at him and said, What did you just say to me? I want to ask you if you have seen a man wearing a mask around here. Uchiha Chuan squatted down in front of Shifeng with a bright smile. She found that the child in front of her was really good looking and had a pair of red pupils. I've never seen it before. Tradewind shook his head, took out a knife, and began to disembowel some fish that Izumi Uchiha handed him. Although he didn't know why the other party was looking for him, he didn't want to care at all. Really? Uchiha Izumi felt a little disappointed when she heard this. Then, she continued to look at the Tradewind and said, My name is Uchiha Izumi. Little brother, what is your name? Uchiha Izumi? That Uchiha attack is rumored girlfriend? When Tradewind heard this, he glanced at Uchiha Izumi in surprise, then continued to clean the fish in his hand, and said calmly, Tradewind. Little Tradewind, if you see a man with a mask appearing around here in the future, please tell me, I'll be right here. Uchiha Izumi is still a little unwilling to give up, and is planning to settle down here. Eyeliner. Could you please remove the word small? I know, I know. Sin Feng nodded, impatiently put the things into his backpack, turned around and left. He planned to teach Izumi Uchiha a lesson when he went back later, so that she would not bother him by coming here every day. Seeing Trade Wind leave impatiently, Uchiha Izumi pursed his lips, feeling that this child had such a bad temper. Arriving again at the place where he practiced shuriken last time, Izumi Uchiha practiced shuriken while waiting patiently to see if he could meet that senior again tonight. Until late at night, Uchiha Izumi did not wait for the senior. Just when she was about to leave, she suddenly found someone rushing toward her quickly. Clang! Uchiha Izumi reacted in time and used kunao to block the opponent's knife. Senior! Uchiha Izumi said in surprise when he saw the crude mask on the face of the visitor, and quickly put down his kunao. However, Trade Wind did not answer and launched another attack on Uchiha Izumi. If he said he wanted to teach the other party a lesson, then he would definitely teach the other party a lesson. Senior, look! When the trade wind attacked him again, Uchiha Izumi was frightened, scared, and angry. His Sharingan kept turning in his eyes, holding Kunao in both hands, and barely resisted the rapid attack of the trade wind. Clang! 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 The sound of weapons clashing resounded among the trees. Cold sweat dripped from Izumi Uchiha's forehead, and wounds on his body were cut by the trade wind with blood flying everywhere. However, Uchiha Izumi didn't pay attention to this. Her eyes were fixed on the swordsmanship in Shifeng's hands. She had already recognized that the swordsmanship used by Shifeng was Uchiha-style swordsmanship. He is indeed an Uchiha. Just as Izumi Uchiha was thinking this, she suddenly noticed that Trade Wind immediately sheathed his sword and turned his back to her. Just when she was still a little strange, she heard the other party cough and said slowly. Get dressed. The next second, Uchiha Izumi felt a chill in front of her body, and then she realized that she had been slashed in front of her face at some point, revealing a large. Hey! Uchiha Izumi's pretty face instantly turned red with embarrassment, and he quickly put his hands on his chest, tightly covering the exposed area. Senior, why are you attacking me? Izumi Uchiha squatted on the ground, her clothes soaked with blood from the stab wound, and cold sweat dripped from her forehead. Only now did she feel the severe pain all over her body. Now Izumi Uchiha can tear open several wounds with just a simple move. You stayed here all night today, are you looking for me? 
Xin Feng turned around, did not answer the question, and spoke in a cold tone. Hearing this, Uchiha Izumi pursed his lips, hesitated for a long time, looked at the trade wind and asked. Senior is Shuang Feng Santang. After Izumi Uchiha asked, her heart was pounding wildly, and she looked at the trade wind nervously, because she didn't know if she could walk out of the forest alive after asking this question directly. However, even so she asked without hesitation. If the other party is Shuang Feng Sanzo, a strong man who can fight Hanzo, then what he said that he will not survive for a year is very likely to be true. Uchiha Izumi really wants to know that the other party said this with such certainty. The reason for the words. I didn't expect Sancho Hanzo to be so efficient. He said he would become famous in the ninja world. How long did it take for the news to reach Kanaha? Thinking of this, Shifeng glanced at Uchiha Izumi and said nonchalantly. So what? So what if it's not? So what? So what if it's not? Hearing this, Uchiha Izumi breathed a sigh of relief for no reason. It seemed that the senior did not intend to continue to embarrass her, otherwise the other party should have taken the knife instead of asking questions. And by saying this, does the other party indirectly admit that he is Shuang Feng Santang? Senior, does he have Uchiha blood in his body? Senior, answer my question and I will tell you the reason. Uchiha Izumi, who felt that he had escaped death, showed a bright smile to the trade wind. The next moment, trade wind, who appeared in front of her, grabbed her by the neck and lifted her up. Her feet were dangling in the air and she was hit on the tree trunk behind her. Trade wind held Uchiha Izumi's neck with one hand, and slowly slid the katana down on the other person's pretty face with the other hand, and said coldly, in front of me, you have no room for bargaining. Ahem, I know. Uchiha Izumi coughed, covering his neck with both hands, and his calves kept struggling. Say. Trade wind casually threw Uchiha Izumi on the ground, put the katana back into its scabbard, and turned around. Well, trade wind turned around not just to show off. Just because he had just seen Uchiha Izumi's two little pet rabbits again, it made him unable to continue to make things difficult for them, so he could only turn around. If your senior is a member of the Uchiha clan, the clan leader will be prepared to recognize you as a relative and recruit you into the Uchiha clan. If you are not, the clan leader will probably recruit you into Uchiha. Uchiha Izumi stood up from the ground and looked at the trade wind and said quickly. Well, the latter sentence was her guess. Uchiha Fugaku didn't say that. Recruiting a wife into Uchiha? When Zinfan heard this, he was stunned. This Uchiha Fugaku is really courageous. I don't know if he will let go of his wife, Uchiha Mikato. Uchiha Mikato's handsome appearance appeared in Shifeng's mind. He touched his chin and thought seriously about what Uchiha Izumi said. Of course, he was not considering whether to join Uchiha because of Uchiha Mikato, but he was thinking about how to get the secret ninjutsu scrolls in Uchiha's hands. Because what Uchiha Shisui's cards brought to him were all talent and blood-related things such as illusion talent and swordsmanship talent, but there were relatively few or basically no ninjutsu. If he could get the Uchiha clan's genjutsu, he would be able to directly stare at people in seconds. It would be much more convenient to go out to do bounty missions in the future. Of course, he could also ask Izumi Uchiha to give these things to him. Senior, what are you thinking about? Uchiha Izumi asked curiously as he saw Shifeng touching his chin and thinking. Trade Wind glanced at Uchiha Izumi and said coldly, Have you told anyone else about my news? No. Izumi Uchiha shook his head like a rattle and answered with certainty. Uchiha Izumi estimated that if she dared to tell others about the other party, the senior in front of her would definitely come to kill her. After all, he was the one who could blow off one of Hanzo's legs. Very good. Trade Wind said, turned, and left. He still needs to think carefully about whether to join the Uchiha or not. If he joins Uchiha, he will have to face the problem of the upcoming night of genocide, but the benefits will be huge.
As long as he can control Uchiha, he will step on Atsutsuki and steal Kagaya's way from now on. Better to walk. He can even compete for the position of Hokage in the future, take Kanaha into his hands, and do things for himself. As for the Uchiha Senji and the Uchiha Dutiful Son, Tradewind is not too afraid. He knows all the ninjutsu information of the two and masters the Flying Thunder God's Tradewind, which is completely worthy of each other. Senior, why do you say I can't live more than a year? Izumi Uchiha came to Shifeng and asked nervously. She was afraid that the other party would say that she had something terminally ill. Tradewind glanced at Uchiha Izumi and said casually, in the near future, Uchiha will rebel and then be exterminated. Your eyes will be dug out by others and used as resurrection coins. You are talking nonsense, how could Uchiha be exterminated? Izumi Uchiha glared at Tradewind, and when he saw the other party looking at her, he quickly acted like a good boy. If you can give me some Uchiha illusion scrolls, I will tell you the reason. Tradewind glanced at Izumi Uchiha and put forward his conditions. Okay. Uchiha Izumi thought for a moment and nodded in agreement. Because she also wanted to use these Sharingan illusion scrolls to confirm whether Sanzo really had Uchiha blood. The Nine Tails Rebellion The Nine Tails controlled by the Sharingan caused heavy casualties to all the ninja clans and civilians in Kanaha. The Kanaha people's hatred of Uchiha has reached the extreme. Now I want to shovel Uchiha. I don't know how many people have been eliminated, but at this time, Uchiha is still thinking about rebellion. You are destined to be exterminated after the Nine Tails Rebellion. Seeing Izumi Uchiha nodding, Shifeng directly spoke out the speculation he had read online in his previous life. How could Uchiha rebel? Uchiha Izumi opened his mouth slightly and looked at the trade wind in disbelief. This is a prophecy, believe it or not. Shifeng glanced at Izumi Uchiha next to him and disappeared directly, leaving a sentence that echoed in Izumi Uchiha's ears. If you dare to leak my information, I will personally come to Kanaha and destroy the Uchiha. Uchiha Izumi shuddered when she heard this. She believed that with the opponent's strength, he could definitely do it, and she quickly promised loudly, I will never reveal the secrets of seniors. After Izumi Uchiha shouted, he saw no response and said to himself in confusion, Senior said he would come to Kanaha and destroy Uchiha himself. Does that mean that he is not from Kanaha? He was indeed using the Flying Thunder God when he disappeared. It seems that he is really Shuang Feng Santang. But what is a prophecy? When Izumi Uchiha said this, he glanced at the place where the trade wind disappeared, then turned back and left. Is it natural? Behind a big tree, Tradewind looked at Uchiha Izumi leaving, holding his forehead speechlessly. However, it is possible that I fell into my language trap so smoothly because I was just stupid. Tradewind thought so and disappeared in place. Inside the wooden house, Tradewind, who returned from the woods, lay on his bed and seriously considered the pros and cons of joining the Uchiha. As he thought about it, Seeing Feng thought about his future development. If he wants to destroy Atsutsuki, steal Kagaya, and turn the ninja world into a back garden, then Tradewind must at least have the strength of the six paths level. And Seeing Feng wants to have six level strength. Or, collect tailed beasts and become the ten tailed Jin Huraki like Uchiha Obito. Or, like Uchiha Madara, find a way to awaken the Samsara Eye then collect tailed beasts and become the ten-tailed Jin Huraki. Or, like Naruto Suzuki, wait for the old man of six paths to pass on his skills. However, Tradewind knew that that was simply impossible. Of course, the Tradewinds have other methods. That is to kill anyone in the Atsutsuki clan head-on, and then use a blank character card to copy the bloodline. Or, kill or capture Hinata and Hanabi. Use blank character cards to copy the bloodline, and then run to the moon to kill Tonari, and then obtain the reincarnation eye and the power of the false six paths. Of course, the easiest thing is to kill Naruto and Suzuki now, then copy their bloodlines, merge the chakras of Indra and Ajura into one, and then step into the six paths. However, 
Zinfen didn't want to do this. He was not a person who had no bottom line for power, and he was not sure whether the power of the reincarnation of the Son of Six Paths could be copied through cards. In addition, Tradewind also felt that if Naruto and Suzuki died, the old man of Six Paths would appear immediately. When the time comes, he will either be captured by Naruto and Suzuki together, or be captured by the old man of Six Paths. So, you still have to keep a low profile. After thinking about this for a while, Trade Wind yawned and fell into a deep sleep. Two weeks later, the border between the Kingdom of Water and the Kingdom of Fire. Wearing a simple mask, Trade Wind, led by Ye Keng who also wore a mask, quickly headed to a lake on the border of the Kingdom of Water. Arriving at the destination, Trade Wind stood beside Ye Keng and looked at the huge lake in the distance. According to the news that Tradewind had just received in the gold exchange, a huge monster seemed to have appeared in the lake here and attacked many merchant ships. Based on his memory, Tradewind quickly determined that this was most likely the wild three tails that had just been resurrected. After Harano Rin, who was controlled by Uchiha Madara, was killed by Kakashi's thunder attack, not only did Uchiha Swan Er become completely black, but he also successfully killed the three tails. It was the 57th year of Kanaha, Uchiha had not yet been exterminated, Uchiha Ataka had not yet joined the Akatsuki organization, and seven or eight years had passed since Nohara Rin's death. Judging from the fact that it takes seven to ten years for a tailed beast to be resurrected after death, and the stronger the tailed beast, the longer the resurrection time will be. The strength of the three-tailed Isobutsu is far inferior to that of the eight-tailed and nine-tailed ones. Eight years is enough time for it to be resurrected. In the original work, the Akatsuki organization did not start capturing tailed beasts until the fourth ninja war in Kanaha 68. It was probably because after Yagura's death, the three tails died again, so the Akatsuki organization's plan had to be postponed until that time. Calculated in this way, Yagura Kanaha implanted the three tails into his body in 57 years, fought with Itaka who had just defected in 58 years, died in 59 years, and before Kanaha 68 years, the three tails were just resurrected. Therefore, Tradewind guessed that the huge monster that appeared in this lake was probably the three-tailed Isobutsu. The purpose of Shifeng's trip is to defeat the three-tailed Isofu, and then use the cards to copy the three-tailed and create his own three-tailed. Since collecting the Ten Tails and becoming the Ten Tails Jin Hiraki will resurrect Kagaya in the body, Tradewind is ready to use the card system to create his own Ten Tails. We'll search separately. Looking at the lake filled with water vapor and clouds, Tradewind gave an order to Ye Kang, and then ran away. Half an hour later. Boom. Tradewind, who was searching on the lake, suddenly heard a violent explosion in the distance, and the next second, he appeared next to Ye Kang. In front of Ye Kang, a huge three-tailed grey giant turtle monster was looming on the lake in the distance, and then dived into the water. It's none other than Sanwei Isofu. Seeing this situation, Sing Feng felt happy. His guess was indeed correct. What should we do now? Ye Kang asked while holding the big explosion fireball and looking at the trade wind. At this time, the three tails were knocked into the water by a big explosion from her. Now if you want to deal with the three tails, you must dive into the water. Neither she nor Xian Feng was very proficient in water escape. We wait for a while, the three tails will most likely attack us. It just ate a fireball from you, and there's no way it will just let it go. Trade Wind spoke calmly. The three-tailed beast is a tailed beast and already has a bad temper. He was just attacked by Ye Keng and will obviously want to regain his position. Really? Not long after, a huge shadow appeared on the lake at the feet of Tradewind and Ye Keng, quickly attacking the two of them. Disperse. Throwing down a Jutsu Shuriken, Shifeng and Ye Keng suddenly jumped to the side, avoiding the underwater sneak attack of the Three Tails. Wow! The huge body of the Three Tails rushed out of the lake causing a huge splash. Later, Tradewind used the shuriken engraved with the Flying Thunder God's mark that he had just dropped to appear next to Sanwei, 
and successfully carved the flying thunder god's mark on the opponent's body. Three-tailed Isofa raised his three tails high and slapped them continuously against the trade wind. Tisk, it's just like a wild beast, it doesn't know how to use its power at all. No wonder he was easily captured by Deodera. Trade wind side while dodging the three-tailed attack. There is indeed a big difference between domesticated and wild ones. On the other side, Ye Keng quickly rushed to the shore, jumped up high, and threw several shurikens into the air. When the shuriken was about to fall, a blazing fireball flew out from behind Ye Keng, accurately arrived under the shuriken, and suddenly exploded. Boom! Under the impact of the big explosion, the shuriken flew upwards rapidly again, successfully reaching an altitude of several hundred meters. The next second, Trade Wind appeared next to a shuriken in mid-air, grabbed it, and threw it high into the air. Appearing with him was the confused three-tailed isobutsu. In nature, if an eagle encounters a turtle with a hard shell, it will usually use its sharp claws to grab the opponent high into the air, then drop the turtle, smash it to pieces, and then eat the turtle meat. Trade Wind obviously wants to follow suit and see if the three-tailed turtle is afraid. Fall. The huge body of the three tails fell freely in mid-air, its limbs grabbed wildly, its three tails swung around, and it fell rapidly. Boom! The ground shook, throwing up a cloud of smoke and making a loud noise. Ye Keng jumped up in time when the three tails landed, avoiding the vibrations from the ground, and then landed firmly on the ground. Then, Trade Wind appeared next to Sanwei who was a little dizzy after falling stretched out his hand to press down on Sanwei, and appeared in mid-air again. Boom! Sanwei landed on the ground again, dizzy. Boom! The three tails landed on the ground again, with stars in their eyes. Boom! Sanwei fell to the ground again, foaming at the mouth. Boom! The third tail fell for the fifth time several hundred meters above the ground, completely unconscious. Who? Who? Trade Wind came to the unconscious Sanwei, panting. The three tails are about 50 meters tall and huge. Every time they use Flying Thunder God to move them, they need to consume a lot of chakra. Even with the amount of chakra that Trade Wind has at this time, it is a bit difficult. This was the first time he felt that chakra was not enough after acquiring Tsunade's Senjua bloodline and Uchiha Shisui's Uchiha bloodline. Even the last time he fought against Hanzo, he never felt like this. I'll go back and don't let it wake up. Trade Wind said something to Ye Keng, disappeared and appeared in the mansion of Flame City. Grown-ups In the pavilion of the mansion, Uzumaki Eri, Uzumaki Karen's mother, saw Trade Wind suddenly appearing next to her and quickly stood up. Follow me. Seeing that Xiang Lian was not there, Shifeng no longer had any worries, picked up Eri Uzumaki and kissed her directly. A minute later, the trade wind whose chakra had been replenished disappeared, leaving only Uzumaki Eri sitting there with a red face. As soon as Xinfen returned to Ye Kang, he was attacked by the opponent's white eyes. Ye Kang naturally knew what Xing Feng had just done, because this was not the first time this bastard had done this in the past two weeks. Ignoring Ye Kang's white eyes, Xinfen walked up to the unconscious Three Tails and began to use the sealing technique of the Uzumaki clan to restrict the Three Tails' movements. In the system's judgment, being temporarily stunned does not mean defeat. Only when the Three Tails are completely incapacitated can Trade Wind defeat the opponent and be able to use cards to copy. Sealing Technique King Kong Sealing Shifeng formed a seal with his hands, and several chains sprang out from his body, wrapping around Sanwei Jifu's body. As Kushina's husband, the fourth Hokage will naturally use the King Kong blockade, but because he is not a member of the Uzumaki clan, he cannot exert the true power of the King Kong blockade, so he basically doesn't use it. Although Trade Wind is not a member of the Uzumaki clan, the three tails used to restrain the coma at this time are more than enough. After Trade Wind used King Kong blockade to bind Sanwei, he took out a card and attached it to Sanwei. The resurrection time of the tailed beast is not clearly stated. Moreover, 
there is no clear time when Yagura controlled the Three Tails and then was controlled by Obito, and the statement in the Naruto game conflicts with the statement in Attack is true biography, so if you make some small changes here, you should be able to get around it. Psychic Beast, Three Tails Currently unable to act. Host damage proportion, 99%, greater than 80%, meeting the replication conditions. After copying, you can get a psychic beast with 100% of the abilities and characteristics of the three tails. Do you want to copy? Seeing the prompt in front of him, Tradewind clicked to confirm. As Tradewind clicked to confirm, the blank psychic beast card suddenly burst into brilliant light penetrating the three-tailed body and enveloping the three-tailed one. Then, a platinum-colored card appeared in front of Trade Wind. Done. From now on, I will also have a tailed beast as a rare beast baby. The corners of Shi Feng's lips curled up, and he reached out to take the platinum card. Putting the card in front of his eyes, Trade Wind discovered that the name of the card was, Three Tails. The picture depicted in the middle of the card is a monster with three tails. It looks similar to the three-tailed I saw few day. It is both in the shape of a turtle, but it is all black. Ding! Congratulations to the host for defeating the three-tailed beast, completing the achievement, the three-tailed beast, and getting a random card. After the system prompted, a card emerged from the void and landed in front of Xian Feng. Hearing the prompt in his ears, Zinfen was delighted and reached out to take the card in front of him. After opening it, a blank psychic beast card was obtained. Is this the so-called achievement reward? Unexpectedly, not only did he successfully copy the three tails this time, but he also got a blank psychic beast card. Tradewind, who is determined to get his own ten tails, has realized the preciousness of blank psychic beast cards. What a double happiness! Then, Tradewind held the blank Psychic Beast card thoughtfully. It seems that this so-called special achievement can only be obtained after achieving it, but before that, there is no prompt. However, since there is an achievement for defeating the three tailed beasts, it should naturally be an achievement for defeating other tailed beasts. That means that in addition to the annual card draw, Tradewind can obtain at least eight additional cards. Thinking of this, Zinfen suddenly became very motivated and wanted to go and fuck all the other eight-tailed beasts right away. Put the card into the system, and Tradewind will lift the ceiling technique and King Kong blockade. What the hell are you doing? Ye Kang, who was next to him, couldn't see the card, so he didn't know what Tradewind was doing. When he saw him lifting the seal, he quickly ran over to ask. Do you want to be a Jinchuriki? Seeing Feng didn't answer the question, looked at Ye Kang and smiled. If Ye Kang is willing, he is ready to seal the three tails in Ye Kang's body. If Ye Gura is unwilling, he will let the three tails go and let the plot develop smoothly. After the Akatsuki organization captures the nine-tailed beasts and resurrects Kagaya, he will jump out and conquer Kagaya. In no mood. Ye Kang recalled the tragic experience of the Jin Huraki in Suna Ninja Village and shook his head with a firm tone. Water Release Water Dragon Bullet Technique Suddenly, a huge water dragon roared from the distance and pounced on Sing Feng and Ye Kang. Trade Wind was immediately alert, held Ye Kang in his arms, disappeared from the spot, and appeared on the shore of the lake not far away. The water dragon bullet continued unabated and hit the three-tailed Isofu, Roar! Boom boom! The three tails were awakened by this blow, let out a roar, then curled up their bodies into the shape of a wheel, rolled and rushed into the lake, and dived to the bottom of the lake. Who are you, who dare to spy on the tailed beast of the Mist Ninja Village? The fourth Mizu Cage Gojo Yagura appeared in the distance with several ninjas from the Mist Ninja Village, staring at Tradewind and Hagura who appeared in the distance with a violent expression. Gota Kibana Yagura has green hair and purple eyes, a suture line under his left eye, and carries a black stick behind his back. Although he looks exactly like Shota, his voice sounds very childish. But his method of ruling Mist Ninja Village was very bloody and cruel. It was under his rule that Mist Ninja Village gained the terrifying title of Blood Mist Village. 
Hearing Guji Yagura's question, Yagura felt angry for no reason. She now hates the people in Sand Ninja Village and missed Ninja Village the most. Shifeng felt unhappy when he saw Gojo Yagura taking action directly without asking the reason. Flying Thunder God The fourth Mizukage Sama, he seems to be the twin phoenix Sanzo. Seeing that the trade wind was wearing a simple mask, he used the Flying Thunder God. A ninja from the Kiri Ninja Village who wore a mask and looked like a team leader reminded the fourth Mizukage Gojo Yagura. Shuang Feng Santang? Who is that? Hearing this, Gaji Yagura narrowed his eyes slightly. Because the Mist Ninja village in the country of water now implements a closed-door policy and is cut off from news from the outside world, the fourth-generation Mizu Cage Gojo Yagura has not heard of Shuang Feng Sanzo, who has recently become popular in the ninja world. On the contrary, the masked ninja from Mist Ninja village had just returned from performing a mission outside and had some knowledge of the name of Sanzo the two phoenixes of the trade wines. The ninja of Kiri Ninja Village told Gojo Yagura in detail about Sancho Fish in half. After the battle between Zhang and Zhuang Feng Santang, he retreated. After listening to his subordinate's introduction, Gojo Yagura stared at the trade wind with a wary expression. Anyone who can make Sancho Iuhanzo lose a leg has to be treated with caution. Ding! The name of the host has been spread among the five cage in the five great ninja villages, achieved achievements, become famous in the ninja world, and obtained random ability cards, perfect status cards. Perfect status card, after use, you can actively adjust your status to achieve your ideal status, cooling time, 72 hours. Hearing the system prompt again, Xing Feng raised his eyebrows and reached out to take the card. He didn't expect to have such an achievement. Looking at the last fight with Hanzo, it was not without its benefits. The fourth Mizu Cage Gota Kibana Yagura saw Shi Feng's expression and movements, thinking that the opponent was about to take action, and formed a seal instantly. Wind Release Wind Cut Technique Dozens of invisible wind blades formed around Yagura, and instantly rushed towards Trade Wind and Yagura. However, the next second, Trade Wind appeared in another place with Yagura's figure. Then, he took out ten shurikens and threw them towards Yagura. Then he used the teleportation technique to follow behind the shurikens and pounce on them. Yagura Yagura's repeated actions have angered the Trade Wind. Flying Thunder God Seeing ten shurikens flying towards him, Gojo Yagura formed a seal with his hands. Wind Release Vortex Hurricane a stream of air formed around Yagura, instantly turning into a giant typhoon, blowing the shurikens and trade winds that rushed towards him directly into the air. Buzz! When the storm stopped, Trade Wind, who was flying in mid-air, stabilized his figure, raised his right hand, and a white rays nan that looked like a shuriken took shape instantly. Wind Release, Spiral Shuriken after possessing the chakra of both wind and fire attributes and mastering the Rays Nan, Naruto's ultimate move was taken by Shinkaze and he successfully mastered it in the past few days. With a wave of his right hand, the Rasen Shuriken in Trade Wind's hand rushed towards Yagura. Humph, I can copy all your ninjutsu. Looking at the flying Rasen Shuriken, Yagura chuckled. Water Escape Water Mirror Technique a circular water mirror appeared in front of Gojo Yagura, reflecting the image of the flying Rasen Shuriken. The next second, the spiral Shuriken flew out of the water mirror and collided with the real spiral Shuriken of the trade wind. Woohoo! Two powerful winds collided, instantly erupting into a powerful airflow that swept around. Ah! Yekeng and several Mist Ninja Village ninjas were simultaneously thrown far away by the powerful air current. This person actually has such a powerful wind escape. The captain of the Mist Ninja Village, who was wearing a mask, landed safely. He was slightly frightened when he saw Trade Wind being thrown into the air again by the air current. Then, he suddenly felt an unpleasant feeling. As soon as he turned his head, he found a fireball. Fly to his side. What happened? Boom! There was an explosion and smoke filled the air. It's pretty good. After the smoke of the explosion dissipated, 
Ye King looked at the captain of the Mist Ninja village team at the center of the explosion and praised him. She had just seen the other party use the water prison technique on herself at the moment of the explosion, and successfully offset the explosion of her own fireball, instead of being taken down by her sneak attack like other ninjas in the Mist Ninja village. Looking at the unknown ninjas of the Mist Ninja village at Ye Kang's feet, the masked captain of the Mist Ninja village felt bitter in his heart. He did not expect that in one round, his side would be taken down by the opponent, leaving him alone. However, the fireball of the person in front of him is obviously not like an ordinary fire escape ninjutsu, but more like a kind of blood inheritance limit. Thinking of this, the captain of Mist Ninja Village narrowed his eyes and formed a seal with his hands. Melting escape monster melting. This bastard. Before the captain of Mist Ninja Village could use his ninjutsu, he saw Ye Kang in front of him glanced into the air, screamed strangely, turned around and ran away. The team leader of the Mist Ninja Village was stunned, and when he looked up, he found a huge, black turtle monster falling rapidly above his head. This. The team leader was startled, and used the teleportation technique to come to several Mist Ninja Village ninjas who fell to the ground, grabbed a few of them, and ran away. Gaji Yagura looked at the huge figure crashing down from the sky, and was slightly startled. He immediately used the teleportation technique to avoid it, with a gloomy expression on his face. He was still talking bad about Tradewind just now, saying that he could copy all the opponent's ninjutsu. As a result, Tradewind not only ignored him, but also took out a big monster and threw it at him. Boom! The turtle monster hit the ground with a loud bang, causing the captain of the Mist Ninja Village team who had just run not far away to stumble and almost fall down. Roar! Boom boom! The black turtle monster roared, curled up into a wheel, and rushed towards the fourth Mizu cage Gojo Yagura in the distance, making bursts of roars. Three Tails The fourth Mizu cage, Gota Kibana Yagura, dodged the giant monster charging towards him and cried out in surprise. No, 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 this is not the Three Tails, but my precious beast baby, the little turtle. The real Three Tails is over there. Trade Wind stood on a tree in the distance, gently shook his index finger, corrected Gujo Yagura, and then pointed at the Three Tails in the lake in the distance. As soon as he saw the Rasa and Shuriken being copied by Yagura, he directly channeled a little turtle and smashed it at the opponent. At this time, the three tails in the lake were also alarmed. They happened to look at the little black turtle that looked similar to themselves on the shore, with a shocked look on their face. Roar! Then, the three tails roared angrily, curled up into the shape of a wheel, and rushed towards the little turtle in the trade wind. There can only be one big tortoise in this lake. Well. Sanwei, you must have fallen in love with the little turtle, right? Looking at the irritated Sanwei, the trade wind was a bit square. He originally wanted to use the little turtle to deal with Yagura, and then he could half copy Yagura's ninjutsu, but he didn't expect that his beard would be cut off by the three tails. When did he create such a giant psychic beast again? In the distance, Ye King looked at the psychic beast created by the trade wind, opened his mouth slightly, and murmured. She found that every time the trade wind could bring her some unexpected surprises, scares. Thinking of the last battle between trade wind and Hanzo, Ye King pursed his lips and prepared to go to a distant mountain top to watch the battle, so as not to be affected by the opponent. Why does this person's psychic beast look so similar to the three-tailed beast? The captain of the Mist Ninja village on the other side looked at the little turtle and the three tails who were fighting fiercely in the distance with confusion, but they couldn't defeat each other, and thought so. Later, when the team leader saw Ye Kang leaving alone, he thought for a moment, grabbed the unconscious Mist Ninja village ninja, and moved a hundred meters away, preparing to stand a little further away and watch. Whether it is a three tail or not, it will belong to the blood mist from now on. Seeing the little turtle and the three tails fighting fiercely, the fourth Mizu cage Tachibana Yagura spoke domineeringly. Water escape water breaking wave. Gojo Yagura formed a seal with his hands, and a high-pressure water column spurted out from his mouth, 
splitting the ground and trees, and cutting into the trade wind on the top of the trees. At the same time that Yagura had just formed the seal, the Sharingan in the trade wind eye appeared, imitating Yagura's sealing action, and quickly formed the seal. The same high-pressure water jet spurted out from his mouth. At the same time as Yagura launched the ninjutsu, every second counts. Come on, let's hurt each other. Tradewind did not choose to use water-breaking waves to offset Yagura's water-breaking waves. Instead, he bypassed the opponent's water-breaking waves and cut towards Yagura himself. With the Flying Thunder God and the Sharingan, he is absolutely sure to dodge the attack the moment the water column hits. Sharingan Seeing that the trade wind was also attacking him with water jets, Yagura narrowed his eyes and tilted the high-pressure water jet in his mouth, cutting towards the incoming water jet. The Kung Fu cancelled out the ninjutsu of the two. The Art of Water Release and Kirigakur Seeing that Trade Wind was about to use the Sharingan to copy his ninjutsu, Yagura formed a seal with one hand and spit out a cloud of mist from his mouth, which filled the middle of the battlefield and eliminated his figure in the thick fog. Just what I wanted. Trade Wind jumped into the air, took out a flying thunder god shuriken, and quickly formed seals with his hands. Multiple shadow clone shurikens. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Whoa. Dang. Dang, dang. As soon as Yagura finished the Kirigakur Jutsu, he found hundreds of shurikens attacking him. He took out the black stick behind his back with his right hand, quickly rotated it in his hand to block, and shot down all the incoming shurikens. The next second, Trade Wind appeared behind Yagura, the raised nan in his hand lit up, and he pressed it on Yagura. Puff. Yagura's body was shattered and water splashed everywhere, forming a water prison to trap the trade wind. Water Escape Water Prison Technique At the moment when the water prison trapped the trade wind, Yagura's figure emerged from the pond on the ground, pressing on the water prison, constantly exerting pressure on the trade wind inside. Do you think I wouldn't know that you would use the Flying Thunder God to make a sneak attack? The fourth Mizu Cage Gojo Yagura taunted. The trade wind chuckled, and with a bang, it turned into a ball of white smoke. It's actually a clone. Wait, what kind of light is this? In the midst of surprise, Yagura found that the surrounding thick fog was penetrated by light. He suddenly raised his head and saw two huge flaming phoenixes looming outside the thick fog. In midair, two flame phoenixes surrounding Shifeng, under his command, instantly attacked Yagura's location. Wind Escape Fire Escape Double Phoenix Boom! The twin phoenixes exploded at Yagura's position, forming a small mushroom cloud, and then erupted with a strong shock wave that struck hundreds of meters around. The explosive power of these perverted twin phoenixes has become stronger again. Tisk tisk tisk, luckily I ran early. On the top of the mountain, Ye King looked at the small mushroom cloud in the distance and was very grateful for his wise move just now. On the other side, the team leader of Mist Ninja Village was not so lucky. He was thrown directly by the explosion shock wave and hit a tree trunk, with blood spurting out from his mouth. Ahem. The captain of the Mist Ninja Village took off the bloody mask on his face, revealing a delicate and pretty face and a pair of green eyes. It was none other than the future fifth-generation Mizu Cage Terumi Mei. She looked at the trade wind in the distance and murmured. He is indeed the twin phoenix Sanzo who can blow off one of Hanzo's legs. It would be great if you were a man from Mist Ninja Village. One minute later. The smoke from the explosion dissipated. In the huge pit created by the explosion, Yagura's figure limped out of a ball of water. Behind him. There lay a ball that was badly damaged by the explosion and did not know whether it was a ball of water. A huge carcass of some animal. Although Yagura used the psychic beast to block the knife, the explosion still affected his right leg. You actually used a psychic beast to block the knife. It's really yours. When Tradewind saw Yagura's figure, he immediately knew that the other party had most likely gone into the psychic beast's belly. Sure enough. The cage of the five major ninja villages are not that easy to kill. I'm going to kill you. 
his giant psychic beast was killed, and the childish face of Gaji Yagura was full of ferocious color. Water release big explosive water wave. The water in the lake behind Yagura surged, forming a water prison several hundred meters in diameter, trapping the trade wind within it. Another large ninjutsu was copied with cards. Seeing Yagura's actions, Shi Feng was not surprised but happy. The ninjutsu copied from the blank skill card has a top level effect when used, and the chakra consumption of the trade wind is extremely low, almost negligible. Just like Yagura uses a large amount of chakra to use the big explosion water wave, but trade wind uses cards to use it, and only needs a little bit. If used properly, it can definitely be a killer. As for other small ninjutsu that are not limited to blood inheritance, Shi Feng can just use Sharingan to copy them. The next second, Trade Wind disappeared into the water prison and appeared in midair next to a shuriken hanging with a small parachute. This was what he had just sent up with the help of the explosion shock wave. Water Escape Water Monster Technique Yagura was not surprised by this. He formed a seal with one hand and the giant oval water ball changed into a huge nine-headed giant turtle that was twice the size of the tailed beast. No wonder he became the fourth Hokage. With just this move, ordinary tailed beasts could be suppressed for a short time. Seeing Yagura's water monster technique, Shi Feng sighed in admiration. But you're not the only one who has this kind of thing. Trade Wind took out the old giant clam card and shouted to the fourth Mizu cage go to Kibana Yagura. Little brother, the big monster is coming. When Yagura heard what Shi Feng said, he was instantly furious, you are the little brother, and your whole family is the little brother. The trade wind ignored the furious Yagura and channeled a super giant clam in mid-air. Why is it so big? Terumi Mei, who was watching the battle from a distance, was shocked when she saw the size of the giant clam, which was more than 200 meters in diameter. Not only her, but also Yagura's eyes were wide open in disbelief. Bang! Trade wind's super giant clam fell straight in mid-air, and in the shocked eyes of Gojo Yagura, it directly crushed Yagura's nine-headed water monster. The giant water monster was crushed and exploded, and the splashing lake water formed a huge wave and torrent, instantly washing away the surrounding forest. You bastard! Gaji Yagura gritted his teeth as he was swept away by the flood. Boom! Suddenly, there was an explosion in the distance. Trade wind came to the top of the tree, turned around and saw that Yeking was on the top of the mountain, launching an attack on several mist ninja village ninjas down the mountain. Um. Is that support from the mist ninja village? That's all, I already have the three tails card anyway, so there's no need to continue teasing the children. Snapped. Trade wind snapped his fingers to release the psychic powers of little turtle and little flower armor then appeared next to Yeking and led the other party to use Flying Thunder God to leave. Hateful. Watching the trade wind leave, Gojo Yagura appeared from the water, his teeth itching with anger. However, he also knew that the other party had the Flying Thunder God, and if they wanted to leave, no one would be able to stay. I will definitely make you pay the price, Shuang Feng Santang. Yagura thought bitterly in his heart. Mizukich-sama, are you okay? Terumi Mei came to go to Kibana Yagura, carefully looked at the opponent's injured right leg, and thought about whether to take this opportunity to sneak attack on the opponent. Because she was very disgusted with the bloody mist policy launched by Gojo Yagura, Terumi Mei had been secretly planning a coup in an attempt to overthrow Yagura's rule. However, Terumi Mei immediately gave up this idea because she had seen the support from the Kiri Ninja village and those people were all Yagura's cronies. Write to Kanaha, write to other ninja villages that have tailed beasts, tell them exactly what happened today, and let them know that Zhuang Feng Sanzo's target is the tailed beast. The fourth Mizu cage go to Kibana Yagura glanced at Terumi Mei and quickly gave instructions with a ferocious look on his face. Yagura, who suffered a huge loss at the hands of Zhuang Feng Santang today, couldn't swallow this bad breath at all. So regardless of whether Shuang Feng Sanzo's target is a tailed beast or not, he is ready to put the label of coveting tailed beasts on the other party, 
and then inform other ninja villages that have tailed beasts. In order to increase the attention of other ninja villages, he even did not hesitate to lose himself to also write down the other person's affairs. Strong enough to defeat the Mizu cage, and his target is the tailed beast. The combination of these two things will definitely cause Shuang Feng Sanzo to be closely watched and even brutally attacked by other ninja villages. Yagura wants to make Shuang Feng Santang unable to move within the five major countries, and everyone is shouting for a beating. Yes. Looking at the distorted face of the fourth Mizu cage, Terumi Mei bowed expressionlessly and responded. The border of the country of waves. Uh-huh. The figures of Tradewind and Yekeng appeared in a forest. Where is the bounty target around here? Seeing Feng touched the mask on his face and asked Yekeng in his arms. He and Yekeng's trip was not only to find the three tails, but also to do some bounty missions. Yekeng took out a map, pointed to a short distance and said. Just in front. Nodding, Xinfen followed Yekeng, slowly headed to his destination, and then began to study the cards he had just obtained. Perfect status card, after use, you can actively adjust your status to achieve your ideal status, cooling time, 72 hours. Tradewind tried to use it, ready to see what use this card had. As Tradewind integrated the card into his body, a template suddenly appeared in front of his eyes. Physical strength, remaining 58%. Chakra amount, 40% remaining. Pupillary power, 31% remaining. See the information in front of you. Trade wind blinked, then reached out and touched the chakra level. The next second, trade wind felt that the chakra in his body was instantly filled. Seeing Feng looked at his body and felt happy. The ability of this perfect status card seems to be very abnormal. Muttering to himself, Tradewind continued his research. A few minutes later. Hey! This card's ability is really abnormal. After studying the trade winds of the card, I took a breath. To put it simply, after Tradewind has this perfect status card, it is basically equivalent to having a recovery card. Every time Tradewind is used it can directly restore one's physical strength and chakra to full strength. What should I do if I run out of mana when fighting the enemy? Open the status card and increase the mana level to full. What should I do if I run out of energy while fighting with my wife? Open the status card and increase your physical strength to full. I really found a treasure this time. Take the card out of the body and put it back into the system space. Ye Kang. Tradewind sped up and came behind Ye Kang, who was sulking, and stretched out his hand to tap the other person's beautiful back. What are you doing? Ye Kang looked back at Xing Feng. It's nothing. Xing Feng chuckled and put his arms around Ye Kang's slim waist. Then, he took off the simple mask and hood on his face, revealing a face with clear lines and handsome features. Coupled with his white hair and red eyes, he looked very cold and handsome. This is what he will look like twenty years later, and it is also how he will appear as Shuang Feng Santang. It is one of his abilities to transform into a card. Ye Kang turned his head and glanced at Trade Wind, then glanced again. No matter how many times she saw it, she still felt that Trade Wind was really handsome. The Land of Fire, a place for gold exchange. Change money. Trade Wind who was wearing a simple mask, threw the body bag in his hand to the old man in front of him and spoke coldly. Next to him, Ye Kang, who was also wearing a mask, looked at the trade wind with his beautiful eyes from time to time, and his eyes flashed with admiration from time to time. At the table on one side of the money exchange, two people wearing masks of a cat and a dog were sitting, flipping through the bounty lists in their hands from time to time. The old man at the money exchange was reading a beauty photo magazine behind the counter. After hearing this, he glanced up. After seeing clearly the mask on Shi Feng's face, he quickly stood up and replied respectfully. Okay, Master Shuang Feng. The news of Shuang Feng Sanzo's battle with the demigod Hanzo has been spread throughout the ninja world by the Rain Ninja Village. 
The old man at the money exchange also knew that the young man wearing a simple mask in front of him was the god of murder who blew off Sanchao Iuhanzo's leg, and he didn't dare to neglect him at all. Shuang Feng Tripitaka When the two people next to them heard what the old man from the money exchange said, they immediately raised their heads and looked at Xing Feng and Ye Kang, with expressions of disbelief in their eyes. This is your bounty. The old man took out a box and handed it to the trade wind respectfully. Yes. Xing Feng took the box, turned around and left with Ye Kang. Master Shuang Feng, please wait a moment. Not long after they walked out of the gold exchange, Xing Feng and Ye Kang were stopped by the two people who had been studying the bounty list in the gold exchange. What's the matter? Shi Feng glanced at the two people opposite him and spoke coldly. There is a letter here that I want to give to Lord Shuang Feng. The man wearing a dog face mask carefully handed the letter in his hand to the trade wind. Trade wind created a clone, took the letter, and asked the clone to open the letter and watch it on the spot. Achiha. After reading the letter, Ye Kang, who was next to Shi Feng, glanced at the two people in front of him with some caution. She knew that Tradewind had the Sharing gone, but she also knew that he was not from Uchiha. She always thought that Tradewind was the bloodline of Uchiha who had wandered away. At this time, Uchiha came to look for Tradewind, which made Ye Kang suddenly wary, fearing that Tradewind would choose to return to the Uchiha clan and leave her side. The content of the letter was very simple. The leader of the Uchiha clan, Uchiha Fugaku, wanted to invite Zhuang Feng Sanzo to meet him, and he left his contact information on it. That's my answer. Tradewind, who had learned the news from Uchiha Izumi, left a sentence and the Flying Thunder God's mark on the letter, deactivated the clone, dropped the letter, and walked away. The two masked Uchiha members looked at each other. They are ordinary Uchiha clansmen who have not yet opened the Sharingan. Today they just received a mission to exchange for gold to find information about Zhuang Feng Santang. Unexpectedly, they met the real owner directly to exchange for the bounty. The two picked up the letter and did not dare to stay. They directly used the teleportation technique to leave. And a crow in the woods quickly followed the two of them after they left, and followed them from a distance. Uh-huh. A shuriken flew out of the woods and successfully hit the crow splitting it in half and falling to the ground. Let's go. Tradewind retracted his right hand, put it on Ye Kang's back, and disappeared with him. They still have several million tails of money to save and cannot afford to delay. Two hours later, Uchiha Itaki appeared here, looking at the crow that was split in half, and fell into silence. Afternoon. Fire City Mansion. Wearing a mask. Tradewind leaned on the chair in the pavilion, closing his eyes and thinking about Uchiha. In front of him, Xiao Xian Glan was working hard to help him beat his legs, with a flattering look on his face. Sir, the meal is ready. Uzumaki Eri came to the edge of the pavilion and spoke softly. Here, I'll pay you for your labor. Xing Feng took out one hundred tails of money from his arms and handed it to Xiao Xian Glan. Yet. Yeah. Thank you brother Zinfen. Xiao Xiang Lian cheered, took the money, and immediately stood up and ran to the gate. Hey, where are you going? Uzumaki Eri yelled as he looked at Karin who ran away. I won't eat any more. Xiao Xian Glan replied without looking back, and disappeared at the gate in a blink of an eye. The flame city is close to Kanaha and the security is very safe. Tradewind and Uzumaki Eri are not worried about any problems with Kanaha. Sir, you shouldn't be used to Xian Glan. Uzumaki Eri glanced at Shi Feng and spoke in a low voice. Shi Feng turned his head and glanced at Uzumaki Eri, took off the mask and hood on his head, and hugged him, let's go eat. Seeing Shi Feng's movements, Uzumaki Eri was stunned and looked at the other party blankly. Lord Tradewind is really good looking. Looking at Shi Feng's appearance, Uzumaki Eri was stunned on the spot, and then her face turned red for a moment because she remembered what Shi Feng did to her during the day. Seeing Eri stunned on the spot, the trade wind. 
suddenly he became interested and reached out to lift the other person's chin, carefully looking at the other person's shy and blushing expression. Feeling the aggressive gaze of Shifeng, Uzumaki Eri's heart was pounding, she glanced to the side in a panic, and said softly. Master Yakura has finished bathing and is waiting for dinner. Let's go. Seeing Feng let go of the other party and walked away. Hey! Uzumaki Eri breathed a sigh of relief when he saw Trade Wind leaving, but then he couldn't help feeling a little disappointed. If Shifeng really wants to do something to her, Uzumaki Eri is actually willing. Firstly, she wants to repay him, secondly, she doesn't hate him, and thirdly. Thirdly, Mr. Trade Wind is really good looking. The most important thing is that the life she has now with Lord Shifeng is too happy and she doesn't want to lose it. After having dinner with Ye Keng and Eri, Shifeng left Eri the learning scroll of the basic whirlpool sealing technique and the Vajra sealing technique, and then stood up and left. Uzumaki Eri has the blood of the Uzumaki clan, but Shifeng, as a young man who grew up in that hot land, has his own bottom line and will not kill people at will for power. So he planned to teach her the sealing technique of the Uzumaki clan so that she could use it in the future. After getting rid of Ye Kang's stalking, Trade Wind returned directly to Kanaha. After seeing Shi Feng's face, Ye Kang was already obsessed with the other's beauty and wanted to further deepen the relationship between the two. However, Trade Wind still had Uchiha matters to deal with, so naturally he wouldn't let her succeed. Come to the Kanaha forest that I often go to. Not surprisingly, he saw Izumi Uchiha who was practicing shuriken again. Uh-huh. 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 Do. 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 After the shuriken accurately hit the target, Izumi Uchiha came to the target on the tree trunk and carefully took off the shuriken on it. Coming here to practice has become something she must do every day. While she was training, she was looking forward to meeting the mysterious Zhuang Feng Sr. Although the opponent would beat her black and blue every time he appeared, Uchiha Izumi never tired of it. Because of her strength, she has grown very rapidly in these two weeks, and she has become more and more proficient in using the Sharingan. Suddenly, Izumi Uchiha saw Trade Wind, who was observing him from a tree trunk in the distance, and said in surprise. Senior. The next second, Uchiha Izumi saw the other party picking up a katana and thought of rushing towards him. Senior, can you be gentler next time? It hurts people so much. Uchiha Izumi took out a bandage and wrapped it around the wound on his arm, and glanced at Shifeng, who was wearing a mask and hood, complainingly. After getting along with each other for a period of time, she also learned that the other person only looked fierce, but was actually easy to talk to. Of course, the premise is that you must obey the other party's arrangements and not disobey the other party. Tell me about the Uchiha clan. Trade Wind leaned against the tree trunk, put his hands behind his head, looked at the sunset in the distance and said. He had already planned to meet Uchiha Fugaku to see what the other party would say. So now I want to see if I can get some news from Uchiha Izumi. The Uchiha clan is one of the two major Ijutsu clans in Kanaha. Izumi Uchiha knelt down quietly next to Shifeng, bandaging himself while telling Shifeng the relevant information about the Uchiha clan. Whether it was the legends of the Warring States period, the current situation between the Uchiha clan and Kanaha, or some of the arrangements of clan leader Fugaku, she told them all. Ten minutes later. Uchiha Izumi took out a few scrolls and handed them to Trade Wind. Senior, this is the Uchiha Illusion scroll you asked me to find a while ago. The Sharingan Genjutsu of the Uchiha clan can only be used by those with Uchiha bloodline, so Izumi had no psychological burden when he took out these scrolls. Of course, the main reason is that after several contacts, she has confirmed that the senior in front of her does have the blood of the Uchiha clan. Give these illusion scrolls to the other party. If Uchiha is really in trouble, Uchiha Izumi can also use this to ask the other party for help. Trade Wind took the scroll, looked at it and put it in his arms. Senior, Uchiha will be exterminated. Do you have any way to resolve it? 
Seeing the trade wind put away the scroll, Izumi Uchiha asked her most concerned question again. Why should I tell you? Trade wind glanced at Uchiha Izumi and continued to look at the sunset. Uchiha Izumi was stunned when he heard this, then he knelt down by Shifeng's legs, rubbed his legs and feet, and said with a flattering look on his face. Senior, just tell me. I will definitely listen to you carefully from now on. The trade wind just enjoys it and doesn't answer. Uchiha Izumi looked disappointed when he saw this. She knew that although the other party would come to see her and discuss matters with her, he obviously did not trust her, otherwise he would not have kept wearing a mask in front of her. Uchiha Izumi pursed his lips and continued to serve the trade wind, hoping to impress the other party. If other people said that Uchiha would be exterminated, Uchiha Izumi would not believe it, but the senior in front of her was Shuang Feng Sanzo, who was very powerful and famous in the ninja world so she had to think carefully. Moreover, after being awakened last time, Uchiha Izumi also began to observe deliberately in private. She saw the Uchiha people's hatred for Kanaha, and saw Kanaha's resistance to the Uchiha people. All these prove that things are really developing in the direction that Senior Santang said, and it has reached the point where it is about to explode. This made her very sad. She still had family members at home and Izumi Uchiha couldn't just watch them die. Seeing that Izumi Uchiha had a bitter look on his face, but did not stop squeezing his legs, Shifeng raised his eyebrows, raised his hand to pinch the other's pretty face, and walked downstream. He didn't have any evil intentions, he just wanted to test whether Izumi Uchiha would resist him. The achievement of famous in the ninja world that Shifeng had just completed gave him some speculation. Based on the experience of playing games in previous lives, achievements can generally only be obtained after completing a major event or changing the outcome of a major event. For example, defeating the Three Tails, or making Shuang Feng Sanzo, who does not exist in the original work, famous in the ninja world. For this reason, Trade Wind is preparing to intervene in the genocide incident to see if after changing the outcome of the genocide night, they will also receive achievement rewards and new cards. If it works, then Tradewind will know how to earn achievements and get new cards in the future. If Tradewind wants to change the outcome of the genocide and take the Uchiha clan into his hands, he will naturally need one or more helpers to help him manage the Uchiha clan in the future. And Izumi Uchiha, who started San Magadama at a young age, is the most suitable candidate. However, the premise is that the other party must obey him completely. Feeling the movement of the trade wind, Uchiha Izumi froze, his pretty face turned red, his lips tightened, and he said nothing. In order to save Uchiha, she had already risked her life, and she didn't hate the senior in front of her. With the help of Shuang Feng Santang, the Uchiha clan can definitely avoid the disaster of genocide. Of course, if the other party can be gentle to her point, that would be better. Seeing that Uchiha Izumi was resigned and very submissive, Shifeng took back his right hand and continued to look at the sunset in the distance, thinking about his future arrangements for Uchiha Izumi. Senior, if you, you want. Uchiha Izumi's face was red with embarrassment, and he was weak as a mosquito. Three Megatama Sharingan appeared in his eyes. I don't need a vase. Trade Wind glanced at Uchiha Izumi and spoke coldly. If he really wants to do something in that area, Yakang and Uzumaki Eri are better candidates. They are equally beautiful, one is heroic, and the other is mature and knowledgeable. As for Uchiha Izumi, although he was beautiful, he was too young and he didn't like her very much. On the contrary, Uchiha Mikato, who is gentle, virtuous and has a gentle and dignified temperament, suits his taste very well. An Uchiha Mikato is Uchiha's Jounin, and her strength is also very good. Uchiha Izumi was stunned when he heard what Trade Wind said. I am ready to sacrifice my life to save the Uchiha clan, but you actually look down on me? So what were you doing just now? Check the meat quality. Moreover, they actually called me a vase. Please, I am a genius an Uchiha genius. 
Uchiha Izumi looked at Tradewind in disbelief. As a genius who activated the three Megatama at a young age, her strength is already above that of ordinary Chuyunin, and she will soon be able to reach the special Jounin level. She is also highly respected among the Uchiha clan, and this is the first time she has heard someone call her a vase. Uchiha Izumi thought with some annoyance, but she did not dare to refute the trade wind, so she could only lower her head and sulk, and then continue to pinch the other person's legs. Seeing Izumi Uchiha wanting to refute, but not daring to refute, so he could only sulk, Shifeng wanted to laugh. Girl, although your three Megatama is already very strong for ordinary people, it is because you have not seen a broader landscape. If it doesn't become a kaleidoscope, after all, it's just fish on someone else's chopping board. After the night of genocide, the eyes you are proud of will be given to that disgrace by Uchiha Ataki, whom you once admired, and used as resurrection coins. Tradewind thought for a while, decided to reveal some information to Uchiha Izumi, and said. Beyond the three Megatama Sharingan, there is another kind of eye. Only when you evolve the Sharingan to that point can you control your own destiny. Hearing this, Uchiha Izumi blinked his eyes and asked curiously. There's another kind of eyes? What are they? Tradewind turned to look at Uchiha Izumi and smiled slowly. Again, why should I tell you? Hearing this, Izumi Uchiha suddenly became furious. How can there be such a person who whets people's appetite and then deliberately doesn't say anything about it? Senior, how can you trust me? Uchiha Izumi looked at the Tradewind and asked sincerely. Tradewind's figure disappeared from the spot, leaving two words echoing in Uchiha Izumi's ears. If you can help me catch a high-level Uchiha person who has activated the three Megatama and come here to submit a certificate, then I will believe you. After that, I will give you the power to get rid of your fate, and at the same time help you resolve the crisis of Uchiha genocide. Hearing this, Uchiha Izumi froze on the spot, his face full of disbelief. I'm afraid Senior is joking to arrest a Senior Uchiha executive. Return to the cabin from the woods. Tradewind took off his mask, lay on the bed, and carefully examined the Uchiha illusion scroll in his hand. The scrolls that Izumi Uchiha gave him were, The Art of Hanging, Magic, Mirror Heaven and Earth, Illusion, Bubble, and the scrolls on the basics of illusion. Thanks to Shisui's super talent for illusions, it took only two days for Zinfan to successfully master the basic knowledge of illusions and the art of flail hanging, and then learn the magic of mirror world rotation. It wasn't until the third night that he successfully mastered the magic mirror world. Night Arriving at Kanaha Forest, Tradewind met Uchiha Izumi who came here every day to wait for him. At this time, Uchiha Izumi had not slept for two days. His face was haggard, with obvious dark circles under his eyes, and he looked nervous. At a glance, he knew he was from the Uchiha family. Senior, Uchiha Izumi just saw the Tradewind and immediately ran over excitedly. She thought today would be like the past few days unable to wait for the other party. Tradewind glanced around, and before Uchiha Izumi could run to him, he threw a piece of paper to the other party and disappeared again, leaving a sentence that echoed in Uchiha Izumi's ears. If you catch a high-ranking Uchiha, destroy that piece of paper and I will come here to see you. If you haven't caught him after a week, you won't use it anymore. Hearing this, Uchiha Izumi stood stunned on the spot his face pale. Senior, do you really want to do this? Looking at the place where the trade wind disappeared, Uchiha Izumi's three Megatama Sharingan appeared, and he squatted on the ground with a painful expression. She didn't want to hurt any Uchiha for her own sake. However, she could not save her family and the Uchiha by not obeying her senior's orders. Your pain has just begun, Uchiha Izumi. The more painful you are, the more likely you are to turn on the kaleidoscope. You are only useful to me if you turn on the kaleidoscope. In the shadow in the distance, Tradewind looked at Uchiha Izumi's back, muttered a few words, and then headed to Flame City. The next day, 
trade wind broke free from Ye Kang's entanglement and returned to Kanaha from the Flame City. Wait until 4 p.m. Trade wind put on his mask and prepared to meet Uchiha Fugaku. He left the time and the flying thunder god mark in Uchiha's letter a few days ago, and Shifang believed that Fugaku must be ready to receive him at this time. Uchiha Clan Land The Secret Basement of the Uchiha Clan In the bright tatami room, Uchiha Fugaku knelt down on a futon, quietly waiting for Shuang Feng Sanzo to come to the door. On the coffee table in front of him, there was a letter with the symbol of the Flying Thunder God, and opposite the coffee table, there was a futon. Master Patriarch, do you think Shuang Feng Santang will really come? Uchiha Inari, who was also kneeling behind Uchiha Fugaku, asked somewhat uncontrollably. Whether the glory of Ui Uchiha can be restored depends on whether Shuang Feng Sanzo can be persuaded to join them tonight. A strong man like Santang attaches great importance to credibility. Since he has replied to the message, he will come. Please be patient and don't let the other party look down upon us. Uchiha Fugaku closed his eyes and said slowly. Then, he continued, did they do anything in Setsuna? Uchiha Setsuna is the hawk leader of the Uchiha clan, and he wants to take revenge on the Senjo clan of Kanaha and other ninja clans. The neutral faction headed by Uchiha Fugaku just wants to restore the glory of Uchiha and let Uchiha people ascend to the position of Hokage. Before, both sides had the same goal. Now, Uchiha Fugaku's move to recruit Chuang Feng Sanzo, an outsider, has been fiercely opposed by Setsuna so much so that the two parties have now parted ways. When the clan meeting was held previously, because Setsuna was away on a mission, Setsuna and his family did not object too much at the clan meeting. When Setsuna returned, these people started to jump out to stop him, which gave Fugaku a headache. Don't worry, Patriarch, they don't know what happened today. Only you, me and Yashiro know about this matter. Inari replied from behind Fugaku. After hearing this, Fugaku stopped asking any more questions and waited patiently. 4 p.m. Uchiha Fugaku opened his eyes on time. In front of him, Trade Wind's figure quietly appeared. After taking a look around, it disappeared with a bang. Shadow clone? The other party is really cautious. Uchiha Fugaku narrowed his eyes when he saw Trade Wind's behavior. The next moment, Trade Wind appeared again, sitting on the futon opposite Fugaku. Clan Chief Fugaku, if you have any questions, just tell me. Shifeng sat cross-legged on the futon, resting his right elbow on his knees, supporting his chin with his palms, his Sharingan slowly emerged in his eyes, and he looked at Fugaku and said. Uchiha Fugaku raised his head and looked carefully. Stare into the eyes behind the trade wine's mask. He really has the blood of Uchiha in him. When Uchiha Fugaku saw that trade wind could actively open the Sharingan, his pupil shrank. Uchiha Inari, who was behind Fugaku, also watched carefully and was immediately surprised, followed by ecstasy. Dao Huo was about to speak excitedly when he suddenly noticed that Zhuang Feng Santang glanced at him. Then, he fell into the illusion, his whole body was shaking violently, but he could not move. The Art of Shackles Uchiha Inari took a breath, but he didn't expect that the other party would actually attack directly, and he could be hit instantly with the three Megatama activated. This person's Sharingan Genjutsu is so powerful. Fugaku was shocked when he saw that Zhuang Feng Santang just glanced at him and caused Inari, who also had three Megatama, to fall into an illusion. At the same time, he once again confirmed that Zhuang Feng Sanzo really has the blood of the Uchiha clan. I said in my letter that I only met with the Fugaku clan leader. Everyone else, please disappear. Seeing Inari freed from the illusion with the help of Fugaku, Nobu Feng spoke coldly. Mr. Santang, please forgive me. This is my negligence. Uchiha Fugaku apologized profusely, and then asked Inari to leave quickly. Okay, the rest of the gang has left. If Chief Fugaku has anything to say, just say it directly. 
Seeing Uchiha Inari leave, Shifeng stretched and lay on his side on the tatami, supporting his head with his right hand. He had been running around all day today. If he said he was not tired, that would be a lie. Mr. Sanzo can automatically open and close the Sharingan. He must have the blood of the Uchiha clan. So I would like to ask Mr. Sanzo to return to the Uchiha clan. Uchiha Fugaku didn't waste any time and went straight to the point. I do have the blood of the Uchiha clan in me. Shifeng said, and then in Fugaku's hopeful eyes, he opened his mouth and poured cold water on him. But why should I go back to Uchiha? What can Uchiha bring me? Strength? Fame? Wealth? Uchiha Fugaku was stunned when he heard this. He suddenly realized that the rhetoric he had prepared before seemed to be of no use. Because he really has nothing to impress the other party. Strength? The opponent is a strong man who can break one of the demigod Hanzo's legs, and the Sharingan illusion he just showed is very powerful. Reputation? The name of Shuang Feng Sanzo has spread throughout the ninja world, and he has a place no matter where he goes. Wealth? Even Fugaku was jealous of Yun Ninja Village's reward for recruiting others. Since none of this can impress the other party, should Uchiha Fugaku move out of Uchiha's UI glory to impress the other party? However, for the other party to be able to say such things, he obviously did not take the Uchiha clan seriously. How could Fugaku impress the other party with such illusory things? This person really kills the topic with just one sentence. Thinking of this, Fugaku fell silent and quickly thought about something that could impress him. Seeing that Uchiha Fugaku had nothing to say, Tradewind didn't care and continued to stare at the other person. Now it was Fugaku who begged him, and he had the initiative. Moreover, Shifeng also wanted to see what Fugaku could come up with to convince him. Of course, if the other party dared to paint a big picture for him and treat him as a fool, Shifeng would not mind giving Fugaku a big blow. I don't know what Mr. Sanzo wants before he is willing to return to Uchiha. After thinking for a long time, Uchiha Fugaku planned to find out what Trade Wind wanted and then make a long-term plan. When Shifeng heard Fugaku's words, he was speechless and thought, I want a saber, can you give it to me? The question isn't what I want. It's about what you can and are willing to offer. Shifeng thought for a while, looked at Fugaku and then continued. If I want your wife, Uchiha Mikato. Are you willing to give it? In the manga, Fugaku does not have a kaleidoscope, so this setting is used here. If I want your wife, Uchiha Mikato. Are you willing to give it? Hearing this, Uchiha Fugaku became furious instantly. Three Megatama Sharingan appeared in his eyes. He looked at the trade wind and said coldly. Your Excellency, be careful what you say. Although Fugaku knew that his strength was no match for trade wind, he was also the leader of the Uchiha clan and was not someone who could be insulted without the ability to fight back. I'm just giving you an example. Trade wind spread his hands indifferently, and then continued, Look, Mikato, you are not willing to give it which means what I just said is right. When Uchiha Fugaku saw that the other party was still talking about his wife, the veins on his forehead jumped sharply, and he immediately wanted to rush forward and cut the other party into pieces. However, as the leader of the Uchiha clan, he still has his due, especially now that he has something to ask for. Please don't say such misleading words again. Fugaku took a few deep breaths looked at the trade wind and said slowly. Tisk tisk, I can tolerate this. No wonder he didn't have any intention of resisting when Uchiha Ataka came to kill him. Let the entire Uchiha clan be ruined at the hands of two lunatics, Uchiha Ataki and Uchiha Kanji. The Uchiha clan has been so unlucky for eight lifetimes that you, your son, that dissenter, and Uchiha Madara have been exposed. After arranging Fugaku's words in his mind, Shifeng said. I'm just giving an example. If it makes Chief Fugaku uncomfortable, then I'm very sorry. After saying that, Zinfen stretched out his hand and scratched his ears, not feeling sorry at all. 
This is the list of ninjutsu and ninja tools owned by the Uchiha clan. Mr. Santang, pick whatever you like. Uchiha Fugaku ignored Trade Wind's actions and placed the two scrolls on the coffee table. Although he felt that Trade Wind might not like this, he was still prepared to make a final effort. Tisk, why are they all ordinary ninjutsu? Only the transfer seal is of some use, and the kaleidoscope skill is useless. It seems that when Uchiha Madara left, he had already taken away all Uchiha scrolls about kaleidoscope and Izanagi and other Uchiha's advanced secret techniques. No wonder Uchiha got worse and worse later on. He didn't even know about the kaleidoscope. In the end, he was directly wiped out by the dutiful son and the second son who turned on the kaleidoscope. Tradewind frowned and looked at the scroll list in front of him, trying to find something useful to him. After searching for a long time, Tradewind finally found the two things he wanted. One is a ninjutsu scroll that transfers the seal, and the other is a kusanagi sword. If Chief Fugaku gives me the scroll that transfers the seal and this kusanagi sword, I will tell Chief Fugaku a secret about the Sharingan. Handing the two scroll lists to Fugaku, Shifeng opened the trade. Judging from the temptation he just conducted and the scroll list given by Fugaku, Tradewind was very sure that Uchiha Fugaku had not activated the Manjiki Sharingan, otherwise he would not have been so tolerant to him. Moreover, the original work did not explain that Danzo or Swan Er had obtained Fugaku's Manjiki Sharingan, and Uchiha Ataka's eyes were not eternal kaleidoscope, which also supported Tradewind's speculation from the side. The Secret of the Sharingan Uchiha Fugaku frowned and looked at the trade wind, suddenly feeling a little ridiculous. As the leader of the Uchiha clan, would he not know the secrets of the Sharingan? Do I need you, a person left behind by Uchiha, to tell me? Clan Chief Fugaku, don't you want to know why I am so strong? It is said that not long after Kanaha was founded, Uchiha Madara, the leader of the Uchiha clan, left Kanaha with many secrets. Seeing that Uchiha Fugaku didn't believe it, Tradewind directly threw a big bomb and pulled Uchiha Madara's tiger skin as a banner. His two sentences were messy, but Shifeng believed that Uchiha Fugaku would be able to figure out what he believed. What did you say? Sure enough, after hearing these words, Uchiha Fugaku looked at Tradewind with disbelief. When Uchiha Madara left Kanaha, he took many of Uchiha's advanced ninjutsu secrets with him, which directly led to the interruption of the Uchiha clan's inheritance. This secret is something that even the current high-level officials of Kanaha don't know. Only the Uchiha clan leaders of each generation know about it. And Santang in front of him could know this, and then he thought about the shackle technique that the other party had just used. That means... The other party is very likely to be the bloodline left by Uchiha Madara. At the same time, the opponent is likely to also possess those advanced Uchiha secret scrolls left behind by Madara. The opportunity to regain the glory of Uchiha is right in front of you. Thinking of this, even in the palace of Uchiha Fugaku, he couldn't help but start to breathe quickly. Seeing that the fish has taken the bait, the trade wind is no longer showing off and he looks at the rich man. You continued to speak. The Sharingan can evolve again after opening the three Megatama. If Chief Fugaku can possess this kind of Sharingan, even if he wants to ascend to the position of Hokage and rule Kanaha, it will not be difficult. On top of the three Megatama, there really is a kind of I. After hearing Trade Wind's words, Fugaku instantly confirmed that his previous guess was correct. He had speculated a long time ago whether there was another kind of eye above the three Megatama. However, after the clan's ninjutsu information was taken away by Madara, Fugaku could not find any information to confirm his conjecture. At this time, when Shifeng was so sure, he immediately believed the other party's statement. What are those eyes called? Fugaku suppressed the excitement in his heart and asked. Zinfen didn't speak when he heard this. He just looked at Fugaku with a smile. Uchiha Fugaku was stunned for a moment, then immediately remembered what the other party had just said, bowed to the trade wind, and said. Mr. Sanzo, please wait a moment. 
After saying that, Uchiha Fugaku left the room. A few minutes later, Uchiha Fugaku held a Kusanagi sword in his right hand and a scroll in his left hand. He returned to the room and handed the two things to the trade wind. Without checking, trade wind simply put the two things away. Seeing this, Uchiha Fugaku kindly reminded, Don't you check it, Mr. Sanzo. Ninjutsu scrolls are the easiest to fake, so others will check them when making transactions. Shifeng glanced at Fugaku and said calmly, You are in Kanaha. It is actually very easy to find you. Hearing this, Fugaku took a breath. Trade wind's meaning is very simple, that is, if Uchiha dares to deceive him, the other party will never let it go. After putting away his things, Trade wind continued to speak. On top of the three Megatama Sharingan, there is another I called the Mangekyo Sharingan. Manjiki Sharingan? Uchiha Fugaku clenched his fingers vigorously and listened patiently to the trade wind as he continued to speak. Trade wind touched his left eye, and then continued. Mangekyo Sharingan, not only does each eye contain a terrifying ability, but it can also gain powerful power that can withstand tailed beasts. Uchiha Madara and Uchiha Izuna have both obtained this power. This is also the reason why they can control the tailed beasts and compete with Senju Hashirama and Senju Tobirama at the same time. As soon as he finished speaking, Shifeng pretended to cover his right eye casually. The three Megatama Sharingan in his left eye looked at Fugaku and spun rapidly. This, Uchiha Fugaku stared at Shifeng's left eye in disbelief. In Fugaku's shocked eyes, the three Megatama in Shifeng's left eye finally connected together to form a strange pattern. Uchiha Fugaku looked shocked. Is this the Manjikyo Sharingan? Is this the Mangekyo Sharingan? Hearing Fugaku's shocked words, Shifeng closed the Kamui Mangekyo in his left eye and nodded. How can I turn on the kaleidoscope? Fugaku asked nervously. This is another deal. Trade Wind glanced at the other party and then continued. I can find a way to help Chief Fugaku activate the kaleidoscope. The premise is that you need to use chips that can impress me in exchange. I understand. Uchiha Fugaku heard this and nodded. He planned to try to turn on the kaleidoscope himself first, and if it didn't work, he would find the other party to trade. The main reason is that Fugaku doesn't know what to use to impress him now. When you decide to find me, Destroy the Flying Thunder God mark on this piece of paper, and then I will come here to see you. Trade Wind handed Fugaku a note. Trade Wind can now sense the Flying Thunder God mark within 10 kilometers around him. When the Flying Thunder God mark disappears, he will naturally be able to detect it. Notifying him in this way is convenient, fast, secret and safe. By the way, you are not allowed to mention the things here to anyone. As soon as he finished speaking, Trade Wind's figure disappeared from where he was. Helping Uchiha Fugaku open the kaleidoscope was to maximize the benefits. Currently, among the entire Uchiha clan, clan leader Fugaku is the most likely to activate the Manjiki Sharingan. When Uchiha Fugaku successfully activated the Manjiki, it was the day when Trade Wind picked off the opponent's Manjiki Sharingan and took control of Uchiha. Each Manjiki Sharingan contains a powerful ability, for those who want to explore Kagaya's mind. Naturally, the more Manjiki Sharingan you have, the better. It would be great if you could get a bug ability like Kamui. Uchiha Clan Land After Trade Wind left, Uchiha Fugaku clenched his fists vigorously, feeling excited. Mangekyo Sharingan No matter what he must activate the Manjiki Sharingan. Having made up his mind, Uchiha Fugaku spent more than ten minutes calming down before opening the door and walking out. Clan Chief Fugaku, has that one left already? As soon as Fugaku opened the door, Uchiha Inari hurriedly came to the door and carefully looked inside. Having just been instantly killed by Shuang Feng Sanzo with one glance, Uchiha Inabi is still a little frightened. He was obviously the Jounin in the Uchiha clan who had activated the three Megatama Sharingan. How come he was instantly killed in front of Shuang Feng Sanzo? 
Uchiha Inari thought with some distress. Clan Chief Fugaku, the third Hokage has asked you to go to the Hokage's office. Uchiha Yashiro hurriedly came to Fugaku and said. Did Sande say what happened? Uchiha Fugaku frowned at Yashiro and asked in a cold voice. Because he was preparing to study how to turn on the kaleidoscope, Fugaku didn't want to be disturbed by other things. Hearing this, Yashiro Uchiha quickly explained. I heard that Chuang Feng Sanzo had a fight with the fourth Mizu cage in the Kingdom of Water a few days ago. The fourth Mizu cage suffered a big loss. Not only was his right leg injured, but the psychic beast was also killed, so he wrote to Kanaha to ask Shuangho Sanzo if he was from Kanaha. Because he saw a pair of Sharingan eyes in Sanzo's eyes. Shuang Feng Santang actually injured the fourth Mizu cage again and escaped unscathed. When Uchiha Inari heard Yashiro's words and thought about Chuang Feng Santang's appearance just now, he was so surprised that he was speechless. You said Chuang Feng Sanzo injured the fourth Mizu cage. When Uchiha Fugaku next to him heard this, his eyes widened and he looked at Uchiha Yashiro in disbelief. Seeing Uchiha Yashiro nodding with certainty, Uchiha Fugaku took a breath and gritted his teeth. If Chuang Feng Sanzo defeated Sanzo Hanzo, it could also be said that Hanzo was old and frail and his strength was no longer what it used to be. Injuring the fourth Mizu cage and retreating calmly was a real victory over a strong cage level warrior. Is this the power of the Manjiki Sharingan? Is this what Chuang Feng Santang said, the power that can compete with the tailed beasts and the Senjua brothers? Thinking of this, Uchiha Fugaku clenched his fists hard, becoming more and more eager to open the Mangekyo Sharingan. He must activate the Manjiki Sharingan no matter what. No matter how high the price is, he will not hesitate. Only in this way can he have the opportunity to ascend to the position of Hokage and rebuild the glory of the Uchiha clan. If I don't find a way within two weeks, then I will find a way to satisfy that person's request and let him open it for me. Uchiha Fugaku thought impatiently in his heart. You guys wait for me here. Making up his mind, Uchiha Fugaku left the underground secret room and quickly headed to the Hokage's office. The third Hokage-sama. Knocking on the door and entering the office, Uchiha Fugaku bowed to say hello to the third generation. Chief Fugaku is here. The third Hokage Saratobi Hiruzen said, putting down the letter in his hand, this time, I want to ask Chief Fugaku if Uchiha has any other Sharingan lost. Because the fourth generation Mizu Cage Gojo Yagura of the Mist Ninja Village clearly mentioned in the letter that Chuang Feng Santang had two Sharingan eyes, the third generation wanted to find Fugaku to find out the situation. No Sharingan has been lost in the Uchiha clan, but so far, there is another clan member, Uchiha Fujikan, who is performing a latent investigation mission outside and has not come back. Uchiha Fugaku answered truthfully. These are all things that can be found, and there is no point in hiding them. It seems that he is no longer in danger. The third Hokage whispered. Although most of the ninjutsu Shuang Feng Santang used were from Kanaha, the third generation would not think that the other party was from Kanaha. Otherwise Shuang Feng Sanzo would not choose to steal Kakashi's three Megatama Sharingan. Although the third generation's words were low, Uchiha Fugaku still heard them. He narrowed his eyes and said nothing. He had just made up his mind to never let the third Hokage know that Chuang Feng Santang had Uchiha blood. Click. Danzo Shimura opened the door and entered the office. He glanced at Uchiha Fugaku, looked at the third generation and said, Hirazan, why did you come to me? Chief Fugaku, please go back first. Seeing Danzo's arrival, the third Hokage said to Fugaku with a smile. With that, Fugaku takes his leave. Uchiha Fugaku stood up and left the Hokage's office. Return to the Uchiha clan. I have something to do tonight, so I won't be back. Arriving at home, Fugaku explained to Uchiha Mikato who was making dinner. Yes, I understand. Uchiha Mikato turned to Fugaku and smiled, and continued to cook. After all, Fugaku is not only the leader of the Uchiha clan, 
but also the head of the Kanaha Security Department. Mikato has long been accustomed to staying up late at night. After leaving home, Uchiha Fugaku ordered Inari and Yashiro to help him cover, and then quietly left Kanaha to find his clansmen. As the head of the Kanaha Uchiha Security Department, it was easy to find a loophole to secretly leave Kanaha. Click. Not long after Fugaku left the office, two people walked in again outside the door, namely Mito Kato and Koharu. You guys take a look at this first. When everyone was gathered, the third Hokage Saratobi Hirazan pushed the fourth Mizukage's letter in front of the three of them, this is the letter from the fourth Mizukage Juju Yagura. Mito Katoyan took the letter, took a look at it, and suddenly spoke in astonishment. Hirazan, is this true? The fourth Mizu cage in the blood mist was actually injured by Shuang Feng Sanzo. The news of Shuang Feng Sanzo's defeat of Hanzo has spread throughout the ninja world, and even Mito Gate Flame has heard about it. However, he still didn't expect that the other party actually went to the Mist Ninja Village to cause trouble again and injured the fourth Mizu cage. What did you say? Koharu, who was sleeping next to him, was startled. He took the letter from Mito Kaden and looked at it carefully. The fourth Mizu Cage, Tachibana Yagura, was young and had a cruel temperament. He single-handedly started the Blood Mist Village policy of the Mist Ninja Village. His water mirror technique was even famous in the ninja world, and he was not that easy to deal with at all. Danzo Shimura narrowed his eyes when he heard this. Defeating Sanzo Hanzo and injuring the fourth Mizu Cage Gojo Yagura, the strength of this bounty ninja Shuangho Sanzo seems to be very powerful. If I can get him to work for me, it will be just around the corner for me to ascend to the position of Hokage. With these thoughts in mind, Danzo took the letter from Koharu, who was sleeping there, and began to read it slowly. Danzo, who had obtained Shisuibut's attention, was confident that he could take down Shuang Feng Sanzo in one fell swoop under Izanaga's sneak attack. The fourth Mizu Cage said in the letter that Zhuang Feng Sanzo's target is the Three Tails. In order to prevent this person from targeting the Nine Tailed Jin Huraki, Danzo, please have your base investigate this person closely. The third Hokage saw Danzo reading the letter and issued the order. The third Hokage was still able to ignore Zhuang Feng Sanzo's existence when he was doing other things. But if he was targeting the Tailed Beasts, he would no longer be able to ignore them. Because the Kyuubai is in Naruto's body, and Naruto is the orphan of the fourth Hokage, there must be no mistakes. Hearing this, Shimura Danzo looked at Saratobi Hiruzen and said, Hiruzen, put the Nine Tails Jin Huraki at the root, I can guarantee his loyalty and safety. When the third Hokage heard this, his face immediately darkened and he said in a cold voice, I have already answered you about this matter so don't let your wishful thinking happen. Naruto is the orphan of the fourth Hokage. Saratobi Hiruzen, who knows Danzo well, will not let him join the roots under any circumstances. You will regret it, Hiruzen. Danzo Shimura paused with his cane. The third Hokage Saratobi Hiruzen's face collapsed and he shouted sharply. Danzo, I am the Hokage. Hey! With a cold snort, Shimura Danzo turned and left. Humph. The third Hokage also snorted coldly and sat on the Hokage's seat. Mito Minion. Xiao Chun went to bed. Seeing the Sandame and Danzo having their daily quarrel again, Mito Katoen and Kohara who went to bed were a little speechless at the same time. After Danzo left, the third Hokage looked at Mito Kabuto and Kohara who had gone to bed and said. Now. Other villages think Shuang Feng Sanzo is from Kanaha, and their hostility towards us has intensified. However, I have also investigated in Kanaha village during this period, and there is no suspicious person at all, and Uchiha Ataka has not found anyone suspicious in the Uchiha clan. So I'm going to write a letter to tell other ninja villages about Kakashi's loss of Sharingan. What do you think? The third generation hoped that Zhuang Feng Santang was really from Kanaha. It's a pity that he is not, so the third Hokage does not want to take the blame. With Zhuang Feng Santang's trouble-provoking temperament, he will definitely cause big troubles in the future. 
don't carry this pot carelessly. Mito Kadoyan and Koharu, who had gone to bed, looked at each other and nodded at the same time. I agree. In that case, it's settled. The third Hokage nodded, and then continued. In addition, I am going to send someone to the black market to investigate the information about Chuang Feng Santang. After hearing this, Maitaman Yan and Koharu, who had transferred to the dormitory, asked, Who are you going to send? The third Hokage Saratobi Hirazan took a puff of cigarette and spoke slowly. Itaki Uchiha. Uchiha Itaki possesses the will of fire, is absolutely loyal to Kanaha, has high strength and high IQ. As a member of the Uchiha clan, he is the perfect person to investigate the twin phoenix Sanzo who stole the Sharingan. I agree. Mito Kadoyan and Koharu, who was transferred to the dormitory, heard this and nodded at the same time. They also felt that Uchiha Itake was the most suitable candidate, and since the other party was from Uchiha, they would not feel distressed at all when using him. The Country of Thunder, Cloud Ninja Village In the intelligence office, Samai, the intelligence team leader of Yunrin Village, frowned slightly as he looked at the information in front of him. Picking up the information and letters in her hands, she walked out of the room and headed to the Rakich's office. Samai, what's the matter? Mavai, who was wearing a suit and short skirt, was coming out of the Rakich's office. When she saw Samui coming, she asked. This is the information sent back by the undercover of the Mist Ninja Village. It is said that the three tails of the Mist Ninja Village have been resurrected and implanted into themselves by the fourth Mizu Cage. Also, this is a letter sent by Tachibana Yagura, the fourth Mizu Cage of Kiri Ninja Village. Samai handed the two things in his hand to Mabai and spoke calmly. A letter from the fourth Mizu Cage. Mabai took the letter strangely and opened it casually. The Kingdom of Water has implemented a closed policy for many years and has never communicated with the outside world. Now it actually writes a letter to the Cloud Ninja Village. What a strange thing! No way! The fourth Mizu Cage was actually injured by Shuang Feng Sanzo. After reading the contents of the letter, Mabai I stayed on the spot, her mouth growing into an O shape. Samai I nodded. She was a little surprised that Zhuang Feng Santang was able to defeat the fourth Mizu cage. You come with me. Mavai I came to her senses and pulled Samui into the Rakage's office. Lord Rakage, the fourth Mizu cage of the Mist Ninja village was injured by Zhuang Feng Sanzo, and claimed that Zhuang Feng Sanzo's target was the tailed beast, so we must be careful. Entering the office, Mavai I quickly said to Ai, the fourth Rakage, who was holding dumbbells. What did you say? Mizu Cage was injured by Shuang Feng Sanzo. The fourth Rakage AI was a little stunned when he heard this. Putting down the dumbbells in his hands, the fourth Rakage AI grabbed the letter in Mavii's hand. After reading it carefully, he confirmed that it was true. Lord Rakage, this is the news from our companions lurking in the Mist Ninja village. It says that the three tails has been implanted into his body by the fourth Mizu cage, after the Mizu cage wrote the letter. From this point of view, although Shuang Feng Sanzo defeated the fourth Mizu cage, he should not have captured the three tails. Samui handed the information in his hand to the fourth Rakage, analyzed it calmly, and spoke calmly. The fourth Rakage took a look at the information and agreed with Samui's statement. Then he lit the information and threw it into the trash can. Lord Rakage, what should we do now? Should we continue to recruit Zhuang Feng Santang? Seeing the fourth Rakage burning the information, Mabai I asked. This brat, Gojo Yagura, is bound to retaliate and has a very small capacity. He took the initiative to tell us this, and he definitely has no good intentions. We don't need to worry about him. As for Shuang Feng Santang, having said this, the fourth Rakage pondered, not knowing what to do for a moment. A cage-level powerful man with flying thunder god. Before the opponent showed obvious hostility, the fourth Rakage did not want to provoke him. This would bring unnecessary trouble to the Cloud Ninja village. However, 
Yagura's words really made him feel grudge, fearing that the opponent's target was really a tailed beast. Seeing that the fourth rakage AI was still unable to come up with an idea, Mabai I said. Lord Rakage, I have an idea. Lord Rakage, I have an idea. Looking up at Mabai I, the fourth Rakage motioned for him to speak directly. Since Shuang Feng Santang is a bounty ninja, we can definitely pay to invite him to help our Cloud Ninja Village. We can not only see his strength, but also take the opportunity to contact him, win over him, and understand his true purpose. Mabai I calmly stated his countermeasures, and then looked at the fourth rakage, waiting for the other party's decision. Samai, who was standing next to Mabai, I, nodded repeatedly when he heard this. Mabai's method was indeed feasible. Mabai, I, do as you say. I'll leave this matter to you. If you need anything, just ask. The fourth rakage AI was very satisfied with Mabai's suggestion. He looked at the other party with admiration and directly handed the other party full responsibility. After a pause, the fourth rakage AI looked at Samai again, Samai, it's up to you to cooperate with Mabai in this matter. Mabai and Samui answered at the same time. Yes, rakage Sama. Earth Country, IWA Ninja Village. Such a kitch office. He he he, Shuang Feng Santang, right. Not only do you dare to capture Sancho Hanzo's people and defeat Sancho Hanzo, but you also dare to injure the fourth Mizu cage and set your sights on the three tails. How audacious! The third Tsuchikage Onaki looked at the letter written by the fourth Mizu cage in his hand and marveled. It had been a long time since he had seen such a wanton person in the ninja world who dared to be an enemy of the five major ninja villages. The grass on the grave of the last person who dared to clamor for war with the five great ninja villages is so high. Someone, go get the latest bounty list from the black market. Onaki ordered to the door. Yes, Lord Tsuchikage. There was a reply from outside the office door, and then silence fell. It didn't take long for Onaki to get the latest reward list of black market money exchanges. Onaki turned to the last page of the bounty list and saw Shuang Feng Sanzo's name and masked portrait. Suho Sanzo, Bounty Ninja. Bounty amount, 58 million tails. Looking at the bounty amount on the list, Onaki chuckled. 50 million tails, this is already the reward amount for a shadow level powerhouse. For example, Tsunade, one of the Sunan of Kanaha, has a reward of only 51 million tails. However, in Onoki's opinion, this bounty is a bit low. For someone who can defeat Sancho Hanzo, and then defeat the fourth Mizu Cage, and also masters the Flying Thunder God and a large number of Kanaha's secret techniques, even 80 million Ryo is suitable. The fourth Mizu Cage moves really fast. The third Tsuchikage Onaki didn't even have to guess, he knew that this was a reward posted on the black market by the fourth generation Mizu Cage of the Mist Ninja Village. A vengeful brat. Most of the people offering bounties on the black market money exchange directory are ninjas and traitorous ninjas from various ninja villages. Naturally, those who post bounties are also famous people from various ninja villages and countries. At the same time, the five major ninja villages basically have people who are responsible for black market bounties, who are used to issue some tasks that are difficult to do by themselves. For example, assassinate the Jounin and elite Jounin of the enemy ninja village, and collect some useful intelligence. Shuang Feng Santang, you'd better not appear in the Kingdom of Earth. Otherwise, my Chen escape is not a vegetarian one. Onaki murmured to himself, casually throwing the information in his hand on the table. Even Onoki didn't want to provoke a strong shadow level lone wolf with a flying thunder god. Because that means endless trouble. The Land of Rain, the Rain Ninja Village A ninja from the Rain Ninja Village came to the door of the room where Sanchao Ayu Hanzo was recovering from his injuries and said respectfully. Master Hanzo, the latest information from Kanaha. It's about the Twin Phoenixes Tripitaka. As soon as the ninja of Yu Ninja Village finished speaking, the door of the room opened silently, 
and San Chao Iu Hanzo's majestic voice came from inside, Come in. Yes. The ninja of the Rain Ninja Village entered the room and handed the information in his hand to San Chao Iu Hanzo on the hospital bed. Shuang Feng Tripitaka. Do you really have a lot of backup plans left? It seems I really lost last time. This time when you face that brat the fourth Mizu cage, I'm afraid you didn't show all your cards. San Chao Iu Hanzo, who was missing a leg, looked at the information in his hand, his expression was as usual, and he was talking to himself. The letter from Kanaha not only clarified that Zhuang Feng Sanzo had nothing to do with Kanaha, but also described the ninjutsu performed by Zhuang Feng Sanzo in the battle with the fourth Mizu cage. Including the Rasen Shuriken and those two giant psychic beasts. And these things are all ninjutsu that Hanzo and Zhuang Feng Sanzo did not use in the battle. So even though Hanzo didn't want to admit it, he still sincerely think. Shuang Feng Santang's strength is already higher than that of San Chao Iu Hanzo. It seems that I have to seize the time to increase my strength. Shan Jiayu threw away the information in his hand and lay down peacefully on the bed with his eyes closed to recuperate. Only by taking good care of his body can he strengthen his strength as soon as possible. Since the battle with Shuang Feng Santang, San Chao Iu Hanzo has regained his previous beliefs, changed his past timid behavior, and began to restore his former strong style, even cancelling the pursuit of the Akatsuki organization. And all of this is to defeat Zhuang Feng Santang and avenge the previous shame. The border between the land of rain and the land of fire. The secret base of the Akatsuki organization. Pen, San Chao Iu has called off its pursuit of us. Zionan held a notice issued by Yu Ninja Village and spoke to Tian Dao Pain who was standing in front of the window with a complicated expression. She knew that the root of all this stemmed from the man named Sanzo who defeated Hanzo the San Chao Iu. There is no point anymore, after I fully master the power of these eyes. Sancho Hanzo's death is already destined. Tian Dao Pain spoke slowly, and there was a strong hatred in his cold words. Zionan looked at Tian Dao Pain in front of him, pursed his lips and stopped talking. Ever since Yahiko died and Nagato opened the heretic golem, Nagato has been trying to master the power of the Samsara Eye. However, Nagato, who had no one to guide him, could only explore on his own. Coupled with the need to maintain the heretic golem for a long time and the physical inconvenience, Nagato's progress was extremely slow. It was only recently that he found a perfect method to use the samsara eye. Is there any news about Zhuang Feng Santang now? After a long time, Tian Dao Pain asked again. The Akatsuki organization has begun recruiting personnel at this time, and Black and White Zetsu, Red Sand Scorpion and Orochimaru have already joined them. And the Shuang Feng Santang that Zionan mentioned to him last time is a good target. No Zionan shook his head, I couldn't even find him. When Tian Dao Pain heard this, he said coldly, In that case, let's recruit others first. Zionan nodded and thought about it. Then first recruit the traitorous ninja from Taki Ninja Village named Kakuzu. I heard that he has been wandering around the Land of Fire recently, as if he is looking for someone. Then let Black and White Zetsu find out his location, and I will personally recruit him. Boom! Wow! As soon as Tian Dao Pain finished speaking, a thunder sounded in the gloomy clouds, and heavy rain came instantly. Kaido Pain stretched his hand out of the window and caught a water droplet dripping from the eaves. The rainstorm is coming. Night. Fire Nation. Uchiha Fugaku finally met the person he wanted to see, Uchiha Fugaku. The bright moon is high and the breeze is gurgling. Uchiha Fugaku stood under a big tree, quietly listening to Uchiha Fugaku's report. Lord Patriarch. This is the specific content of this latent mission. Uchiha Fugaku, who was on a mission, came to Uchiha Fugaku, spoke respectfully, and explained to Fugaku the mission he was doing, including the situation of his two teammates. Uchiha Fugaku turned around and looked at the Uchiha tribesmen in front of him, with a trace of guilt flashing in his eyes. In order to prevent Kanaha from playing dirty tricks on Uchiha, 
the Uchiha tribesmen will report the specific content of the mission to the tribe leader before carrying out the mission, and regularly reply with ninja crows. Naturally, the Uchiha Tomino in front of him does the same. It was precisely because of this that Fugaku was able to find Uchiha Tomin, and then use Uchiha's secret contact method to notify him. Fortunately, the place where the other party conducted the lurking mission was not too far away from Kanaha. Fugaku could quickly return to Kanaha in a day and night. Under the cover of Inabi and Yashiro, he would not be noticed by Kanaha. Uh -huh. A bright light flashed between Uchiha Fugaku's neck and cut his throat instantly. Clan Leader Uchiha Fugaku covered his bleeding neck and looked at Uchiha Fugaku in disbelief, then fell to the ground and refused to close his eyes. Sorry, this is all for Uchiha. Digging out the Sharingan from Uchiha Fukakin's eyes, Fugaku murmured to himself, the Sharingan in his eyes getting scarleter. The third generation already knew that Chuang Feng Sanzo had two Sharingan eyes, while Kanaha only lost one of Kakashi's Sharingan eyes. In order to prevent the third generation from guessing that Chuang Feng Santang has Uchiha blood and suspecting Uchiha, thus affecting his own plan, Fugaku had no choice but to make this move. Using fire escape to destroy Uchiha Fujin's body, Fugaku used the transformation technique to transform into Fujin's appearance, and ran away again. The Kanaha ninja who came with Fujin to do the mission also needed him to take care of it himself and then blame it on other ninja villages. While Uchiha Fugaku acted With two dark circles under his eyes and messy hair, Uchiha Izumi, who looked a little nervous, also took advantage of the night to squat in the Uchiha clan's territory, looking for opportunities to strike. In order to save his family and the Uchiha clan, she had already made up her mind and was ready to kidnap a senior Uchiha executive as requested by Sanzo Senpai. The only people who can be considered high level in Uchiha are the leaders and elders of each faction. That is, Uchiha Fugaku of the neutral faction, Uchiha Setsuna of the Hawk faction, Uchiha Tomayaki of the Dove faction, and two other Uchiha elders. However, these people are all veteran elite Jounin of Uchiha. It is impossible for Izumi Uchiha to win over these people. At the same time, Uchiha Izumi was not familiar with these people so even if she wanted to attack them at close range, she would have no chance. In the end, Uchiha Izumi could only target Uchiha Fugaku's wife, Uchiha Mikato. Uchiha Mikato is the clan leader's wife, the mother of the Uchiha clan, and naturally one of the top leaders of the Uchiha clan. And don't know why. Tonight, neither Uchiha Fugaku nor Uchiha Itake went home leaving only Uchiha Mikato and Uchiha Suzuki. This allowed Uchiha Izumi to see an opportunity. Do it, don't do it, do it, don't do it. Uchiha Izumi held a wild flower in his hand, nervously pulling at the petals while mumbling something. Don't do anything. Looking at the wild flower with only one petal left in his hand, Uchiha Izumi was stunned, then grabbed another one and continued counting. She felt that the flower she had stepped on just now could not be counted. Do it. Looking at the flower with only one petal left in his hand, Uchiha Izumi's eyes lit up. At her feet, there were already more than a dozen bare wild flowers and countless petals. As the Uchiha spring continued to return, the flowers in the grass beside her were almost wiped out by her, leaving only a solitary one, swaying gently in the night wind. This is all God's will. Uchiha Izumi muttered, took out the katana from behind, instantly climbed over the wall, rushed into Uchiha Fugaku's home, and ran directly to Sasuke's room. She was going to use Suzuki to threaten Uchiha Mikato so that the other party would obey. Because of her relationship with Itaki, she had been to Fugaku's house several times, and she knew the layout of the courtyard very well. Wow! Uchiha Izumi shuttled through Fugaku's house with ease, and soon came to the door of Sasuke's room and opened the door forcefully. Sister Chuan Little Suzuki was woken up by the sound of opening the door. He was sleepy and subconsciously. The ground called Uchiha Izumi. Uchiha Izumi raised his sword and dropped it, 
and knocked Suzuki unconscious with the scabbard. Chuan, what are you doing? Uchiha Mikato, wearing pajamas, appeared at the door of Sasuke's room, staring at Uchiha Izumi's movements, frozen in place. Uchiha Mikato was also an Uchiha Jounin who had activated the three Megatama. She was naturally alarmed by the sound of Izumi opening the door just now. When she heard the noise, she immediately came to check, but she did not expect that the intruder turned out to be Uchiha Izumi. Uchiha Izumi is her future daughter-in-law in her heart. Madam, if you don't want anything to go wrong with Suzuki, you'd better just surrender now. Dropping a rope at Mikato's feet, Uchiha Izumi put the katana on Sasuke's neck, opened his eyes wide, and threatened Uchiha Mikato fiercely. Chuan, what happened? Why are you doing this? Is it because of Itaki? Seeing Uchiha Izumi with messy hair, excited expression and very unstable mental state, Uchiha Mikato asked with concern. As the wife of the Uchiha clan leader, she has become accustomed to the occasional neurosis of the Uchiha clan. It has nothing to do with Uchiha Itaki, ma'am, you'd better obey me, I'm not kidding. After saying that, Uchiha Izumi made a shallow wound on Sasuke's neck with the katana in his hand. Good. Don't get excited, I will do as you say, Izumi, don't hurt Suzuki. Seeing Izumi Uchiha's actions, Mikato immediately compromised, fearing that Izumi Uchiha, who was now a little nervous, would not know the importance of her actions. After Mikato tied her hands and feet, Uchiha Izumi wrapped Suzuki up, came behind him, and directly knocked Uchiha Mikato unconscious with the scabbard. Seeing the gentle and virtuous Uchiha Mikato in the past fall at his feet, Izumi Uchiha covered his face in pain, and the scarlet sharing gone in his eyes became scarier. Sorry, this is all for Uchiha. Leaving the unconscious Suzuki on the bed, Izumi Uchiha looked at Mikato on the ground and muttered something. Then, she wrapped the unconscious Mikato in a bed sheet, picked her up, and quickly headed to the Kanaha forest. Fortunately, after the Nine Tails Rebellion, the Uchiha clan moved their territory to the edge of Kanaha village, very close to the Kanaha forest. At this time, Uchiha Izumi ran wildly with Uchiha Mikato in his arms, and no one else noticed him. The other side. Tradewind was looking at the transfer seal scroll in his hand in his cabin. Suddenly, he noticed that his flying thunder god mark had been destroyed. Uchiha Izumi. Trade Wind put on a mask and hood, and after waiting for ten minutes, he used Flying Thunder God and disappeared. In the Leaf Forest. After burning the note. In front of Mikato, who was wrapped tightly in sheets and completely unconscious, Izumi Uchiha bit her nails and kept pacing back and forth, looking restless. She was not only afraid that Santang would let her go, but also that he was deceiving her. Now that Uchiha Mikato has been kidnapped by her, and things have reached this point, Uchiha Izumi has no way of turning back. If he dares to lie to me, I will kill him and then commit suicide. Thinking like this, Uchiha Izumi raised his head and looked around from time to time, hoping to see the figure of his senior. More than ten minutes passed. Senior, senior, could it be that you lied to me? Glancing at Uchiha Mikato, who was wrapped in sheets, Uchiha Izumi turned pale. Uchiha Izumi, who had been waiting for the trade wind for a long time, could not help but feel panic. In the shadow of the nearby forest, the trade wind has been secretly observing Uchiha Izumi. After arriving here, he didn't show up immediately just to make Uchiha Izumi fall into restlessness and despair and fear. In this case, when the trade wind appeared, Uchiha Izumi seemed to see hope and held on to him tightly. Moreover, turning on the kaleidoscope requires extreme emotions. To increase the power of the Sharingan, it also requires emotional ups and downs. In just ten minutes, Shifeng could feel that the power of the pupils in Uchiha Izumi's eyes had doubled. This is another reason why the trade wind has been reluctant to come out. Spring Seeing that Uchiha Izumi was about to collapse, Trade Wind appeared at the right time and called him. 
The sound of the trade wind sounded like a fairy sound to the ears of Izumi Uchiha, who was about to collapse, making her tremble and feel numb all over. Senior Uchiha Izumi suddenly turned around and ran towards trade wind excitedly, grabbing the opponent's hand tightly and not letting go. After feeling the warmth from the trade wind's hand, the fear and despair in Uchiha Izumi's heart finally dissipated. Senior really didn't lie to me. Uchiha Izumi thought excitedly in his heart. How long has it been since you slept? Looking at Uchiha Izumi's dark circles and messy hair, Shifeng frowned slightly. I have to say that this Uchiha Izumi is really an orthodox Uchiha clan. Three or three days, no, it seems like four days. Uchiha Izumi said blankly. I am very satisfied with what you have done. This is your reward. Shifeng took off the mask hood on his head and showed his Shuang Feng Sanzo's face in front of Uchiha Izumi. Watching Trade Wind remove the mask and hood, Izumi Uchiha was excited, his heart was beating wildly, and there was a burst of anticipation in his heart. White hair, red eyes, fair skin, clear lines. After seeing Shifeng's cold and handsome face clearly, Izumi Uchiha was stunned and froze on the spot. Uchiha Izumi always thought that Zhuang Feng Santang was an adult in his thirties or forties, but unexpectedly he turned out to be a handsome young man not much older than her. Senior is so handsome. Uchiha Izumi thought so and fell straight back. She had not slept for four or five days, and her mood was up and down. Then she suddenly relaxed, couldn't bear it anymore, and fell into coma. Although I know I'm handsome. But your performance is too exaggerated. Do you also have Hinata's physique? Trade Wind hugged the unconscious Uchiha Izumi, and was stunned for a moment. It is said that fans fainted when the peerless superstar Might Yen Wang appeared on stage. Seeing Feng did not expect that he would also receive such treatment. Somewhat dumbfounded, he put Uchiha Izumi aside to rest. Trade Wind came to the top Uchiha who was kidnapped by Uchiha Izumi and curiously opened the sheets on the other party's body. Because the other party was wrapped in a sheet by Uchiha Izumi, Shifeng didn't know who the other party was. The head of the humanoid sheet has just been uncovered. Shifeng saw a pair of open three Megatama Sharingan eyes. Illusion, the art of shackles. Uchiha Mikato had actually woken up a long time ago and heard the conversation between Uchiha Izumi and Trade Wind. She had not moved just for this moment of sneak attack. After a long period of patience, she finally got a chance to escape. However, Uchiha Mikato found that the scenery around her had changed, and her body seemed to be driven into a wedge, unable to move. This is magic, mirror world turns. He was actually able to reflect the genjutsu I cast on him back to me. He is also an Uchiha. Uchiha Mikato thought in horror. Seeing Uchiha Mikato trapped in the illusion and unable to move, Shifeng reached out and pinched her pretty face to release her illusion. Are you also an Uchiha? Uchiha Mikato woke up, looked at the Sharingan in the trade wind's eyes with a pale face, and her body was trembling slightly. In shackles. The feeling of Hang's issue is not pleasant. Madam, it seems you don't know your current situation. Zinfan stroked the other party's voluptuous face and chuckled. Unexpectedly, Izumi Uchiha actually kidnapped Ataki Uchiha's mother, Mikato Uchiha. Is this because love breeds hatred, and hates the house and the bird? Trade Win thought with some evil in his heart. In addition, why was Uchiha Izumi able to kidnap Uchiha Mikato so easily? Where did Uchiha Fugaku and Uchiha Ataki go? Uchiha Mikato endured the other party's frivolity and was about to resist when she found that the other party took his hand back and looked at her curiously. What do you want? Uchiha Mikato looked at the person in front of her and gritted her teeth. If madam can treat what just happened as if it didn't happen, I will let madam go back. What do you think, madam? Shifeng sat next to Mikato and said with a smile. Uchiha Mikato was just in her thirties at this time, and after years of ninja training, she looked as if she was in her twenties. 
the dignified and virtuous temperament of the other party made Xing Feng feel a little itchy. However, the most important thing is the identity of the other party. The other party is the mother of Uchiha Ataki and Uchiha Suzuki. If Uchiha Mikato and Uchiha Fugaku turn on the kaleidoscope, and then merge it with Ataki or Sasuke's kaleidoscope, then the trade wind will have two pairs of eternal kaleidoscopes. When the time comes, trade wind will be able to have more coping methods when facing the Atsutsuki clan. People like Atsutsuki Kamashiki and Atsutsuki Momoshiki have high martial arts and strange abilities, so Shifeng must make more plans. Really? Uchiha Mikato's eyes lit up when she heard this. Trade wind looked at Mikato and smiled, what I, Shuang Feng Santang, said is of course true. Shuang Shuang Feng Santang. The boy in front of Uchiha Mikato opened his mouth slightly in disbelief. I'm afraid I heard it wrong. The man in front of me looks like he is only in his twenties. How could he be the Shuang Feng Sanzo who is famous in the ninja world recently? Shi Feng chuckled upon hearing this, took Mikato's right hand, and carved an orchid mark on the back of the hand. The mark of the Flying Thunder God can change into different shapes according to the user's preference, turning it into an orchid, which is easy for the trade wines. I was sick yesterday and stayed in bed all day. I will make up for it today. Finally, I wish you all a Happy New Year's Eve.